and welcome. Where am I? I ask myself. That could be a big clue. Yes, it's Hobby Maker, the best craft channel in the land. It's me, Nigel May. How are you doing? Welcome to Thursday afternoon. Uh, we have got some great shows lined up for you today. Do you want to know what's on the menu today? Do you want to see the delicious things, the delicious offerings that we've got for you? Right, two o'clock this afternoon. A Faber-Castell masterclass with our Carla. Very excited about that. We do not have the Faber-Castell shows here often enough on Hobby Maker. About every six weeks or so. Carla is back this afternoon with an absolutely delightful hour. We've got some brilliant product for you. Everything you need, whatever level of expertise you are at with your drawing, with your artistry, we are going to get. You, we're going to give you the product that you need at two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, go and join the Facebook group now. That. Uh, what's it called? Do we know the Facebook group? Faber-Castell and Copic Hobby Maker, something like that. Put that into the search engine, it will pop up. Uh, so Carla's going to be here at two o'clock. If you join the group now, then you can kind of like all join in together, which will be good as well. So back to the menu. Let's have a look. Three o'clock this afternoon. Well, there's Hunky Dory. More of that in a moment. Uh, we've got Jane. She is in. Yes, Clever Prince are here at four o'clock this afternoon. Brand new stamps and stencils. Brand new and exclusive, I'll have you know as well. Carla's back at six o'clock tonight with Copic for you as well. All the items for six o'clock will be on pre-order for the two o'clock show as well because they kind of go hand in hand with each other so everything that you need the pencils the tracing paper all of that is going to be there for you now at one at three at five and at seven today we have got hunky dory we have got essential ribbon borders coming up we've got brand new um uh, we've got garden friends decoupage collection coming up as well there's lots going on and the return of the hunky dory magazine number 77 who's going to be the guest though well you can probably guess because it says with Pauline at three o'clock, <laughs> but we'll build her up in a moment, shall we? Uh, let's introduce let's introduce the crew first, shall we? Um, celebrating their eight-year anniversary today. They've been working together for eight years. Oh. And do you know what? There's a whole lot of L-O-V-E with these two in the gallery each and every day. It's producer Cat and director Daddy Adam. Go on, hug each other. Give yourselves oh. an eight-year hug. No, apparently not. <laughs> Are you going to say, say anything nice to each other, maybe? Or No, there you go. Oh, he's given her the thumbs up. That's oh. as affectionate as it gets after eight years. You've heard of the seven-year itch. That's the eight-year thumbs up. There you go. Uh, in the light today, we have got... Oh, she's back. She's back. The girl with the lashes. It's our very own glamour puss. That is Becky on the cameras. Hey, Becky. Woo -woo. There she is. And look, it's his final week here in Hobby Maker until he comes next, back next week as a freelance. Bring uh, him back. Bring him back. Pauline, it's not your time yet. Don't heckle. <laughs> uh, it's the lovely Jimmy the Shimmy. There you go go give us a shimmy look at that uh, now before we introduce our guest who's already heckled you know who it is uh, we've had a little competition going on for the last couple of days to win a signed card by the brilliant andy skinner and our winner well it could be you in fact it is you if your name is da -da 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 -da, jackie gibson yes, indeed Congratulations, Jackie Gibson. Uh, well done. And what a beautiful card that is as well. Um, Jackie, if you're watching... Oh, excuse me. Stand out of the way. Uh, Jackie, if you are watching, do let us know. Uh, and just, I want to see pictures of you cartwheeling around your front room, all excited, quite frankly. Anyway, enough of that. Who's our guest? Who puts the... I was to say hunk into hunky-dory, but that's not right, is it? Who puts the... Oh, I don't know. She's here. It's Auntie P. It's Pauline. There you go. <laughs> Bless her, she's feeling a bit under the weather, aren't you? Just a little bit. But no cold, no snivel is going to get you down and stop you from doing four nope, hours here, here at Hobby Maker today. Yeah, I'm a trooper. You are, you love it. You're a super trooper, let it be said. <laughs> uh, right, Pauline, do you want to come on over here? I come will. On. I will. I'm, I'm not going to kiss you because you are allergified, but you yeah. have my <laughs> affection as ever. Bless you. Um, check this out, everybody. Brand new. Loving these. Your foiled ribbon borders. These are just just gorgeous. All on that adorable, scorable cardstock that we love as well. Pauline, tell us all about these. Well, you may remember we did a similar thing with um, uh, the stickables, but um, on this one, it's on cardstock. Yes. So, you know, it gives you more scope to and it's work a, with it's them. It's all die cut, isn't it? So yeah. All yep. die cut as well. So they're amazing. just, a, they are attached throughout. 
and they're attached at the ends as well. Um, so obviously these are going to be great for, you know, obviously borders on your cards, maybe framing something on your cards. I love the idea, this sample here, this, this just pleased me, Rachel made this, and it's the first thing that I thought of when I saw them, paper weaving with these, yep. actually weaving with them. How cool is that? I mean, it really is fabulous, isn't it? Look at that. Um, Hunky Dory do foiling incredibly well. And here mm. we've actually got 416 incredibly well-foiled borders. Oh, absolutely. Um, again, it's, it's quality is paramount with Hunky Dory. It really is. So you know when they're going to do foiling. It is exceptional. And what I love about these collections is you've got sheets with all the, the um, greetings on yep. and sentiments and then a, a, a matching colour sheet with the patterns on, and you're going to get that um, in silver set. Come closer, Becky, come closer. And there you're you going go. to get a gold set. Look, I love that. So you've got your sentiments in there, but also you do get um, sort of decorative ones. I love the fact that it can make the complete sort of image, if you like. It can make your focal point on the card yeah. if you want it to. Or it could be purely decorative, as it is on a card like that. So it's oh, upside, upside down. down. Uh, so it's entirely up to you how you want to use these. Now, Auntie I love it. Director Danny Adam is saying, can you two stand next to each other? No, no <laughs> we can't. I'm away on holiday next week at Eurovision, and I love Pauline, but I do not. I take Pauline with me. I just don't want to take a journey. Things like me. keep away. I love that. Adam said, Am I presenting Eurovision? In my dreams, Adam. In my Every night dreams. in his sleep. I'm going to watch. I go every year. Yeah. I oh, right. <laughs> Adam said it's rubbish. Right? I'm literally, I swear I will run to the gallery and have this out with him. I really will. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 16 sheets in your gold, 16 sheets in your silver. Adam, do what you do so well. Give us your clock. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. The price is going to drop. What's it going to be? Already we've got Wendy in Virginia. We do ship to the US, don't we, Pauline? Hunky Dory and Hobby. In yes, they no, do. Just say yes, Pauline. Can I get a yee for the States? Yeehaw. Thank you very much indeed. So Wendy in Virginia, Rita it's a bit and half Graham. Hearted, but sorry, the thought was there, Pauline. Yeah. The thought was there. Uh, Rita and Graham in Hampshire, Deborah in Hertfordshire, Marion in Gloucestershire. Uh, you're going for the entire bundle here of both silver and gold. You know that you're going to be paying the lowest price, but what is the lowest price going to be? Let's find out. Watch it tumble down. Ba 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 ba. Here we go. Let's have a look. Now, it's brand new with Hunky Dory. You know that we get exclusivity as well, so you will not find this anywhere else. Uh, 1998. Are you happy with that, Pauline? Um, yes, I would think so. Good. I'm glad because that's your that price. Is, I think that is a very good price. <laughs> I like that. I was like, yes. Uh, 32 sheets. What does that work out per sheet? Cat, can you whip out your calculator? 1998 divided by 40. What did we say? 40 to 32. 62p a sheet, and you uh, have uh, got yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 on that sheet alone that I'm holding, the green one. Uh, so that means, I mean, literally, it's pennies per foiled sheet, uh, foil, foiled strip. You've got 416 foiled strips. That is a whole lot. Pauline, I don't know anybody that's done more stripping in their life. <laughs> Uh, if you would like to go for this collection, RUHD59 is your item code. Let's go through your colours for you. These are the gold, so you can see that we've got the green, that lovely sort of like soft vanilla. This, Pauline, I'm loving. That pink is gorgeous. Yeah, hot pink. Do you know what I love about your foiling as well? Is your foiling never swamps the design, never sort of swamps the cardstock. It no. just adds to it, Pauline. It, it's, it? Um, it's an accent oh. that can only make it better. Look at that royal purple. Look at this. Just good on that yeah. black, it's stunning as well. Again, I'm going to ask our Becky, come on in our bets, come on. Let's read these, because you can see you've got great sentiments on there as well, things like best wishes, uh, just to say, we've got congratulations there as well, especially for you. All of these wonderful colours. I love the fact that you've got some really dark, dramatic colours as well, yes, Pauline. Yeah, strong, bold colours, um, which, the, uh, as you say, they're not um, spoilt by the foiling. No. It really does work well together. And each one of the patterns, the designs on there are terrific. Well, I was going to say, the patterns, Look you can see that. you've got butterflies, you have got uh, hearts on there as well, you've got chevrons, you've got little squares and stars as well. Do you want to get yourself ready for a demo, okay. Pauline? Off you pop, my lovely. There you go. Um, 
literally very busy for this. 10% of the stock has already gone. Elizabeth Ann, we've got Anne in County Durham, we've got Catherine in West Yorkshire, Kim in Greater London. You are all there. Well done for getting that in your basket. So those are the golds. You can get those individually, but obviously you're saving the most money if you go for them together. Um, the silver, exactly the same, but obviously you've got the same colours, you've got the same designs, you've got the same sentiments, but you have them in silver. It's a bit like jewellery, isn't it? I think sometimes you like a bit of gold, sometimes you like a bit of silver, but sometimes you want to mix and match them both. So the fact that you've got them all together, I just think is gorgeous. Again, Pauline, the colours on this, we've got different colourations with the silver as well, haven't we? Yes, you have, yeah. It's, um, again, a fabulous set. And I think you can do so much with these because sometimes, even if you haven't got the right sentiment, something with best wishes running across or congratulations, that can just be the finishing touch that you need. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, when you have yeah. a finishing touch like this as well, because it provides that, um, adds that extra bit of bling. I mean, I just think it is, it's, su it's not subtle, I mean, it, it causes a splash, but it's also subtle enough not to swamp everything else. Yeah, it, it doesn't run away with the card, you know, no. it, it, it's just a, a lovely, lovely finish. I love the silver on the black, that yeah. is such a very striking, glass, isn't it? Uh, if you would like to give this one busier and busier, well done to Deborah in Hertfordshire, you are there as well. That's what you're getting. These are the kind of things that you could be making as well. Some fabulous samples in the studio with us today. It is a complete angel policy, so make what you like. Don't forget three ways to order here at Hobby Maker. You can either order via the phone lines. If you want to order via the phone lines, it is, of course, a free phone telephone number 0800 001 433. You can, of course, order if if you want to as well via the app don't forget to download the uh, hobby maker app for free from your google store your app store or you can go to the website you know the website of wonder we love that website it's a place of joy all the w's what hobbymaker.co.uk <laughs> Was that a bit, a bit croaky? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's the air It was like, I, know, I told you, getting this set, the aircon is a nightmare. It's it was like, it was like you'd suddenly hit puberty then, do you know what I mean? Your voice broke. I'm not there. You're I'm not, not there, there yet. yet. Bless it. There, Another yeah. couple of years yeah, you'll be there. I have there. faith. There <laughs> you go. Uh, you're supposed to leave the set via the trap door. Come on, off you go. That's it. Off <laughs> you go. Thanking you. Over to Pauline for a demo. Right, OK. Um, so the, the strips themselves, let's just... We've got some here. Let me just tell you, because I'm pretty sure that I measured them to 11 inches from start to finish. That's uh, taking off that. Yep, 11 inches. So what I've done, I've cut, I've taken some of the pastel colours in from the silver set, and I've got um, a little A6 card, but it's uh, I'm using it as landscape. So that's my little card. Um, so I know that that measurement is just under six inches. So I've cut these ready and we're going to make a design on them, but we're going to have a little white border uh, at the sides as well, just to break it up a little bit. So what I've done, I've done the colours, if I bring the colours in here, um, I've done the colours the same from top to bottom coming in okay and every alternate one I put pads on the back so what I'm going to do is start with the bottom one just make sure I keep them in order otherwise I'm telling you what I've done and they're not doing it um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to use um, a tape runner and I'm going to run that along make sure my card is nice and square and then I'm starting right at the bottom but leaving the same gap okay and then the same on this one so all the way along I will say as well these ribbons are the perfect size to get your tape runners out poorly aren't they Absolutely, yeah. So all of those extra bits that you might want, do head to the website, go to the brand shop for Hunky Dory and pop your extra things in your basket because remember, it's a PNP, cat PNP here at Hobby Maker of just 3 95 no matter where you are in the UK. And if you are in the States, it gets even better because it's t uh, more of this in a moment. Uh, 12 pounds and 90, oh no, not 12 pounds, 12 dollars and 95 cents over in the States. I'm going back down the trap hole, trap door, back to Pauline. <laughs> Right, so so the next ones I've got with um, pads on. So I'm just butting that up 
So then the next one will be the blue. So we'll go back to our tape runner. And this is just going to give um, a lovely, lovely effect. And we'll pop that one under there. Okay. Get it nice and straight. So blue one again. Oh, there we go. So turn it round if you want to. Uh, the patterns are the same. So we're okay there. And then we've got pink. So we go back to with our pads on. And what I'm going to do with this one is um, I'm going to put them just a little bit up like there. And then the pink one's coming again to meet in the middle. More people checking out the baskets, Pauline. We've got Carolyn West, Yorkshire, Pamela in Wiltshire, Phyllis in Kent, Rosemary in Somerset, Debbie, Catherine, and another Deborah. Uh, you are all there, but remember to check out your baskets to secure okay. your purchase. Now, what you can do is put the green one to go over the pink there, just to change it up a bit. I didn't do my edges very well, but uh, bear with me. I'm not my best today but you get the, the the idea completely and then we have on the show the larger sentiment book so i've got here sent with love and i've picked out a lilac that goes with that and it's with the silver um design running through it let's put another pad just now, at the end there. In, if people are looking for the essential book of sentiments obviously we have it on our website we but do. if people are looking if people in fact it's on the screen now you can see it on the side but if people are looking for the ribbons they're not going to find them anywhere else pauline are they no they weren't why is that pauline because it's a world launch here today. it's an exclusive world launch and that's what we love thanks hunky dory uh 15 percent of the stock has already gone i'm like a little head and here. there we go 15 percent of the stock has already gone that's nice, Pauline. Well, it would be if it nice. was equal at the sides, but... Do you know what? Sometimes <laughs> things aren't meant to be straight, are they? Sometimes a little bit of a wonk is always good. Absolutely. Um, complete angel policy. You can make what you like as well, so it's entirely up to you. Pauline, get yourself ready for another demo, my lovely. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. I want to tell everybody about this. You've probably noticed that I'm behind a wall of fabulous, like, paper or oh, cardstock here in the most wonderful designs. Well, this could all be yours. We've got two collections, but they make up one big bundle, and that's the details that are on your screen right now. £59.90 is for everything. Now, your mega bundles, you've actually got, let me work this out, two seconds. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different collections. There are 12 sheets in each collection. So you've actually got 120 sheets. Now, there are six designs in each collection. So two of each particular design, which means that you've got 120 sheets, 60 different designs, and all of those twice over. <clears throat> and you can see that you've got everything that you like in here, from animal print through to sort of intergalactic effects. You've got down here, you've got denims in there, you've got florals, you've got grunge, you've got wood effect. And um, I think it's brilliant because you've got a little bit of something for everybody. There's probably not going to be a member of your family that you will not have something that will go with them uh, for them in here. Now, obviously, it's adorable, scorable, so it is 350 GSM. It's a good wobble on that. Um, they are 5 99 individually for each and every pack. So that would be 59 times 10. That's going to be 59 pounds and 90 pence. But Adam, there you go. <clears throat> Even from behind here, he can hear me. Look, we've got the, the clock. Now we know that when that clock ticks down to zero, what will happen? That price will drop. What happens if you come in already and you bought the item? Don't worry, you will still pay the lowest price. Everybody pays the lowest price here at Hobby Maker. That's the way that it works. Uh, now we've had this on before, but we've actually not had it back in stock on air for about a month. So this is the first time that it's been back on. I think it's such a great deal to get all of this designer card in one place for one phenomenal price is brilliant. One PMP as well, but what is the price? Let's find out as the Chevrons of Joy do their thing. Crash it down, let's see. So it was 59.90. 5 99 a collection. It's now £3.49 a collection. So that means off each and every collection you are saving £2.50p. That means you're actually getting £25 off, which is nearly 
five collections, which I think is pretty phenomenal. You are almost getting five collections for free here for 120 sheets. That's about, what, 40% of the collection coming to you for free. Um, love the animal print. The animal print is one of my favorites. The details for all of the individuals, because we do have like, do we have individuals, Kat, as well as the collections? So we have all of the individuals, and then we also have like collection one, which is kind of this bit across the top, collection two down at the bottom. Details for all of the individuals are on the website, but if you want them all for the best price, then this is the one to go for. PKHD47 is your item code on that one. Now, if you do want the collections, the sets of five, so that would be 60 cards in each, uh, in each collection. Uh, the first one, collection one, is kind of like my top two tiers here. Uh, so you can see you've got this beautiful marble, you've got your florals in there as well. Kind of like your lighter colorways. I, mean, I was gonna say less dramatic. They still pack a punch, but colorways, they are less vibrant. They're a little bit more muted, but they still have some fabulous looks on there don't they um, if you'd like to go for this one you've got your wildflowers in here you've got your perfect pearl in here the marvelous is here as well uh, you've got sage blooms and then you've also got your watercolor rainbow so those first five 29.95 but let's get that price down where are we going to go? MRHD09 is your item code on this one. Taking it down to 19.95. That means you are getting two of them virtually for free there as well. So that's collection number one. Collection number two. Let's have a look at... <coughs> it is this set, Pauline, isn't it? <laughs> collection number two. You get in this set and your voice just disappears. Uh, set number two is the ones down at the bottom. So in there you have got your animal print, which I love. You've also got your denim, which is gorgeous as well. Uh, you've got your night sky, which is this one down here your wood grain and then finally over there you have got your gritty grunge for you as well uh, now again all five of those 60 sheets in total 12 times 5 will be 19.95 with that reduced price aihd uh, 17 is your item can you imagine if we had an ai hunky dory an artificial intelligence pauline wow. wheeler Oh my that, word. That, 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 could, that could never happen no. how could they match the fantastic reality of pauline in the flesh do you know what I mean, Pauline? That flesh can never be replicated, let it be said. Oh, God. Um, if you do want to see any of these collections up close and personal, then do email in studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. I'm going to give you a moment to check out your baskets, and then we've got more fabulous action with the lovely Pauline after the break. See you then. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. There you go. Well done to everybody checking out their baskets. That's the way to do it, my friends. Uh, welcome back to Hobby Maker. We've got a great show with the lovely Pauline from Monkey Dory. She's ready to go with another demo. But she did whip out one of the bigger sentiments just now from this, the essential book of bigger sentiments. I think if something's worth saying, it's worth say saying big, isn't it, really? It's worth saying loud and proud. Uh, you passed so proud of you. Celebrate. You've got a happy Mother's Day in there. There are literally so many different sentiments in here. You've actually got 300 and 20, where are we? 320 big and beautiful individual sentiments in here for you as well, across 40 pages. So there's loads, all on adorable, scorable. And you will notice that a lot of these match the colours that you've actually got. There's one missing. That's the one on Pauline's card, isn't it? <laughs> 
I'm guessing. Uh, you will notice that a lot of the colours here match the actual colours as well uh, that you have in the brand new ribbons today. So everything correlating together, which is wonderful. You've got your happy val Valentine's Day. You've got birthday Nan on there. You've got daughters. Just brilliant. Pauline, this is so portable, something like this, isn't it? It is. And in the past, we've done the smaller versions, but this is, not, this is more of a statement piece. So even on bigger cards, it, it's more in proportion. So, um, and some great, great wording, great sentiments on there. I think people are making cards for charity as well. I mean, if you are making cards, or to sell, I should say, for like craft fairs and things like that. Oh, it's... It, take this with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. People say, yeah. well, I want that card from my mum. Can you put a sentiment on from my mum or my dad But not only that, you can pick what colour. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's a great collection. The price on this, only 14 99 for 400 and 320 sentiments across 40 pages. It works out at 4p each, so phenomenal value for money. Four pence, Pauline. Four pence. Four yeah. pence, and it's oh, only and adding so much more to your cards. We used, three pence. We used to have three pence after school. Did you? To go to the shop. There you go. What did you buy with Brent your three pence? I can't remember. Sweets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweets. Oh, sweets. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. with this bag of sweets. And then you'd have the, the shopkeeper like, do that to put your sweets in it. I used to love that. Cherry lips. Oh, thanks. You've called me worse, Pauline, but thank you. Um, I think it's time for a demo. Don't forget, if you want to get your items, pop them in your basket and get checked out. We're going to show you your ribbons before we go to Pauline as well, though, because uh, they are brand new for us today. Uh, you have got so many sheets here. You've got all the gold ones and then all of the silver ones as well. It's your foiled, uh, foiled multi-buy. You get 16 of the gold. Uh, and then you also get 16 of the silver, all on those beautiful colours. It works out at 416 foiled borders. They are all die cut as well, so literally just pop them out. Some have wordings on, uh, like sentiments and things like that, and then other ones will just have patterns, whether it's stars or hearts or chevrons or something of that ilk. Um, how you use them is entirely up to you. I love the idea of like paper weaving them together. I think that's such a lovely idea. But whether you are using them as a background, whether you are using them as a real sort of focal point, it's entirely up to you how you use them. Just love them. Uh, they're just, they're simple. And the fact that they're all straight and clean, I mean, if you want to put them in an angle, diagonal, it's entirely up to you, but they really do work well. And of course, they're gonna buff up against each other very nicely because they're all die cut, all die cut and straight. So literally you can place them where you will. Um, let's see where Pauline's gonna place hers as we go back to her for a lovely demo. Auntie P, back to you. Okay, well, we're going black and gold. Nice. Always a touch of Very class. elegant yes. class. Yeah. So I'm going to start off, I've got um, a ten-fold card again, this one is a five by seven and I'm starting with black card to cover the front. Now this could be adorable scorable or it could be our black stamping card which this is, it doesn't matter and it doesn't matter whether it be matastic or the original. So pop that on there. So that's, we see we've turned to dramatic as it is. And then here I've got some gold. Now, I didn't have any gold mirror to hand, but I've got some gold stickables. Nice. So what I'm going to do is just peel back. Um, so in these, we do the A5 sheets and we also do the DL sheets um, in the gold and the silver. And we do colors as well. So what I'm going to do is just pull that back a little bit. I'm going to place it just, I've got light shining on it. So let's get that just about there. Okay. And then if you pull down, I am going, look, I have not got a straight line today. I can't, I mean, yeah. I'm just not with it, am we I? One straight, we're not knocking okay. the door today, are we? And I haven't got um, a... a a microfiber cloth with me, so I'm just going to polish that with a sleeve. There you go. <laughs> I've been watching uh, Carla too much. There you go. Okay, so well, what I can it, do, still it too. right, to make that look better, I can put that in my cutter and I can just remember, I'm going through several layers there. I can just take that edge off just to trim that down a bit and make it a little bit more. Like it's like a professional's done it mm -hmm. instead of an amateur like me. You are a professional, Pauline. <laughs> okay, so then I've got some black card again. There, this one is adorable, scorable, and you've got a sentiment pad on the show. 
um, with, is it the blue, blue and white one you've got there? Uh, well, I've got... Not that one, the, one. the, the perfect pack. Perfect verses, Pauline. Yeah. Perfect verses, yeah. that's it. So I pick one out. I'm going to pop that onto. Here you go. There. If you want these, I've got the uh, couple for you. This is the pink one that I've got at the moment. You can see you've got all of these fabulous verses in there. Uh, they are all ready to be die cut. So basically, it's entirely up to you. You can cut them in a straight line if you wanted to put like an oval or a shape around them. You could do rectangle, whatever it may be. There you go. Well, it's not easy to show it in this light, is it? There you go. That's better. There you go, you can see you've got lots in there. All on 120 GSM, so perfect for your inserts and things like that. Family is the anchor that holds us steady through life's storms. It's so true, Pauline, isn't it? It is. And you're the, ca you're the captain of this ship, aren't you? <laughs> you are, <laughs> Captain Pauline. Uh, if you want to go for that one, 999WAHD05, your item code there. Uh, there's 192 verses in there, so there's a lot. Um, don't forget, if you want to message in, if you want to say hi, Auntie Pauline, ask any questions, or you know, send Jimmy on his way, because this, this is actually his last shift with this shift, isn't it? It's his last day with this shift, because it's a different shift tomorrow. So if you want to send your messages in for Jimmy, I'm not expecting you to, uh, but if you want to, you can. It would make him, it would make him happy and make him feel worthwhile about himself. So if you do want to get them in, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Back to Pauline. Right, I've picked out some designs here. I've got four. So we're going to put do, do a bit of a crossword, two down and two across. And you know, you were saying about weaving. We're just going to do a tiny, tiny bit of weaving nice. on this. So what I'm going to do is take my first one and I'm going to put on the one end, I'm going to put a little bit of sticky just on the one end i'm going to turn this round and i'm going to put right from the top there okay and i'm not going to fasten the bottom and then i'm going to take another one and this one i'm going to pick um this design and i'm going to do the same again it doesn't matter which end i go from so a little bit of sticky on the top i'm going to pop that one in that gap there so we're, we're only stuck at the top there okay so then if you take just making sure that's straight there we go so then if we take the first one and we put some sticky again but this time i'm going to go from there but i'm going to lift that one up and pop it on the top I cut them after so I know that they're going to be perfectly mm. right. So you know what length you are. Yeah, yeah, because uh, otherwise, well, you can see today the mess I've got in with measuring and cutting. Right, so then this one is going underneath that first one and then over the top of that one. Okay, so then getting those straight, I can lift those up where they're going to be and I can put sticky there and get those straight okay and then I want sticky under there and this is great because wet glue takes a bit longer to dry so you want something that's going to do it straight away then we can either take a knife or our scissors and trim off all our excess take those off and you can see you've still got plenty get yourself a little container one of the um hunky dory storage little the, the little boxes you could keep all these mm, extra idea, bits Pauline. in okay and there we have our card but i want to show you something else if i get another of the black okay right here on the top okay and if you take um let's have a look let's go with this spotty one now what i do is just tear off that they're all attached okay so just tear off put that back on there take off what i want so we've got a simple card but let's make it a little bit different let's make a bow Oh, Pauline, nice. Okay. So take off the two ends. All right. Now I'm going to take, 
about, um, so we've got our 11. Um, four. Let's take off by six inches. Okay, really doesn't, doesn't matter. Let's put that to one side a moment. Let's take this one. And we're going to take um, a scoring tool and give it a little curl. Okay. So just try and get it in a nice bend. Then we're going to take some red line tape. Let's get a new bigger one. Now, again, all of these extras, if you need to restock, do head to the Hunky Dory brand shop on the website and take advantage of that cat PMP, no matter where you are. A uh, message from Mark, you've got to love a bit of Hunky Dory, but oh. even more, even oh. more so when we have a Pauline and Nigel combo. Mark, thank <laughs> oh. you. Oh, that's Mark from upstairs, Mark it Alexander. Is. Hello. Well, he thought I'm on air with him tomorrow. Oh, I'm very bless. excited. Tomorrow's an exciting day. Hey, Jimmy Leaves. Uh, oh. I'm so gutted about it. Uh, and then, but more, more excitedly. You and me Jimmy's both. Not listening. Uh, Mark Alexander's on there tomorrow. Visible image. Fabulous. There you go, Pauline. Very excited. Fabulous. We've got new stuff and everything. And of course, Sandra's back. Yep, Sandra Russian is back tomorrow as well. Right. So I put a little bit of tape on each end. And then this one, I'm going to cut in half. In half ish. It doesn't have to be level. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut to the middle on both sides. So we've got little feet, little banner. Nice. And we do it again on this one. I was doing this at six o'clock this morning to well, see if yeah. it would work. Were you in bed in possession of a pair of scissors, Pauline? No, no, I was up. Were you? I, w I woke up at 10 to 5 this morning. You know when it's like you just can't get back to yeah, sleep? Yeah, yeah. So like literally I was like, what should I do? Should I get up? So I yeah. like lay there for a bit and I thought I'd try to get back to sleep. I, I find that if I'm awake, I'm better to get up. Um, otherwise I feel a bit like a zombie, like a hangover. Mm. Well, you find if you go back to sleep, then what you do is you wake up. When you wake up, when your alarm goes off, you're in like the deepest sleep, aren't you, normally then? You're just like, oh, you're all groggy. So, yeah, I think kind of if you wake up naturally, then just try and wake up. Yeah. So, a little bit of tape on the top there. And then we're going to take our little borders and just pop them together like so. So, say we, you can do this with your fingers. Just get a little bit of a bend on it. And then we'll take the covers off these. It's a kind of primitive bow, but it um, it works. But it's it's another versatile thing for the ribbons, isn't it? You get yeah. the ribbons to do yeah. so many different things. Okay. Uh, busier and busier for the ribbons as well. If you do want the ribbon border strips, Audrey in Yorkshire, Linda in Lincolnshire, Linda in Dorset, you are there. If you want to make sure you get your hands on all 416 of the strips that you've got here, then do check out accordingly. Right, so I've joined them in the centre there. And then you're going to just pop your finger in and give them a bit of a tweak. Okay. Always gratefully received. A little bit of a, a bend there. Okay. There we go. I might have put a little bit too much tape on that one. Yeah. I'm really not having a good day. Pauline, you've got four hours of this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And then we're going to put a little bit more tape on the top. I think you're doing a good job. These. You mustn't put yourself down, Pauline. Well, it's just that I'm not feeling my best. That's well, don't you worry. I'm here in spirit. Well, you're here in body because I can see you. Well, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that a mirage? <laughs> Maybe is it a bit like Apple Voyage? Is it like Wheeler Voyage? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or absolutely. Voyage. Absolutely. Voyage. Why am I making it all sound posh? <laughs> voyage. It's like, yeah, Abba Voyage, like Wheeler Voyage. Yeah. So it's like, we've got you, you're an avatar. Yeah. <laughs> you're not actually real. And then we can pop that up there, a little bit more tape on the back there. You get the drift, don't you? You get the gist of it. But the black and gold is so stunning. And so elegant. Mm, we'll have to give it a wiggle in a minute, Pauline, so the light catches it okay. as well. We can't really see the foil at the moment, can we? Or not yep. in its full splendour. There we go. I'd probably take more time over it. Um, 
but we're going to pop that up there like so. I'd put a nice gem or something in the middle there. Right, hold that to our lovely Becky and give it a wiggle for a spawning. That's what we want. Look at that. That's fab, isn't it? I mean, that's four of your strips. So you've still got 412 to play with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you've got one of the um, perfect versus uh, pads there for you, one of the verses from that pad. You got, so you've got 191 of those left because there's 192 in that pad. Uh, and then you've got that little bow on there as well. Love Quite cost-effective cards, really, aren't they? For a very blingy gold card, which we love. Gold Wheeler, um, <laughs> R-U-H-D 59 is your item code on that one if you'd like to go for it. Don't forget, three ways to order, best way is the website way. Jimmy, what's the, oh, is he gone? Becky, uh, what's the website? All the W's <laughs> what? Tommy Has Jimmy actually officially left now? Is he gone? Oh, he's gone to get me a little treat. Oh, not that old oh. poster again. Um, R-U-H-D 59 is your item code if you want to go for your ribbons. Uh, now, your book of sentiments. This is the original one that I've got for you here. It's the smaller one, not the big one, uh, but the smaller one. Um, and now ours has come apart, I'm afraid, because we've been playing with it a lot. There you go. Is it Dave again? Oh, probably. We can't blame him. It usually Dave. is Dave. Isn't it? Wait, I, see, I mean, I've known Dave for many years. Dave, Dave even says it himself. But now. I didn't realise he was so destructive. Is, mm. this something, is this something that's got to him in old age? Because it's like... I, I, and he'll, like, wreck the display. Really? Yeah, bless him. I mean, he'll tell well, you is himself. Is it bless him or is it let's tell him not to, Pauline? Come on. Let, we we just look honest. at him and go, oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. I mean, because let's be honest, people like Jimmy and, you know, Kat and Lauren and all of our lovely Magic, Magic Hands crew, they spend hours setting things up for yeah, Dave to they destroy do. it. And make a great job of it. Honestly. And then... Does and then annoy you, Jimmy, when he Dave comes he along. It does he just push it over? Yeah. Does he just look at you and go, do it again? does. Oh. <laughs> not right um 11 he's in vegas at the moment so we can say what we like uh, uh, he's not joking uh 11.99 is by 620 sentiments in there for you as well um if you are getting something like that i mean you, I, I think something like this as well you know i keep saying like if you're doing a little hamper for somebody throughout the year you know you're getting a christmas hamper a lot of crafty gifts throughout the year and then you give it to them at the end of the year things like this always useful no matter oh, when you receive a book of sentiments, you know that you will always be using this because it's got everything you need in there. I'm loving that. Uh, QUHD15 is your item code on that one. Uh, now, we've also got some other bits and pieces for you as well. Uh, we've got Pauline. Look, our fabulous hunky-dory trimmer. I wouldn't be without it. Why would you not be without it? Well, for a start off, I'm left-handed. Take us around yours, Pauline. And I find, there, I find I find... I. I like to use mine upside down, especially when I'm um, demonstrating here, because with the lights and everything in the studio, sometimes it's hard and you get the top of my head if I lean over and look at the numbers at the top. But I can read numbers upside down the same as anybody else. So I like to, and then of course I've got that for my left hand. But the same point, right-handed for me is absolutely fine because I can use that quite easily. You've got, this fabulous 17 inch extension out here. So it means you can put your 12 by 12, your A3 on there and it fits perfectly fine. Um, you've got both your inches and your sentiments. You've got your, all your increments um, going up and you've got your half centimeters and your increments there. You've got a fabulous blade um, and you've got also your measurements running down your cutter as well um, what I love as well the central ones now with the blade it's quite easy you've got a little now mine is so worn because I've had it forever but you can bring it to an area I quite do the middle but and take it in and out you get two blades with it which will be both here together which confuses some people because they think one is a scoring tool and it isn't it's a spare blade but whether you leave it there or not it's not going to interfere sometimes when you've got the two in you sort of one at the top and then you whether you go up or down um the best thing when you're cutting if i just get a piece of card here is um a lot of people like cut upwards your cardstock can move if you're putting pressure on, you see that's just moved. So I know that's not, see, it went then. 
right? So that isn't straight. But if you do it from up, coming down, you've got more hold on it. So sometimes if people say, oh, my cutter doesn't cut straight, mm. it's the user, not the cutter. Absolutely. Right? So just remember that when you're pushing away, you move the card when you cut down from it. And the same from here. If I was doing it from the bottom, I would go up. Um, it's got feet on the bottom. Here. Well, yours will have. Mine's got two now. I told you I've had it forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's, this is the original one. I haven't had a new one. Um, it's got a hanger-upper if you want it. It fits in my trolley bag. Um, and you can see it's absolutely fine. Yours will come with a plastic cover or a cellophane-y type mm, like sticky. Like the top. Yeah, yeah. You can leave that in place if you want. It doesn't really interfere. No. Um, again, sometimes it doesn't hurt to take a pokey tool or a blade. You know, sometimes when your blade of your knife is no good. So just take it and clear out. You can see there, you know, it makes all the difference mm. to your cutter. This will cut our inserts really, really well if your blade is sharp enough. If your blade is on the way out, it can feather, I'll be honest with you, it can feather the, the inserts but you can get round that without changing your blade by just going over with a sanding block. It will take that feathered edge away. It means you can, because on cardstock, it's still fine, but on paper, it may not be. But it means you can keep your blade a lot longer without having to change it. So remember that, a little sanding block, sanded over the edge once or twice, and you can still use your cutter on cardstock and it's fine. Top tips, Pauline. I'm loving that. If you want to go for this one, $21.99. That 17-inch extendable arm as well means it's going to work for like A3, 12 by 12, all of the larger size projects that you might be working on. Price has gone down. $17.99, your price there. A-Y-H-D-O-8. Um, whether you are a crafter or not, I think everybody needs a, a decent trimmer in their home. I and mean, whatever you're cutting down, whether it be things for the kids or things for the grandkids, things for the office, or indeed things for the craft room. Uh, so AYHD08, one of the most popular trimmers that we have here at Hobby Maker. Uh, and of course, it comes from the glorious Hobby Maker. Um, if you do want replacement blades, obviously, as Pauline said, you get two in the actual with the actual board itself with the trimmer. But if you do want to go for extra blades, we don't have them very often. They're as rare as hen's teeth in these here parts. Uh, but we've got them back today 6.98 is your price for two of these so if you want to go for two extra blades 6.98 is your price oh is it 9.98 at the moment i think we can fix that come on that's better thank you i saw it on a screen so i knew that uh, so that's four blades actually i said two it's four blades you get for that price which is brilliant so that's what i mean that's that's about 175 a blade or something like that um if you'd like to go for yours cnhd34 is your item code on that one for your four fabulous replacement trimmer blades um right now another fabulous <coughs> oh, bless you paulie bless you was that a little sneeze i'm assuming it was one. Just a little one. It's quite a girly sneeze. I like Sorry. that. Though. No, it's dainty. Don't apologize. It had to it's come fabulous. out. Um, Pauline. Yes, my love. Your round cornered glass, strengthened glass as well. I mean, don't go throwing it against a wall, but it is pretty much shatterproof if you look after it. Um, this is your brilliant um, cutting mat from Hunky Dory. Yeah. An essential bit of kit. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the self heating mat's fine. A lot of people prefer to work on a glass mat. Um, it's fine with your blade of your knife, so don't worry about that. Um, but this is one that you will keep sort of permanently in place. It's not one you carry around with you. So if you've got a craft room or a desk that you permanently use, you can have that in place and not have to worry about it. And because it's glass, if you don't have a mixed media mat, you can mix your paints and your colours and your inks on here and your sprays. Uh, no problem with cleaning it up. It's also a bigger size. Is it A3? It is. A3, this one. Um, so it is substantial enough. And I love the rounded corners because mm. square corners can be a bit of a sharp edge. So this one, it's a little bit more safety conscious. With it a, is. 
rounded edge. I love the fact that everything is underneath the glass as well, because it's not like any of these measurements are on the top, so yep. you can't rub things No, they off. won't rub away. So those measurements are never going to come off, or those popular card sizes. Yes, I was just going to say that, 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 having the card sizes there and the measurements on, because we all forget at times what we... Oh, yes, yeah, I mean, sometimes I, I your mojo runs a little bit. Sometimes, so. No, sometimes you come and you think, who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Honestly, we don't, we don't have a clue. A little bit like that today. We have to get you to look out in the car park and say, it's, you're a hobby yeah, that's car it. And then you realise, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but when I try and get in the big posh car and realise, no, that one's yours. No, that's yours. not yours, <laughs> you. That's Dave Bradford's. He's not here at the minute, so you're fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, if you would like to go for your mat, it's uh, v Y. V YJHD41. We only launched this in March. It's very new. It's yeah. very new. So some of some of our lovely people might not have even seen it yet. Um, but it is a substantial piece of kit that is lovely to have. These, these are great, the, the self-healing ones, for travelling around and if you're working in a small place. But if you want something more substantial, then... Go that, for this that's one. your baby, yeah. Uh, YJHD41, 24.99 is your price. Now, quickly back to the trimmer, because we've got a question about the trimmer, Pauline. Okay. Uh, you can see it on your screen now from Jean in Nottinghamshire. Hi there, can yes. you cut apertures with the paper you trimmer? You surely can. Do you want right. to show us? Pauline? I will, I will. Thank you, darling. Right, lady. I've got a, pic a little piece of card here. Okay, it's one of our mirror mats. Right, so what I like to do is work sideways on. Okay, so. Um, it doesn't matter what size the card is, it's how much border you want that you work with. So let's say I want a two centimetre border all the way around this. Oh no, let's go half an inch. Okay, right, half an inch. So I've put it on there. I'm gonna take my blade up. So lift this up till you get your blade up to half an inch, lower it down. And then you're going to come, so it's four and a quarter, so if I come up to three and three quarters, that will be half an inch. So I take that down to this blade runs across. So you've got markings where it is at the side, you've got a marking on top, so that's there. Lift that up, turn it, put that on half an inch again, that is half an inch, okay. And then bring that up to the half an inch, where you can see it lines up. We are two over three, so we're gonna go about there. Can't work it out, my brain's not in gear, but I'm going there, okay? Yeah, a bit further, but not. we're not gonna worry about that today. Okay, back up, back up to half an inch. Always do it with your cutter up in the air, then lower it down, and then we're going to three and three quarters again. Lift up, we do our final one. Now, put it on the half again, but you'll see where you're starting and where you're stopping. So half an inch, okay, on there, a bit further up. Okay, there we go, and we know to stop there, because my blade tells me that's where it is. Aperture. Cut to perfection. Thank you, Pauline. That's fabulous. There you go. That's your answer. That's why it's always wise to email in. If you do have any questions, we are live and interactive every day between one and eight o'clock. Uh, so it's lovely. If you want to, if you want to get in touch with us, welcome to the family. We are here to hopefully answer your questions so that you can spend your money with confidence. All right, Joyce has sent an email in as well. Could you tell me, please, what is the turquoise bag on the back shelf? Uh, that's from Joy Wilman in London. Okay, we get this question a lot. It's this bag here. It, all I will say is it's coming soon. It feels very nice. I, I, I think we put it out a bit too early, really, because it's been up there on that shelf for a long... It's been out on that site. It's been there for a long, long time. But, um, yeah, it's coming soon. So watch this space, quite frankly. Uh, right, Pauline, we're nearly at the end. For anybody who's thinking, all oh, these ribbon borders, it's like, you know, am I going to get enough use out of them? What would you say, Pauline? Oh, definitely. Definitely. There's so much more you can do with them. And they're just such a useful... Thing. If you haven't got a sentiment, you've now got all those strips of sentiment in all those colours, but in silver and in gold. And I think that is an important thing because I can't, I don't like, it's a bit of a bugbear with me. If you're doing something with a gold trim, I don't want silver on yes, it. Yes, agreed. 
You want to like... I, sort of, I, um, yeah. yeah. You don't want it to clash, all the way. you want it to coordinate. Yeah. I do think as well, I mean, talking of coordination, a lot of these colours that we see here with the adorable scorable cardstock are colours that are going to match that are already existing adorable yeah, scorable Yeah, that, that's one thing Hunky Dory always consider. Um, it's like that when you look in the sentiment book, that's why I knew I could get a sentiment out of that book to, and it would match. Mm. I didn't have any worries about that. But the hard choice was picking which sentiment. Well, there's so many in there, isn't mm. there? Um, th the thing is with these ribbon borders is you do have some that have sentiments on, but obviously some have patterns on. If you look on the screen pattern one that you've got here, you can see there are stars, we have got hearts in there, we have got, uh, in fact, it's the upside down that one, isn't it? You've got hearts in there, you've got um, stars, you've got butterflies, there are chevrons in there, you've got dots in there, little dashes too. And that's the same with all of the colours. So you can see you've got the... Uh, the green, you've got the vanilla, you've got that lovely sort of like soft raspberry, that lovely sort of uh, poppy red. Uh, you've got the deep pink in there as well. The black, I mean, the gold on the black and the silver on the black look incredible. Can I mention something, Nigel? Of course you can. You see this card on the top here? This one. It's got, you, can you see the borders on it? Can you see the, the round, the circle? Yeah. If you look, because these borders are joined, right? You haven't got to place them yourself. You put the circle, which can be off any of your topper collections, right, or a die cut, put that on the top, stick it down, trim round it with your knife or scissors. These are staying together. You don't, it's not something you've had to place and stick each end on there. You can keep them all in one, just put your circle on the top and trim round it. But that's the great thing, isn't it? I mean, it all works together uniformly, but if you want yeah. to break it down into the individual ribbon strips, you can do. Yeah, absolutely. That's the joy about the mink die cut. You're not having to cut them down. They will pull apart, but obviously they have the little notches that hold them in place should you not want to pull them apart. Uh, Pauline, we are back at three. What have we got, lovely lady? We've got the magazine. The magazine recently it's launched. It's a lovely collection with it. Uh, yeah, what is left, we have got at three o'clock this afternoon. We've got everything. Bit of a nautical flavour on that show as Very well, Very much so. It? Remember, Father's Day coming up. Yeah. Father's Day, male birthdays. Everybody always asks about those. Are you going to get this your, is perfect. Are you going to get your sailor suit on for three o'clock? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, nice, Pauline. I will see you to set sail on a voyage of crafty discovery at three o'clock this afternoon. Next up, though, a masterclass with the fabulous Carla Bagshaw. It's Faber-Castell after the break. It's a show you do not want to miss. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there.
Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice, and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobby Maker. Hello there and welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel May. This fabulous lady hello. needs no introduction, but I will I will give her one. It's Carla Bagshaw. Hello, lovely hello, lady. Hello, hello. It feels really weird that you're standing up. No, it's only because I'm going to show some bits Oh, right, okay. And I'm going to sit down alongside okay. you. Um, we have got the most incredible show. We really have. This show does not come along often enough here on Hobby Maker. It's the Faber Castell show. Um, Carla, a little sort of umbrella about what we're going to be doing this hour. Yeah, so for those of you who have joined us before with these shows, we do some very slow shows where we actually talk about art and how to create art yourself and the fact that literally every single person watching can do this so what we see in front of you you absolutely can do that at home everybody can so that blows my mind you don't need to be a talented artist you don't need to be able to draw you don't need to do any of those things we're talking hyper realism and that gives this the benefit of being able to go into the tiny tiny tiniest of elements and be able to build up color which means you're able to produce any kind of artwork. It's incredible. It's a really nice way of building up skill and building up colors and building up your own identity as you go along. But we start the process off very easy and we've done about four shows where we started to look at various things. And in the last show, we were lucky enough Man, were we lucky enough to produce or come to air with Faber-Castell's Polychromos, which I can tell you are literally the world's leading brand in pencils. Anyone who knows Polychromos knows them. Mm. Like this is the Mercedes, it's the Chanel, it's the Gucci, it's the absolute creme you de know, la creme. creme de la creme mm. of pencils. And we're lucky enough to have them here on Hobby Maker and it is We've a got real them privilege. All back today and everything yeah. is on the website already, including we put some things on the website already from the Carla's later show, which is Copic. Out. Yes, and we've got Copic at six o'clock. So we'll be looking at using Polychromos with your Copics to produce artworks like this. So you can start to produce real tone on tone colors. We'll be looking at how to build this sort of stuff later on. We'll be looking at skin tones. All of this is at your fingertips. This is stuff, it's not, it's not something I can't draw. I've never been able to draw. I'm not talented with a pencil. However, I can do this and so too can you. Well, that, it just blows my mind. I cannot wait to see this in action. Um, let's get through what we've got and then yes. we'll crack on with the demos because it is a real masterclass. We want you to spend your money with confidence. So obviously, if you have any questions, ask Carla while she is here. Live and direct, email in studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We have got price points for everybody today as well. We've got sets for everybody from like a nice little tidy sort of like 12 pack to a 24 pack, 36. Yeah. Uh, bigger packs as well. So everything is there on the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. So check it out accordingly. Um, let's go for a little bundle to begin with. Yeah. Carla, we start off with the 24 the, yeah. in the so of Karen, our pencils. Karen, Grace and I had a, a big discussion and we decided on bundles that we thought would be the most appropriate for those of you who wanted to taste. You want to have a go. Let's, let's see if I like to, and let's see if I can do this, because I tell you that you can, but you actually having the confidence to do that is starts when you put pencil to paper, right? So what we've given you here is a Faber-Castell sketch pad. I believe that's the A4, so nice big size. Yeah. 
40 sheets, I think, in it there. It is indeed. And it's beautiful to work with. And I'll talk about papers with you in a second. But then you get an awesome pencil. Have you seen the pencil? Mine's a bit, uh, you know, dirty, my pencil sharpener. But the pencil sharpener itself can do three uh, different sizes of pencils. So you have got inside here three different elements. You can do your, your jumbos, you can do your, your graphites, all the rest of it. And it just clips together. So super neat. It's Faber. It's very sharp. You can get really good edge on your pencils with this. So again, Again, you're looking at a very sort of luxury pencil uh, pencil sharpener which we really need so you've got that and then and then you've got 24 of your polychromos what does and it mean when we say polychromos do we need to know anything it's just a brand okay. name so you're going to get this kit they're so beautiful so you're going to get this set now this has got all your primaries in there but when we say that, what you've also got in here are all your greens, so you can create your foliage. You've got browns, yellows, oranges, and pinks, so you can start to create your skin colors. And you would be able to get any skin color out of that. You can create florals with these. You can do botanicals, as we said. You literally can do pretty much anything. You can start to mix your colors. Obviously, the more pencils you've got, the greater scope you've got for different hues, different shades, different tones, that kind of thing. But this will set you off very nicely. Thank you very much. You'll be able to do lots of layering. You've also got your white pencil there for blending. So everything you need in there. So that is your 24 polychromos. Then you get the sketchbook and you get the Faber pencil sharpener. Uh, already 10% of our stock has gone into the basket. Of course. Well. I'm not surprised. Incredible deal. 63.99 is your price. Would you like some split pay on that as well? Of course you would. The split pay will be there for you as well. Taking that down into interest free, no charge payments here at Hobby Maker as well. If you'd like to go for yours, CSS. 835 is your item code. Diana in Lincolnshire, congratulations, you've already checked out. Brand new crafter coming in as well. If you want to go for the set of 24 on its own, yeah. we do have that for you. They are 58 99 no there's but no there's no point going Can I also yeah. say that we were only able, and I say we, this wasn't anything to do with Hobby Maker, only able to get so many of that bundle. So there's, there's limited amounts for you to be able to grab hold of. You're gonna have to go fast on that bundle mm. to be able to get the supreme value that we expect from Faber, but to get it at this discount is incredible. Oh, that's why the phone lines are busy, Carla. And your two-way split pay, thirty-one ninety-nine, is all you need to pay today. Ten percent of our stock has already gone. Three ways to order by the phone lines, the app, or of course via the Hobby Maker website. Uh, now we do have uh, smaller sets for you as yeah, well. Yeah, so your twelve. So it's over there, Nigel. That that's either. the one. So you've got your pack of 12. So this is half the size of the one we previously looked at. You've got your white in there again, yeah. Carla. Again, you've got your white for blending, you've got your black for outlining, and you've got your basics colors. Again, we've still got all your primaries. Remember, all your primaries make up all colors. So you can work in layers again, you can work in your shades. Again, it's all about just having reduced amounts of tones and hues that you can go for. Obviously, the more pencils you've got, the greater the scope, that makes total sense. This is a good taster for you. If you've got a bundle sitting there at the price that we've got it for, you've got the pad and you've got the sharpener and you've got double the pencils it makes sense to go for the bundle but if you want to have a go have a go and that is an epic price for Faber's go and have a look on the internet at Faber Cassell Polychromos you'll understand that we're talking about the world leaders in creating pencils it's not your average this isn't walking into Poundland we are Luxury. Yeah, it paid Look quality. This. We can just stroke this. So that was the top you can if you like, but I'm going to open it. Okay. There you go. I've uh, got my own. This, you have got your own. <laughs> uh, this is the set of 36 that we've got here, Carla. Look, Look at, at that. Just beautiful. Look at that. That's Candyland, isn't it? Lovely you can stuff. go to town on that. You've got more greys, you've got more colour tone going across. This is the strokeable one. So if you can take yourself to that price, then this is the one that you really want to be getting hold of because you've got so much in there. I understand, you know, we, we all have our budgets. Mm -hmm. So, but well, for this those is the great you, thing about having a budget for overall pockets. Exactly. Today. Auntie Pauline Wheeler has just been saying to me in the break, they're mine. You think they're yours, but they're mine because everybody here loves polychromos. They're, they're just the best in the industry. They're, they're incredible stuff. And we'll talk about why they're different in a minute. Oh. Just okay, so let's go straight insane. on to the go. 60, if you want to go for the 60. If you really this is want the big to boy. Yourself. If you can treat yourself, then please do. Look um, Carla, this. this is the height of luxury. Yes. It's all grouped so into colour families as it well, is, isn't it? It is, of course. Yeah. And then... Two tiered. There you go. Thank you. You've got your tiers here as well. Is it just the two? Yeah, just there the you two. go. Absolutely stunning. 
Absolutely stunning. This is treat, isn't it? Absolutely treat. Now you look at the price and you're like, yeah, what? For some coloring pencils? It's absolutely correct that they are the price that they are and there is good reason behind it. These are literally, but they're called museum quality. There you go. Meaning that if you were to create something today using your polychromos, the likelihood is in the, in a hundred years in museum conditions, your picture would be as vibrant is today as it will be then. They just, they are so well made. I can't begin to tell you this is not your average. There's a reason people use these and they work so blooming well with your Copics as well. We're gonna have a right day of it today. So grab what you can grab. My advice, if you can manage it, get the bundle. It's obviously going fast, mm. but the bundle is where it's at. That's what's gonna give you everything you need to get started. And we're gonna show you exactly how we can do it. If you don't believe me, you'll soon work it out. But we do have a Facebook group. I will just say, sorry. What's the name of that? So that is now, so it's the, Hobby Maker, Faber, Castell and Copic Club, I think. Go on there. It might ask you some questions. And if that doesn't, like if it's annoying you and it's not accepting your questions, don't worry, you've still joined. I won't be able to do anything with it until I leave the studio because they don't let me have my phone in here because they're very mean. So I can't accept you while I'm in here, but I will accept you when I go out. Now, in that group, lots of people have been posting their progress and it's absolutely insane to watch how people are leveling up all the time. And these are people who said they've never been able to draw before as well. If you're at home and you have managed to do anything with any of the uh, Fabers, any of the Polychromos, please do message in and let us know. And if any of you are willing to put a little picture in, you're in for a hundred pound draw, right? Absolutely, yes. We've got another draw coming up at the end of May. All you need to do is email it into studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Do this and you could be winning that hundred pounds. Good luck, everybody. Uh, right, the set of 24, which comes in the bundle, but if you want to go for it on its own, that is included, 58.99. But to be honest, it is on split pay, but I would go for the bundle because for 63.99, yeah. you are getting on top of that. You're also getting your A4 pad, uh, the 40 sheets in. There, and then you're also getting that uh, sharpener as well, the yeah. Trio sharpener. Uh, if you'd like to go for that, CSS835 is your item code. We do have larger and smaller pads coming up later in the show as well. But right now, I think everybody at home needs to do what I'm going to do. Pull up my Sit chair. Sit back, get a cup of tea down and a biscuit. And watch Carla in action. So Carla, where do we begin? Here. So well, whenever we're talking about Maybe any kind of... Chair. <laughs> Like I've got my son with me. Oh, and it's got that lower, hang on. <laughs> Any <Anytime. laughs> Any we did have a serious meeting about being serious today <laughs> after yesterday's yeah. Um Whenever we're talking about any kind of artwork, and it doesn't really matter what it is, it could be painting, watercolouring, it could be doing the makeup on your face, it, anything like that. Actually, what we're talking about is working in layers all the time. And that's how we get the depth of colour, it's how we do underpainting, so we get warm hues coming through and warm tones. And it doesn't change when we're doing anything with pencil. Now, when we're working with pencil crayons, and one thing that doesn't get discussed too much is the paper that we do in it on. And that's why I say to you this bundle is so important. I did talk about this briefly in the last uh, show that we did for it, and I'll talk about it again. Paper has got a tooth. Now we can get smooth cardstock. We talk about smooth cardstock all the time, don't we, for stamping. It's because it's got no tooth on it. Those That tooth gets in the way when we're trying to stamp. However, when we're working with colouring pencils, that tooth, when I put my first layer down, just goes down a weedy bit. Then I put my next, and then I put my next, and then I put my next, and then I put my next. Now, a bad quality paper will go one, two, and then I can't add any more colour. Okay, my layers have stopped. A reasonable quality, it'll let me go through maybe four or five layers. A good quality will let me probably go through 10, then it'll let me burnish, and then it'll let me still add, add layers of color on top of that. So we build this gorgeous depth of color and we really start to go in. You cannot achieve hyperrealism without working in layers, and that's how we layer color, okay? So it's a really important part of the process. So you gotta have good cardstock, get the bundle. It means you've got the, the pencils to start with, the right cardstock, so that you're not disappointed with your results. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're the one person that can't do it. Everybody can do it. You need the right tools. So when you've got the right, pen, uh, the right paper, the right pencils, and you've got a good sharpener. Now, why have we got a sharpener? It seems a weird thing, doesn't it? Why have we got a sharpener? So you're a bit like, well, you know, I can go into WH Mets and buy a, a, a pencil sharpener. Why do I need a Faber-Castell one? When we're talking about working in color or when we're talking about working in graphite, here we go, look at these. This is how I like 
my pencils to be sharpened. Okay, so I like them to be super, super sharp. Now there's a reason for that. Whenever we work with color pencils, we want it to be as sharp as we can get it without breaking the point. The reason is we never, we're taught when we're little to color downwards. We color like this, you know, we, we just sort of go in. Mm. Actually, the proper way to hold it, put that piece, the end, into the fat of your palm, okay? And kind of just guide it. And you're always working from the side. You're always working from a side profile. You're never, ever going down on the point. And so you need it to be sharp because actually we're working with the length of the nib, not the tip of the nib. So that's really important. So that's why we've given you absolutely the tools you need to do this when you get it home. This will be shipped out to you very fast. and You'll have everything to get started on this journey. And you're going to love it because suddenly you go, oh, pretty talented well, and I didn't even know. boosting the confidence, isn't yep. it? 20% uh, of our stock has already gone. 63.99 is your price for the pad, for the 24 pencils and of course the trio sharpener as well. Uh, do split that down into interest free, no charge split payments as well. Uh, 31.99, well done to Lynn, Elaine, Mari, Diana, brand new crafter, Deborah, another crafter coming through as well. Don't forget any questions, we want you to shop yep. with confidence but right now let's see how we can boost your confidence when it comes to the actual artistry itself. So. Okay, so the first thing I'll tell you is find yourself a subject, doesn't matter what it is. So you might choose a pair, you might choose an eye, as we're looking at that today, you might choose a no, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're not talking about specifics. It just doesn't matter, you just need something to do. Now go on to certain websites that allow you to download things, images for free. So Unsplash, I talk about this all the time, is a great website for you to go to, which is just www.unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H, unsplash.com. And that allows you to download free, very high definition, good quality, images and you're allowed to use them for free so that's fine download that and print it okay then trace it there's this weird snobbery I talk about it all the time you can't trace it well that's not me drawing it if I trace it we're getting landmarks that's all we're doing just get your landmarks you're just tracing the outline of it where I'm looking at the eye that I've got today I've just been started messing about coloring it but you can see my landmarks here I've got the pupil I've got the light shining from it I've got the elements sitting but I haven't copied the whole eye I've just got the elements I'm then going to go in now I've got a framework to work within then I can see where I'm going one of the most daunting things in the world is going oh well I need to draw an eye and I've got a blank piece of paper and I don't I, I'm not very good at drawing because immediately like, well, I can't do this. But if you've got a framework, suddenly we're working with a coloring book, right? Because you've got your framework, you traced it. So now we know that we've got that bit dealt with. We have got some of the highest quality tracing paper for you today. Um, and again, you might look at it and go, why is it, you know, why is it the price it is when I can get cheap trade? You don't want to work with cheap tracing paper. So if you're going to do this, this is a hobby. This is an art. This is, we're not talking your, your sort of average craft. This is something that you would do over a period of, if you were to do, say, his face, you're looking at taking three days to do that. This isn't, this isn't just an hour's artwork this is do an hour, put it away and come back to it. The truth of the matter is if you can do a jigsaw puzzle, you can do him. Okay? Because it's bit by bit by bit by bit. You're only focusing on the minutia and you're building and building and bu and it's the most gratifying, satisfying process I think there is in this industry. I can't tell you how good it is for your mental health. It's so good to just sit and just absorb. That's what I say. We are very busy. I'm right. so intrigued to see this next. Let's work out. I'm going to use this little set that I've got here. And I've got all my elements coming through. So I've got my pencils sitting. I was using some earlier. Now, the eye that I've got, I printed off this morning. Okay? Vivid, vivid eye. We're looking at colour tone here. So the first thing that you're going to notice, if you look at this, Nigel, what colour is the eye? Blue. And two predominant colours there, I would say. Blue and gold. Blue and gold. Now, the truth of the matter is that's not actually true. Of course it's blue, but I also see purple. I also see pink. I also see yellow. I see orange. I also see brown. I see a lot of grey. I see some black. I see various other colours coming through. Now, the reason that I can see that is because I've got it magnified so much. But if I go in, you can see black here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I can see white. Oh 
all the way through this, right? When we look at something, we've got, we train ourselves to look at something as a whole. I can say, well, that's a blue and gold eye. I can see it's or blue and brown, whichever way you want to, to class it. Look at the differences. This isn't blue, that's black. Then it goes into a blue hue here and I get those tones, but it's all decorated with white. There's little white speckles all over. Then I go into here, I'm on browns, I'm on yellows and I'm on cream. Okay, round here, I've got some aura of purples and pinks just sitting in that line and some aura of pink here as well. Now that would be underpainting or overpainting. So basically adding that hue before I start adding the color on top of it. By that, I mean, if I want to come in here, you see how this is very light and this is very dark. Well, if I want to create that difference and I want to get a blend, the worst thing that I could possibly do is go, oh, well, this bit's, this bit's a light blue and then that bit's a dark blue. I've got to get that shift going across. So the first thing you either do is start with your darks and then put a light over it and bring it down or start with your lights and then focus in on the darker color and then bring your light in again. I would say that the latter of those is probably your best choice. The worst thing that I would do at this point is start focusing on the white because if I start looking at those white flags, I'm never gonna get it finished. What I actually need to do is just color the whole thing in in blue, then go in afterwards with say a jelly roll pen or an eraser and take away some of the graphite, okay? So when I'm talking about working as a jigsaw puzzle, I'll be very brief. This is what we're looking at when we do hyperrealism. We're looking at concentrating. Where's my other bits? There were some of the others that fell out. Here we go. I'm looking at concentrating literally little bit by little bit. Now, if I'm looking at that little blue square here, well, I can do that. If I look at the big eye, oh, that looks hard. Mm, more daunting. But I can do that right? Because we're looking at the tiny, tiny pieces. So can you do it? Yeah, of course you can do it. Of course you can. Get the right tools. This is why the bundle is so important today, because we've literally put it together knowing that you can hit the ground running straight away. You're going to be doing this. So let's put our money where our mouth is. Let's start to add some color into here, right? So when I talk about landmarks, these lines going around the side are the gold and these darker elements. I know that I've got a very light blue round here. I'm going to start to just fill in a very, very light tone. And so from this, I'm going to use the side of my pencil, as I said from the beginning, because the last thing I want to do is go in dark. Now, I know that this is kind of my black line. This bit is my black, right? But I I have got blue flecks going into it, so I need to be canny about that. So what I'm gonna do is lay down a light blue first. Now I'm just going very, very gently. I'm not putting much color down at all. So your Faber's last you for so long because we're just very, very lightly working through. And I don't wanna go in too far, but this is gonna be black in the end, remember. I'm just putting a little color hue down so that I can ignore that with some black when I come in later. Now, we wanna get a turquoise because this isn't actually blue. What I can see here is a green undertone, a very, very light green undertone. You can either use a very, very pale green, which is what I'm going to do, or you can start building those tones by mixing and matching different colors together. But I'm definitely seeing a turquoise here, so I'm gonna go in with that. And I'm just gonna sharpen this up so that I've got a nice big point on it. If you want to really go for it, one of the other tools that's absolutely brilliant with Faber is this here knife business that we've got. First of all, because I can take pigment off my pencil just by scraping it, or I can do the old, did your dad used to do this with pencils? Absolutely. Where you just yeah. scrape and you go along and you get your point doing it that way. And I know lots of people asked about that before. Your pencil sharpener is great. This is as sharp as sharp can be. Please do watch your pause with it. The other thing that you need, and you do need, listen, I'm terrible for this, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do mummy bagshaw. Don't spit on your drawing. You know the temptation to blow the bits off. <laughs> don't do that. Don't spit on your drawing. Use your brush. Just brush your elements away. We don't want to be spitting. It's not good practice. Get out of the practice of it because it can ruin your paper. Remember, it's acid free. Right. So I'm just going to come in here with some yellow, uh, some green. Sorry. So as we're going through, there's not much, but I can see some, and it's just going to give me a tone. I don't want the eye to be green. It's blatantly blue. Now I've obviously got deep pencil lines. You wouldn't have your pencil lines as dark as mine. I'm doing it so that you can see it in demo. Otherwise you're gonna come a cropper. I'm gonna come in then with this very, very light blue and it's gonna go over the top of the green. The green's gonna disappear eventually. You won't see any green at all, but you'll know it's, there'll be a hue. There's a taste of it. You know when you've eaten something and then you eat something else, but you can still have a taste of the thing that you ate before. 
that's what we're doing, okay? So you'll just have that taste because if I then go here, well, you can see it here, I don't have the green. This has got the same amount of blue on it, but this, I can see the underpainting of the green. So I'm getting that, which way's left? That's right. There you go. So I can just get that slight hint of undertone in there, all right? So we're going through in this way. Now, the thing being is with this, I'm gonna have to keep layering it and I'm gonna do a certain portion of it and just keep layering up because what we do at the end of it is burnish it and that's how we finish it. And I'm not obviously gonna have time to do the whole eye, of course I'm not, but we're gonna work through. Now, I'm just gonna add some blue into this. I would say on this, I would be looking at doing around about 15 layers. Now I'm starting to get into a darker blue territory so I've got my lighter turquoise going through here. You don't have to be too neat, remember, we're not worried about going over the lines. That old adage, you can't go over the lines, It's you can because we're blending and we're layering. Now I'm just gonna come in with a blue-green tone here, just further in. So where I've got some of my, can you see these pieces? They're a little bit darker. I'm just gonna come in with some of these. So I'm coming in with that sea blue and then I'll start to make that a little bit darker as we go through. So everything is a blending process. Nothing starts as you think it's going to end. It's constantly building up layer upon layer upon layer. Now you see the differences here. I've got a very pale blue, I've got a dark blue, I've got a green because we're starting to build in those tones. Remember the white's gonna come at the end. It's not coming in before, so don't get hung up on the white. We can work with that towards the end. The first thing you're gonna do is seat yourself in your blue tones because that's where you're working predominantly. So now that I've got that, I'm just gonna take this round, blend it through that green and then bring it into here. Now, I also know that the further towards the iris that I am, the darker the blue. So now let's tone this out. So layer, 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 layer. And it's literally, it's such a beautiful process you'll start to see the tones coming through. Now, I don't know how close you can get to my paper here, but what you'll actually start to see are little white dots appearing. Yes. You see them? That's the tooth of my paper. Oh. That's what's allowing me to grip color because actually the color is sitting between those teeth. Now, I need to get rid of those teeth. I don't want the teeth, okay? But I don't want the teeth at the end. I need them now. So until I get to where I'm happy with the amount of layers I've put on, and that could be 15 layers, then I go, I'm ready, I'm ready to get rid of the teeth. And then I burnish it out with the white and you get that smooth tone. It's beautifully done. So we're just gonna work through. Now I'm gonna carry on. I'll just carry on doing this bit and I'm going to burnish at the, at, a little bit. So I'm just gonna work through and I'm gonna get this a little bit darker. So now I'll come in with a darker pencil. And the reason we work our way up, why don't I just use a navy blue pencil? Why don't I just start with that darkest color? Well, first of all, because I want it to be detailed. I want to look at where I'm going. I want to be able to miss little bits like here where I see that there's a green fleck. Can you see my green here? I wanna be able to miss that on here. I've got a green undertone. I don't need to color over it. I can create that line just around here so that my green is very, very small, but it's by definition there. Now I'm gonna go through. Right, let's see how close we can get this camera and I just wanna show you burnishing. I would, by the way, do another, like I say, another 10 layers on this, but I'm, I need to go in advance because what I don't wanna do is leave you and not show you how to burnish. So I'm gonna go in with a very dark blue now just around here. So now I'm picking up the point of my pencil. I'm not burnishing yet. I'm just picking that up, bringing it round. We're working minutia to minutia. So this might seem quite painful to watch, but it's an extraordinary important part of what we do. I'm gonna take a really dark blue now. So I'm coming in here, okay? And I'm gonna bring that down. And that's this line I've got on my eye. Can you just see here? So I'm just gonna bring that through. So she said blowing on the paper after I just told you not to. And I've got that there. Now I've got a very distinct line, haven't I? It almost looks like a love heart there. Now that we start to burnish, I'm gonna burnish at this stage. You wouldn't, you would carry on working on this layer upon layer, but I'm gonna burnish because I want to show you how to do it. 
where I've got that, just let me, hold on, just let me get rid of that. Where I've got these two pieces, we're gonna blend and we're gonna burnish and you're gonna use your white pencil to do it. I'm gonna go in quite hard, but I'm not gonna press down too much, but harder than I have been working. And I'm gonna to start to work in small circles. So we're just, just move it up a little bit. there yeah, you go, is that right? Yeah. So I'm gonna work in small circles and I'm going to push relatively hard and I'm gonna bring them together and slowly but surely, all of those teeth, those little white marks that you were seeing, they're disappearing Is because we're getting rid of the tooth. The no, it's not going to contaminate my nib. Listen, if your nib gets contaminated, you just sharpen, sharpen it, right? It. Mm. And if you've got the knife that we've just been talking about, you'll be able to just nip off the edge. And that's a beautifully burnished piece, right? So that is the joy of it because that's your finishing point. So every area that you get to, you burnish. And slowly but surely, you start to build up hyperrealism because we're burnishing out the tones. It's so easy. It's not, this is not a difficult process. And honestly, because I'm somebody who can't draw and what I, I just wanted to go, I'd seen a lot of people doing it. And so I started sort of delving into YouTube and stuff. And I was like, oh, well, I can do this. This is easy. What I can't do is if somebody said to me, draw a rabbit, I can't draw a rabbit. I don't know how to draw, but I can do this because it's copying. I can copy something. We can all copy something, right? But actually you're producing insane artwork. And what happens is your confidence and your skill level mm. builds. And then suddenly you're like, well, I can have a go at this now. Now I can go in color. Now I could actually do this in watercolor because I, I understand layers now. So I could do that in watercolor. I could do it in acrylics. I could do it in gouache. I could go through the remit now because I suddenly understand everything about layer and color because every process, gouache, watercolor, acrylic, all of those processes, pastels it's all layering it's this process it's just doing it again and again it's amazing uh 30 of the bundle has now gone you need to check out your baskets on this one so if you do want to go for it css835 is the item code for you there you get the a4 pad you get the 24 pencils and of course the trio sharpener as well um some other items for you as well just to mention them uh let's keep with our pencils for a moment we've got the set of 36 if you do want a larger set we have something for every pocket today um, you've seen the quality of the pencils with Carla and you will continue to see that in a moment. This is your colour collection for the set of 36. 88.49 is the price on that. We do have a two-way split pay for you, so what, 44.25? DOS857 is the item code on that. Uh, these pencils are pencils that will last you a lifetime if you look after them. Um, I think people that come in for these are already serious about their artistry or serious about the want to improve their I confidence think people, when it comes to artistry. I think people who are serious about the idea of expanding their ability of understanding that they can do it, of understanding that it's time, that we're ready, you can feel the change in the wind, where you're just like, I want to expand what I can do. I'm capable of doing that. And people um, want to go for as much as possible because the 60 set is yeah. our most popular oh, set. Yeah, at the of moment. course it is. Come on, look at that. It's beautiful. That's everything you need. That's going to last you. And that's everything. It doesn't matter what you're colouring. Want to colour an orange? An orange. You've got it here. What about a limon? If you want to do a limon, <laughs> you've got that here. If you want to do a banana, it's, here you go. Your, you know, watermelon, you name it. Flowers, do you want to do poppies? Well, there you go. Do you want to do skin tones? Skin There's tones, your skin tones. tones. Skin tones are all here trees, and petals, here. Flowers. You name it. Yeah. What are you doing? You do it. It doesn't matter what image you do. You know, we talk about skin tone. Everyone's, everyone's always really fascinated by skin tone. First of all, skin tones are generally made up of blue, red, and white. Which you wouldn't think. No, blue, red, white, cream, um, add in sometimes a bit of purple, a bit of pink. That's your skin tones. Um, it's not really about, because people go, well, I want a skin colored pencil. There isn't a skin colored pencil. There's ones that we recognize as having a skin tone that we mm. might recognize, but there's no skin tone, so there's no skin tone pencils. What we can get are colours that make skin tone, and that's really important. It's just building it up. If you want to give the set of 60, don't forget we've got a four-way split pay, so you can split that down to under £50 today, which is a phenomenal bargain if you can go for it. It's going to be, what, 40-odd pounds, isn't it? 44, 45, something like that. 46, 40, 24, there you go. Some of the sales that every time that we have this on as well is the Evan needable eraser. Um, now, Carla, it that's starts fine. like this, but obviously it goes like that. What do we need this for? 
So kneadable erasers are your best friend whenever you're doing any artwork, doesn't matter whether you're working in pencil, color pencil, it, t it picks up pigment, it, like it literally, it grabs pigment and it picks it up without rubbing. Now rubbing, so not like no, that. so if I want to pick up, for instance, some of the blue that we've just done, I just literally, I mold it, I knead it into the shape that I want. Now I can get this into a very finite point. So if I'm working in black graphic, if I'm just working with your graphic arts, then I can literally use that point to make freckles on a face or to make skin, little skin, you know, markings. You can do anything. But for this, I can make it a bit thicker, so I can just knead the end of it into a shape that's useful to me. And then I can just come in and I can start. Can you see where I'm picking mm, up color? Absolutely. Okay, I'm not rubbing it out. Why would I not want to rub out? Well, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smudge everything that I've worked on, and so it's not going to work properly. Whereas if I can just grab that pigment mm. and pull it up, it's 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 perfect it just works so grab yourself two, two or three everybody. yeah just grab two or three of those on and hand on heart having used kneadable erasers now for the last 15 years in various different stances i gotta tell you that the faber ones are the best on the market Without a doubt, and I've used loads of them. Some of them don't stretch, some of them don't, because they get warm, and as they get warm, they stretch a little more, and they're just brilliant. Uh, we've got a message coming through, and a piece of artistry as well, which is lovely. This is from Debbie. Uh, she says, good afternoon, Nigel and Carla. I do not often email into shows, uh, but I'm so excited about this one, as I've been waiting all week. I adore Faber-Castell. They are my go-to pencil of choice, and although they cost a little bit more, they are worth every penny. I use both the watercolour ones and the waterproof ones every single day in my wow. art practice. They never let me down. I am really looking forward to this hour. Carla's enthusiasm and talent and a top brand like this can't get any better. And Nigel, of course, thank you. I'm just sat here to watch this hour, let's be honest. A quick question. What is the best way to store the pencils? I tend to keep mine in their original container, but would prefer to have them upright in a jar for ease of access. Happy drawing. Good question, Carla. It's a really good question. And I would say to you, Debbie, that the answer would be to buy a roll is the answer that I would say. And um, we actually have a role for the Copic show later, but you need something like that where it's soft. If you want to keep them upright in a jar, no problem doing that. Here's my advice to you though. When you use the jar, get one that's a good size, not that they're going to fall over him, but that's a good size and line the inside of it with some bubble wrap and stick that to the inside of the jar so that they're not banging against the jar because you don't want those leads breaking inside the pencil. You need to protect the lead, remember. Now Faber-Castell make their leads completely central to the wooden part of the pencil. And I've said about this before, but it's the first time you've seen a Faber-Castell show. Here's the thing, here's the thing. If you watch a video, there's a video on YouTube, go and find it, of Faber-Castell actually making their pencils and it's a really fascinating process, mainly because I'm a very dull human, but it is fascinating. You know when you buy pencils, I've said this every time, you sharpen it and your wood is halfway down here on one side and it's right at the top of your pencil at the yeah, other and it's so really annoying. annoying. Yeah. Do you know why that happened? I only found this out recently. Is that an uneven? It's where the lead's placed in the wood. I didn't, I suppose it makes sense, so, I've never thought about no, it. No, I hadn't sense. either. Yeah. So the a Faber one is, a, each pencil is engineered. And I mean, go and watch the video. It's not just me talking drivel. They are engineered to absolutely be in that central line. So they're protected by as much wood as possible. Now, another thing that I'll tell you about uh, Faber-Castell as well. So on the market, leading in the market, there are three brands of colored pencils. You've got your Fabers, obviously. You've got Caran d'Ache, um, and then you've got another, which name escapes me at present. Caran d'Ache are more expensive than Faber, and they're listed as the top selling, uh, not top selling, sorry, the most expensive brand of pencil colors. Under that comes Faber-Castell. Why would Caran d'Ache be more expensive than Faber? First of all, because Caran d'Ache sell a set of 120 pencils, so do Faber. Caran d'Ache, all 120 are light fast, meaning that if light hits it, it won't fade. Okay. Faber Castell is actually the same, but I believe it's something like 12 of their pencils aren't guaranteed light fast. So they can't quite give the price that you would get for Caran d'Ache because Caran d'Ache can guarantee all 120. I think there's 12 or something like that that Faber can't quite guarantee at the moment to be absolutely light fast. And that's the only difference between the two of them. Now, I've worked with both. In fact, I've worked with all of them. Um, I am gonna say this. I, you, listen, everybody loves their own thing, right? 
I'm not a massive fan of the Caran d'Ache. I love Faber's because I like the hardness of the nib. It's not forgiving in the, in the blending sense because they're not designed to just smoothly blend out like a, oh, well, look at me with a bit of wax where I can pull this wax here and it blends. They're designed to build layers so that you can create detail like that. If you're using a heavy, heavy wax pencil, you're not going to get that detail. You can't because the wax isn't, the wax is too malleable. You need to have a really good, strong, hard nib. And that's what we get with Faber. They are the best in the industry for building up that color, getting that detail. We can get finite details with it. And that's why they're so good. So for any of you sitting there wondering why you can't just walk into Poundland, well, that's why, because you get what you pay for and you do get what you pay for, especially with Faber. It's worth every penny. 40% of our bundle has now gone getting busier and busier for that. Uh, we've got another picture coming through from Julia. So I'm loving the pictures. Keep them coming. Studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Just want to say I'm lucky enough to have all 20 sets, uh, wow. uh, all 220 of the set of polychromos. And I love them. I use them for colouring, but mostly when I make my sand tangle pictures for yeah. gifts. It's the perfect combination, isn't it? Isn't it? Suntangle and Faber. And we did have some last time we came in here of the Fabers that had been colored from Suntangle. And they're incredible. It's just really, really beautiful because there's no pencil like it. There yeah. is no pencil like it. They Thank are you, Julie, for awesome. your picture there. Uh, we've got some pads for you as well, don't forget. We've got the A5 to begin with. These are the best quality when it comes to sketch pads. You heard um, Carla talking about the tooth of the paper. Yes. It's all important. I hadn't even thought about that. I think Carla's been drawing on this already, or somebody has. Somebody's been having fun be on that. will be me messing about, or my kids, one or the somebody. other. Somebody. Uh, but you can see you've got the most fantastic sheets there. 40 sheets. I thought, what's on the other pages? Better check. Uh, 40 <laughs> sheets for you there. So, Mom. Uh, 739 <laughs> is your price on that one. ZJS839 is your item code there. Uh, now, we do have, obviously, with the bundle, we've got the A4 pad. If you'd like to go for the A4 pad on its own, uh, we do have that for you, too. £10.49 is your price on that one. Well, worth going for if you can i mean it's just an incredible um incredible pad don't think all pads are equal i think carla's proven that they are not oh no 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 and honestly they're not you need a good tooth when you're working with pencil you need a good tooth sorry you do it's true <laughs> you need a good point. tooth you i've got good teeth i've got good big teeth you need good big teeth my advice get the a3 and cut it in and so i give the details of the a3 here you go. <laughs> if you want the A3, you don't have to whisper. Shout it loud. Uh, get the A3, cut it down into A4. It's a great idea. 16.49 is your price on that. Uh, 40 sheets. Has this been drawn on? No. Uh, 40 sheets for you in there of your A3. It's a solid bit of um, paper stick. It really is. Uh, XYS870, your item code. Uh, let's get back to the demo because we want to soak up as much inspiration as possible. Don't forget to join the Facebook group as well for more inspiration Please after do. the show. I can't join. I can't let you in until I've finished here. No, but after the show, people, yeah. you'll let them in. So basically, if you put um, Faber Castell hobby maker, hobbies, hobby maker, Faber, Faber, Faber Castell and Cobbick, it'll, it'll pop up. Is it possible to find exactly what that's called, Cat? Thank you. Cat's going to go and have a look for us. Uh, right. Right. Back to so you. I'm going to start bringing in some dark on this light. So I just want to show you the idea of blending down. So we're working, as I say, we work in the minutia, and I haven't got time to detail this out fully for you, which I do apologise for. We could do the ten-hour show, but I'm sure you'd all fall asleep. But it might help some of you fall asleep. Who knows? I I'm going to take. This. It's very therapeutic to watch. I feel it's very sort of like mindful to watch. It is, isn't it? it? It's I just lovely. It's even more. Um, I'm going to show myself bubble. here. Can you see where that dark element is that I just put in? And then I've got the lighter element here. So we're just going to work on top of that dark element that I did. And I'm just going to start drawing out colour. So that I'm just pulling through that little bit. And it's almost burnishing, I suppose, to a degree. But I would go back over this. Now, you don't have to burnish everything with white. You can burnish in creams. You can burn, you could burnish in a grey, which is often very, very lovely. So we're working that through. And now I would come in again, maybe with that soft aqua that I was using and just gently come into these edges here just to give that difference of color as I'm coming through. Now I'm obviously going to then add white flex to that and I would do that possibly with a jelly roll. I would normally work on a much bigger scale than this. So, but one of the other things that you can do to remove some is you can use, we've used these before, mechanical erasers. But another thing that you can use is 
your knife. So if I take my knife here and I use the point of it, I can now just start flicking and it'll scrape some of those pencil lines in. Now I'm trying to do it a bit harder so you can see them coming through, but it will scrape some of that off and I'm starting to get little white flecks in my eye, which I am sort of mirroring from here. And you can see them coming out, which is really, really pretty to look at. So you end up with some of your detailing. So your knife comes in handy for that as well, because actually it comes with detail. It's very, very useful if you're trying to create fur texture or hair texture. It will really allow you to go to town with that as well. So that's how we start layering coloring. So I've got about 10 minutes to talk to you about white, which is never white. And do you want to do another thing before I start with the whites? Or are you okay with I you think just going? I think we're going in. White is never white. So one of the rules of doing stuff when we're working like this, white is never white. There is no, we, we can add white, so you would maybe use a jelly roll for that. What you don't want to do is leave any of your paper white, really, unless it's a massive, great big stretch and it's blatantly like the frame or something. When we're looking at an eyeball, you know, you're looking at it and going, oh, I've got this nice white, you know, white eyeball. I don't need to worry about it. Certainly when I come to this, I don't need to worry about it because that's bright white compared to everything else, right? No, it's not. It's actually blue. It's got a full blue wash on it. Okay. And then it's got a very white edge, a very white highlight around the edge, which I would do with a jelly roll. So I would take all of this and I would do the whole thing in blue. This is blatantly not blue, uh, not white. Sorry. This mm. is blatantly gray with a blue tone and some pink. So you start to look at things differently to how you think you were going to look at them in normal life. Because I think we all go, well, trees are green, sky's blue, the ocean's blue. We know certain things. We're taught it, aren't we, as kids? What's the rainbow? And because we're so indoctrinated with that rule of thumb, it becomes it becomes almost that we become blind to color. And that's why color is so important to me, because everything dances with color all the time. We just don't wait to see it. So when I'm looking at this and I'm going, there's so much pink in here. There's so much gorgeous orange in here. These vibrant colors and so much beautiful gray and pink and blue down here that I can see. And then I can highlight it with white and the whole picture will pop because that's how we're doing it. So you're working tonally. So for this, the first color that I would start with would be my gray. And so for this area, I would just come in very, very gently. I'm not pressing hard. And I'm just going to pull this round. So I've got this beautiful color coming through that you can barely see, but what I'm doing is creating a difference between those two points. So my bright white marker and this, I'm just creating a difference and it's soft, but of course we're working in layers. So by the time I've got through to maybe my sixth layer, you'll notice the difference very clearly. It's super lovely and super easy. Am mm. I just waffling? Sorry. No, not at all. I get so, so excited doing this stuff. Can you see it slowly starting to change? Now, of course, when I've got the bright blue here, bless you, that's going to look even more white because I'm putting a really strong contrast tone next to it. So it'll look quite white next to it, but it's actually still not white. It's gray and it's going to have some blue tones in it. And I'm going to add in other elements to just build up that color. And slowly but surely we get a really, really lovely look on it. And it's easy, but it's just sort of working with your pencils in a way that you're in charge of them and that you you own what you're doing, bring in different colors, bring in different hues. And then we talk about underpainting, which is where you might put in a warmer hue. I might, if I was painting an apple, for instance, I might go in with a purple and then put the green on top because it will change the color of the green. But to it'll still be green. It would just have a different hue to it. So we're always playing and using those techniques. I love it because you're de it's demystifying everything. This is what I think is brilliant about a masterclass like this because yeah. we're seeing you in action and realizing, do you know what? We can do uh, that. Anyone can do it because it's a secret, isn't it? Because everybody thinks, well, it's something I can't do because it's a big secret. But in actual fact, the secret is that there's no secret to it, that it's really easy. And it's about under I think one of the biggest things about doing something like this and the biggest thing about art, actually, there's a snobbery about art mm, that I really don't absolutely. like. Absolutely. Okay. And we think that we think that there's a set of really talented, gifted people out there who can do art. 
The secret isn't there isn't. The secret is that either we've told ourselves or we've been told that we are not those people. We are not those talented few. Mm. That actually our talent lies somewhere else. They're the gifted. But they just do what we're doing here. We can all do this. And I've watched a number of very, very prolific artists do an awful lot of things, especially recently. I've gone down a whole rabbit hole. Do you know what they all start with? A traced image. All of them. Because it's a quick boundary. We're just putting down some guidelines. The work is in the detail, mm. not in the tracing. The tracing doesn't matter. Don't limit yourself or feel that you're not capable of doing something you absolutely are capable of. It's always just a step forward. Are you willing to take the step? And the main thing to do is have the right tools because that's where you'd fall down. And you've got an amazing bundle today. You've also got the pit graphics. As I say, Pauline Wheel has just entered the studio. She'll tell you about Polychromos as well. She loves them. They're the best. Absolutely. They're the best in the industry. Can you achieve the same results with a set of pencils from Poundland? No. And that's not just me saying it. You can't. It, there's a difference. There's a reason. And, you know, we've all used really awful, cheap cotton mm -hmm. that you get in those weird sewing things. And it doesn't last two minutes because you're better off with some gutterman or whatever because it, it's stronger and it's, it's a, a better thing. And that's what we do with, with polychromos. But don't limit your own capabilities by telling yourself you can't do something because that's a, it's a tragedy to me. Because you can. Uh, we've got a picture from Julie, who I believe is part of the uh, Facebook Yay. group. Uh, fab picture of a dog here. Look at this. Look at Love this. the process of layering. It's very See? relaxing, says Julie. That's it's incredible. It's building up. We're learning, aren't we, all the time. We're starting to build. We're starting to shape out. So you've got all the structure of the face there, Julie. Beautifully layered up. You've got the hairlines coming through. And if you look at the picture where Julie's done it, you've got the browns. You've got the purples layering in there. You've also got your pinks. You've got, absolutely, you've got your blacks, your browns. We're layering up. It's about just immersing yourself in colour. And there's no happier world. Now, we've also got the graphite. So there you go. There's the Facebook group, <laughs> for you, by the way. Hobby Makers, Faber Castell and Copic Club. There and I go. made that up. You'd think I'd be able to remember it. You would think so, but I can understand why there's a lot of C's going on there. So Hobby Makers, Faber, Castell and Copic Club. There you go. Uh, go and join that accordingly. Now, I mentioned the graphite. Uh, let's take you through what we've got today. Oh, uh, what are the graphites to begin with, Carla? What do we need to know graphite about Graphite is Graphite is pencil as opposed to colour. We can create beautiful black and white hyperrealisms. We've done that in previous shows. Please do go back to those shows. They're all on YouTube. Now, this gives you two different types of graphite. One that you'll be familiar with and then one that is called the uh, pit, sort of the matte graphite. So this takes away the shine. Now, when you're dealing with pencil and you lay down graphite, you'll know that it's quite shiny, shiny if you lay down a lot of it. We've now got the matte so that you can layer and layer and layer and it isn't shiny. It will still have a shine, but nowhere near what we're used to. These are also, apps. I'm hoping I've got the right set because if it is, this is where the market changes. See here? Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We've got a 14B pencil. If you know, you know. And I was doing the show with Rosie last time we did it. And Ro I hadn't said anything. And Rosie went in. And the first thing she went is, oh, this has got a 14B pencil. I don't know what that is. You don't get 14B pencils. They don't exist. So Faber did one. Wow. It's the blackest so what does black it mean then for graphite. our artistry for our so b pencils are soft so that we can layer them really beautifully we can blend them beautifully um and they go up to 12b when 12b being the darkest it's got the the thickest blackest nib but then faber have come out with a 14. so can i take well, yeah, well, if yeah. i take the soft one here the the mat let's ruin the picture i've just done hold on if i take this actually i won't do it all there i'll do it on a different page just in case i come back to that so where you've got your 14B, this is as dark as dark can be. Wow, yeah, it is, isn't it? That, <laughs> that just said it's like looking into her soul. That is incredible. And when as soon as you start doing layering and hyperrealism, you'll suddenly know exactly why you need that pencil. Think of all the backgrounds. Think if you've got a photo of a family member that you've got and they're standing against a black background. You can't get that black background until you got that, now you can. 
10% uh, of the stock has gone on that already, 40, 49. You can see that you've got your paper stamp in there, you've got your uh, needle bill eraser, your eraser and your sharpener yep. as well. Uh, so if you want to go for that one, LBS813. We've also got another uh, selection of sets for you as well. Yeah. Uh, you've got this one, this is your 11 set to begin with. So in there, Carla, again. Yep. So you've got your, these are your soft ones, these are your mats, this is your pit mat graphite. You've also got a blending stub in there as well. You've got your sharpener and your rubber. So you're going through the thing. Does that have the 14? I think that might still, you know, it's still got the 14. We're still in the 14 in yep. this one. This is your little set. So this is just your pit mat as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't have, yeah, your graphite mat. It doesn't have your other set in it. So it is only half the pencils, but it is the mat set as opposed to the tother set. 25.99 for that one. VBS 838. And then finally for you, we've got this one, which is your six pack. Look at you checking to see if that goes to 14. I am, yeah, I was having a look now. Such a good boy. There. What are we on there? That's I think this is 12. One, I think yeah, this is, is just, yeah. That one just goes to your 12B, which is still pretty dark, let's uh, let's face it. But the difference between colours, between, you know, we're used to seeing HB, aren't we? We always talk about HB. That's what we tend to get in pencils or maybe a 2B. But these are matte graphite. They're just beautiful to work with. Soft, soft, soft pencils. So the blendability on those is exquisite every time. I feel like I've learned such a lot this hour. I mean, about demystifying the tracing as blowing my mind because I'm like makes everything achievable of course because if you can trace it you've got we've got to get this I know before. you've got to get thing, the snobbery of art and take it away of course you can trace stuff there's no there's no trace in police they can't take you to the police station for that you're allowed to trace trace get your landmarks and then do your business get your rework out my baby Yoda. By the way, this is just mm. fan art, just something I did for myself. You can't actually go in and start using, you know, copyright images. I was just playing uh, with some Copic inks and some uh, Faber-Castell. This is just my personal use. Um, so, but yeah, this is just using Polychromos and your Copic inks. And this is the kind of stuff we'll be looking at in the later how to blend, but we'll be going, focusing on skin tones. We're going to do a coloring page actually, but just focusing on how to blend the two together. But you can create amazing things with alcohol markers and Faber-Castell. Thank you very much, Carla. An absolute delight of an hour. Everything from Faber-Castell and indeed the items on the six o'clock copy show, the tracing paper and all of that are on the website now. So do check them all out at hobbymaker.co.uk. From me and Carla, I'll be back after the break with Auntie Pauline. Carla's going to be back at six. Keep it here on Hobbymaker. If you're shopping here at Hobbymaker and have a discount code to use, this is applied at checkout via our website or app. Once you've added all your items to your basket, then simply pop the code in the discount box and click redeem. The price will automatically adjust and then you're ready to continue with checkout. Alternatively, if you're shopping with us via the phone, our friendly help team will apply the discount for you. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobbymaker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobbymaker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favorite crafting experts. From Hobbymaker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. 
The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice, and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel May. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's three o'clock already. Where is the day gone? It's just disappearing away in a sea of creativity, is it not? Um, we have got the most wonderful hour coming up with Auntie Pauline. She is here from Hunky Dory. Ahoy there, Auntie Pauline. Ahoy, sailor. Well, I'm saying that for a very good reason, because you are the old salty sea dog for this hour, aren't you? Because yes, I am. A little bit nautical, my friends. Uh, with the brand new magazine, yes, that creative magazine from Hunky Dory, launched on Tuesday. We are kind of limited stock with it already, though. I am not surprised, because we have got an exclusive bundle that when we launched it on Tuesday you would not get anywhere else not only are you getting the magazine that is packed with its, all that creativity not only are you getting the fabulous card collection that is actually part of the magazine not only are you getting the embossing folder that is also part of the magazine as well which will give you perfect results we're also going to give you in as a hobby maker exclusive we've got all of this adorable scorable card stock here we have, oh, I'm going over there. Uh, we've got all of that fabulous card stock that you see there as well. Your fabulous foiled edge to edge card stock. Uh, that's Matt Tastics and the perfect sort of um, springboard, if you like, for all of your creativity. And then you're also getting this included as well. Your little book, your little book of nautical moments. Pauline, I love the subject matter that you've got here. I mean, there is something for everybody. And having that little book included as well means it's just perfect. You can just there's pull and pop. Yeah, you? there's something about sea, um, seaside scenes, maritime, boats, ships. It, it, it sort of evokes... An emotion in all of us, it, I think. This is why I like living by the seaside, Pauline. It just makes you feel good. Yeah. It's like there's always yeah. a beautiful view to look at. You feel the wind in your hair and, you know, and the a, cry a of the seagulls. Yeah. A, a lot of those images, I'd be happy with those in a frame. Yes. On the wall in a bathroom. Well, great for a scrapbook or something like that. <coughs> you have been away. Yeah, sure, excuse uh, me. We're already busy for this. I'm not surprised. Your, sp your price has dropped. It's exclusive. If you're looking elsewhere for this, don't bother. You only find it here at Hobby Maker. £29.96 is your price on this one. You are saving £10, which is basically your little book for free, isn't it? Because they're normally about a tenner, aren't that, they? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And or some of your adorable scorable and put it you save a tenner, whichever way you look at it. Uh, everything is is everything available individually as well, Kat? 
Yes, it is. So everything is available individually as well, but let's go through exactly what you've got. Let's have a look at the magazine to begin with, because the magazine is just fabulous. Pauline, when it's you... It's the new style magazine. Well, tell me about the new style, but tell me about what we're going to find inside, because I can see 92 projects. Every page is a sea of creativity, is it, it is not? It is full of inspiration from start to finish. Um, you'll learn more about the, uh, the crew up at HQ Towers. Um, and always dance fills the beans. Still got that. Lovely. Um, but uh, oh, past and uh, when I say past, all the latest ones, the, the collections and the upcoming ones you'll get glimpses of as well. But the team do a great, great job of um, filling you with all the inspiration from collections to it maybe involves stamping. Uh, I know that it's shown you with some gilding flakes in there as well. Um, and also, you know, it's nice to hear a little bit about the team. Yes, it and is. And what's going on. Because then you feel more part of what's going on with Hunky Dory. And it, it is right, because the Hunky Dory family just keeps on growing. And uh, I, I like this new style magazine. It's lovely, it's I've fresh, got to say. It's fresh, it's nice, it's updated. Every page in there is full of inspiration and aspiration. We always say it, Pauline, it's all thriller, no filler. Exactly. That's all what we love. Gum, all, it's all, all glad, no bad, all stuff, no guff, all that's thriller, the one. no filler. The guff, I couldn't there remember you go. the there rest. You, you couldn't remember your own guff. No. <laughs> uh, but if you want to go for this on its own, we've got that coming up for you. But remember, when you get the magazine, you aren't getting as standard. You get your adorable, scorable card stock. Oh, you don't get that one. Sorry, you get your card stock here. My apologies. Yeah. Picked up the wrong pile. Uh, you get this, which is your card collection. So that's included as well. It's huge. Obviously of a nautical theme, Pauline. Yeah. Well, you're getting double-sided papers, but look at them. They're ready to cut images. You're going to so you're going to get your paper. Oiled as well. Love Oiled them. Card Absolutely. Stock. Look at that. Paul. Then your gorgeous backing card. This is fab, isn't it? Look gorgeous. at that. We were mentioning foiling earlier. Your foiling is always exquisite. Yeah. And I love that. Already. It's so calming. It's it's beautiful. And I just keep thinking Father's Day for yes. this. June you know, the nineteenth. A 16, Sunday in like June. That. There you go. Is all I know. Um, you got your foiled acetates as well, Pauline. Two acetates. Fabulous. Yep. Gold acetate. You've got your two in there. They are included. This comes as standard with the magazine. You've got your, your toppers, toppers as well. So it's a pretty big collection you're getting with this one. It is. It's huge. It's lovely. You've got your anchors and your compasses and all of that. Uh, so that comes as standard, as does this. I love this. This embossing so folder, I. I think, is fabulous. This is included with the magazine as well. Obviously, it's part of our exclu yep. exclusive bundle too. Look how you can emboss with that. Doesn't that look can good? Can I make a suggestion as well? Yes. Use it uh, landscape. Take your brayer and ink the folder yeah and then when you've put it through your die cutting machine so you've got embossed but you've got like letterpress mm -hmm. and then cut around the swirls to make waves and layer one piece on top of the other cut two like layered and you then you've got your waves to put your boats on. I like that idea. Do you know what I was thinking as well? Because it's kind of multi-directional, this one. If you yes, look at it from it a is. certain angle, it doesn't look like waves anymore. It kind of looks like fur or hair, like tumbling down. Do you Rim know what I mean? Curl. Yes, a bit of a curl yeah. going on. A bit like your own curls, Pauline. Yeah. Or, or clouds as well, billowing clouds, yeah. it could look like. Um, but so I love that, that, that you can use it in, you know, different... Um, so, so that's included as standard with the magazine, but with our Hobby Maker bundle, exclusive yes. bundle, I'll have you know, uh, you are also getting 24 sheets of this, the Nautical Moments Matt-tastic, uh, wonderful, adorable, yeah. scorable. Now, you've got eight different colours, three of each. Pauline, why is Matt-tastic always good to have? Oh, I love Matt-tastic cardstock. Because it hasn't got the coating on that, the, you know, where we get the bending technology? Yeah. Uh, it, this is um, uncoated, which means then that we can rip and tear it and get the white core edge, which you can then ink. We can stamp on it. We can use Versamark ink mm. stamped onto there, and then it will dry one shade darker, and then you can leave it, and it's like a, 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 a self-print. Um, you can also stamp and emboss on it. You can just stamp 
sentiments on it, whereas on the other you'd have to use embossing powder because it, it wouldn't dry. So there's lots more uses, there's lots more um, creative ways to use this. It's um, a perfect blank and I, 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 I like it. I shouldn't have favourites. Yes, you can. But Mattastic is my favourite. Yeah, but there you go. And also, yeah. with this collection, the fact that it is matte gives that beautiful, a bit more of a watercolour effect. Yes, which goes thematically with what you've with, got. Yeah, 24 yeah. sheets included. It should be 9 99 You're saving a tenner with the bundle, so it's kind of like that's the freebie, if you like. Or you could say it's the other one. We've got the foiled card stock for you in there as well. So again, you've got 16 sheets of the foiled card stock. This is beautiful, Pauline, and it adds that touch of panache, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it's really lovely. The colours blend beautifully. Everything would oh, have been hand-picked to make sure it goes with the colours in the collection. Now, so, so you've that... got that sandy colour. Yes. You've got like a teal blue. You've got a, a more of a dark water colour um, blue. There's a little fish on there. Really that? lovely. A little, well, I say little, a big school of fish. How fabulous yeah. is that? You've got your script as well for you. Uh, and then you can see you've got your scales. You've got your scales in there as well. So it's a lovely selection, that. So that's included, 16 sheet but pack a lot of, of that the foil cardstock on Mattastic. Without the collection. Yes. Uh, and then finally, last but by no means least, your little book with the big possibilities. Oh, You're getting, um, how many sheets are in here? 120 pages in here. And it's matte pages again. It is. Yeah. And these are perfect. If you just want to pop one out and pop it on your oh, cards, you're there. Done. Absolutely. You've and got 20 designs, six of each particular one. There's yeah. your seagulls. And we always say beasts we, that they are. I mean, a fa well, if you've got, if you live by the seaside and you know a shop that will take your cards Oof, to sell. I do, Pauline. This would be perfect. I'd love a beach hut. Well, should we get you set up down in Brighton, Pauline? Yeah. Come down, come and stay. We'll get you, on, you know the, on the beach front. You beach can sell hut. some cards. I could... Come and come and make a card. Well, so I, you know, just pull up a chair. I don't own a beach hut. I've I got to say that, that Paul, and they're very expensive. But if hunky dory, but I thought well, you loved me. I do love you, just not enough to no, buy you a beach, a beach hut. hut. There you go. If I had enough money to buy two beach huts, Pauline, I would buy one for you. Well, buy three. One for you, one for me, and one for Jimmy for his leaving gift. There you go. He can come in, even though he's back next week. There you go. I know. He just wanted Jimmy the could always now, share my beach hut. Exactly. But is that a? Oh, you actually mean that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you, I didn't know whether it was something else. Uh, if you would like to go for that, all of that is included. 15% of our remaining stock has gone because uh, it was already like limited stock. So Debbie in West Sussex, Julian Warwickshire, uh, Crafter in Cambridgeshire, Maureen, Erica, Judith, Michelle, Emma and Dillis. Oh, I had an auntie Dillis once, bless her heart. It's a lovely name. Uh, Dillis in Bristol, you all have either checked out your baskets or you need to check out your baskets accordingly. Now, we do have the magazine on its own when we say on its own it's not on its own is it because you get the embossing folder and you also get that fabulous nautical collection that cardstock collection included in there as well the magazine is fab though it really is i mean every page pauline all all thriller no filler all stuff no goff all glad no bad. That's what we like, Pauline. And it's got page after page of projects. There are 92 projects in there, uh, which is fabulous. And you've got Dan, one of the, the big wigs down big at Hunky Dory. Big Boss Dan. Big Boss Dan. I don't like calling him Big Boss Dan. I do. I just like calling him Dan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dan the man. Dan the man. He spills his beans. There you go. Well, not his beans. The beans about what goes on at Hunky Dory. <laughs> uh, 9 99 for your magazine, if you'd like to go for that. You've got a car kit worth about 9 99 included with it. And you've got an embossing folder in there that's probably worth about sort of six seven quid as well that's included in there too uh, qehd67 is your item code on that all of that for 9.99 three ways to order you can either order on the phone lines jimmy where are you going you can either order on the phone lines you can, well whilst he's here uh, you can either order there you can order via the hobby maker app if you've not done that as well or you can order come on run like the wind or you can order or crawl on your hands and knees that's per uh, you can order via the website it is of course all the w's dot Hobbymaker.co.uk. Did you hear Adam? I did. What did he say? Batter him. Batter him. Yes, that's what I put up with in my ear. He's honestly. I, he's only one knock away from HR. <laughs> uh, right, let's <laughs> batter him too. Uh, right, let's show you some samples as well. Angel policy, Pauline, as ever. Uh, Hunky Dory's angel policy is as long as you're making with the collections, you can do whatever you want. Lovely. You can sell for <laughs> charity, you can sell for your own business. Uh, you can give them away if you want to. 
um, just make them for pleasure. I just think these are fabulous. They really I really are. like this collection. I do as well. And I, I mean, think this is one of the biggest collections I've seen uh, that comes with a magazine. Yes. You don't, you don't uh, normally get the uh, acetate no, well, the with, with this. And, and, it, and the cardstock and, and the papers, the beautiful prints on there. I love the fact you got the little book with the bundle, giving the extras there, but it's true, within the magazine you don't normally get Yeah, within the portal, magazine itself, yeah. this, this is a huge collection. A message in a bottle, Pauline. Yes. Dear Jimmy, come share my beach hut. Love, Auntie P. There you go, that's what it says in that bottle. <laughs> love the seagull as well. This is fab, they really are. They're very are. classy Ooh, look, as well. Using your wire, maybe you did a bit of the, um, the wire work. Oh. as well. Um, you do get beautiful. with the magazine, actually, you do get free downloads as well, don't you? You do, I believe. You it, do. All the details will be in the magazine. It is true, so you get extra little freebies as well. I love this, using that acetate there. That's oh, all acetate. I'm, I'm using that cardstock and I'm using acetate on, on my, de on well, my we demo. We look forward to that in a moment, Pauline. Um, it just shows you how versatile you can be with your card making as well. I think it's fabulous. Over... Uh, you've got over 90 projects in this magazine, 92 I think it is, or over, was it over 90, did it say? I think it is 92. 92 projects in there, 92 projects in the magazine, that works out at about, what, 10p each, but you're getting all of the inspiration on top of that, and a jolly good crafty read. Uh, QEHD67 is your item code. Um, if you want to know what your digital downloads are, by the way, you are going to get card inserts. Uh, to go with your nautical moments, so you've got those included. You've got your craft wire templates, and you've also got SVG cutting files. Things like that, that's what you've got, to be honest. I don't want to get it all out, but you can see you've got digi stamps in there too. There is loads in there, and somebody's been having fun with their wire work. Um, all of that will be on the Hunky Dory Hub for you to download on the Hunky Dory website. Uh, right, I think it's time for a little bit of... Uh, Salty Sea Dog action. Let's go over to our human seagull of craft. That's weird, Pauline Wheeler. <laughs> also in the magazine at the back, if you see some of the card shapes that uh, the, the girls have done, you'll get the templates in the back to, to work with. They are there, it's true. They are all there in the magazine as well. That always helps. Right, Pauline, what you got okay, for us? Okay, right, as I said, I've got some of that beautiful cardstock with foiling. Um, and I've got this amazing swirly acetate with that gold. It is stunning. Absolutely. Go the right way, Pauline. Um, gorgeous. So we're going to lay that over the cardstock, which you might think, wow, you've got a lot going on there. But it really, really works. It's, it's just fabulous. So I've got an eight inch square card. Um, an eight inch square of the cardstock and this is an eight by nine inch so that means I need to make a score in that so using my inches side on my scoreboard okay look at this it's so pretty I don't want to take out that so I'll get my old you've one. got your own Pauline <laughs> so I'm going to score at one inch so I'm just going to pop that up to my left hand edge you don't need to do one inch, it, uh, it's just a, a measurement I did. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is turn it over and do it the other side because that will help that score line fold just that little bit better. So we'll move that out of the way. So now my score line is there and what I like to do is just start to fold on that score line, okay? It's always very hard here when the light's shining on it, but you can see by doing the both sides how that goes quite nicely. And then if you fold it on that line and then take it from the middle out, okay, it will fold beautifully. And then that should give you a wrap around for on there. So I'm going to bring my red line tape back into play and I'm going to use, this This is our latest one, the widest. Um, so on this, it's, now you say, why are you using red line tape? Why are you using red line and tape? I'm well, glad you asked. There you go. <laughs> because it's super sticky on something like acetate, you want something quite strong yes. to hold it in place. So... And it's not going to show either, is it? Because it is no, a red is the, carrier this is that it has on it. On the back as well, so you won't see it at all. So we're going to pop that on there. 
and then take off the backing. Here we go. Take off the backing, take my cardstock, and then offer it up. So by offering it up, you hold that and then slide that in. Okay. And then when you've got it nice and square, which I'm not sure I have yet. It's probably it's having one of those days. Uh, more people need to check out their baskets. Uh, Wendy we in go. Worcestershire, Dorothy in Merseyside, you're there now as well. Mari in, or Marie in North Yorkshire and Irene in Warwickshire. You've all got the magazine on its own in your basket. 20% of our exclusive stock has gone already if you're after the bundle. Uh, obviously, the magazine, if you want to go for that, busy, busy, busy as well. Um, just busy right the way across the board. I'm not surprised. If you want to go for the magazine on its own, 9 99 If you want to go for the bundle with the magazine and everything else included, there are your details there. Twenty nine ninety six. Uh, Irene in Warwickshire, you're in now as well. Sally in Norfolk, Janet in Northamptonshire. Uh, lots of you in. I don't blame you. You want that inspiration. Here's some more from Auntie P. Right, so I've put another piece of red line tape on the acetate. And then you can use your glue or your tape runners on the rest. It's just that bit we need it to stick down. So I'm going in with my all-time favourite, my construction glue okay right so now we're going to pop this on here and i'm going to offer that up again on that bottom line there we go okay so that's on my card nicely there we go now as usual pauline hasn't cut it right i am having bear with me today because Nothing has gone right. Pauline, you're the imperfection that proves your perfection. Nothing has gone right. So I am just going to take that off on that edge. You sound better than you did earlier, though, I've got to say. I've, I've toasted up with whatever I can to, to So help. You're, you're, you're awash with narcotics. Uh, yes, yeah. basically. I'm on a roll at the Medication. moment. Medication. That's it. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim that last bit. Oh, it's almost off, but just that last bit of corner there. But it's, I know it might sound like I'm trying to talk myself out of a hole, but sometimes it helps when you see that we, we get it wrong. It's because it's not about getting it wrong, it's how you put it right. It's about being human, poorly, okay. isn't it? So now you can decide whether you want that as free flowing or whether with what we put on the top, you're going to hide mm -hmm. whatever. So we can deal with that afterwards. So then on the paper, the double-sided papers, on one of them we've got, especially for you, paper strip. I'm going to use that. And then on the borders, on the card toppers, we've got this fabulous border, which I think goes brilliantly. Oops, excuse me. I have lost, one moment. I have lost a topper. I'm back. Okay, right. It's a fun day today. So it? you've got another two hours later, Paul. <laughs> You're back at five and seven. I know. So I've um, taken the middle out of this one, and I've taken the middle out of that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this border and we're going to put it near to the bottom down here. Just to say 25% of our bundle details on the side of your screen have now gone. And remember, that's it. As far as I know, that bundle, when it's gone, it's gone. So grab it whilst we've got it. Item code NRHD65. So I'm going to put red line tape again on here. Okay. There we go. Move the backing. And then we're going to place that to go across our card. Here we go. And um, because you've got fabulous lines on your cardstock, you can sort of see where you want it to go. So just bear in mind it's going under there. It doesn't have to be central to it. It can be lower down. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use that line there. And I can get that straight 
across there. Message from Penelope for you, Pauline. Hi, Pauline, Penelope. you may feel like everything is going wrong, but you are there giving us so much inspiration oh. and happiness, sending hugs. Thank you. That's there so you nice go, of you. There you go, Auntie P. If that's not going to put a smile on I your am face, I am nothing truly, will. truly not feeling my best today. Right, OK, so then let's put some um, strips on this. And I love our strips because you can see how you can go round in a circle without having to cut little bits. Mm, bendy strips. Yeah, fabulous. Um, and it may look creased up, but that's only the cover on the outside. So there we go, a little bit more. Because we don't want everything flat. It gets no. a little bit... It's nice to have a bit of raised dimension yeah. on your card. Absolutely. A bit of added interest. If you do want strips and things like that, foam pads in various shapes and sizes and colours, check out the website. I do believe that. I think they're up in the five o'clock hour, so you can look ahead there. Um, or you can head to the brand shop for Hunky Dory on our website. Becky, what is it? All the W's what? That is the one, hobbymaker.co.uk. Right, here we go. So we've got our pads on there. And there's no right or wrong way up with this. So we're just going to pop that towards the bottom there. And then we'll put a pad on the back of this lovely topper or two. There we go. I love taking the middle out and having what's underneath showing through. Mm. You don't want to hide things like that, Pauline, because it's gorgeous. <laughs> now, I don't think there's an <coughs> excuse me. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. There's no north, south, east or west written on there. So I'm taking a chance and we're gonna pop that one on there. Well this in, in reality it would spin around anyway, wouldn't it? So yeah. you can put it where you like. This one is gonna go over the top there. So I don't want to put any pads on there, but we're going to raise the rest of it. Here we go. Let's get a uh, uh, message from Jennifer. Slim it's style. our coffee addict. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. She says, I like to see the mistakes too. So I know how to put them right and avoid them too, if possible. I love exactly. Hungry Dory and everything else on here too. Oh, thank Bless you, Jennifer. You. If you like mistakes, you're in the right place. There you go. Uh, if you like mistakes, what you made today, you very much like. 30% uh, of our exclusive bundle has now got, I know the details are there, but the bundle's here. Uh, so if you want to go for this one, uh, then don't forget you are getting the magazine, which comes as standard with that complete car collection with foiled acetate and all things like that. Uh, plus, of course, you've got the embossing folder in there. But in this exclusive bundle from Hobby Maker, you are also getting the little pad. You get that included. You're also getting in that as well. You are going to get the uh, 24 sheets of the adorable, scorable solid cardstock and 16 sheets of the adorable, scorable, fabulous foiled cardstock as well. So you get that included. And of course, you get your little book too with all 120 sheets of nautical images for you to uh, literally pull out and pop on a card. Job is done. Back to old salty <laughs> sea dog wheeler. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. So we say we've got that piece that's not raised, otherwise we'd be wibbly wobbly. We're doing that, Pauline. So we're going to pop that. Might get seasick. Oh, I did that on the last cruise. Did you? I, I remember you had a day where you yeah, couldn't, yeah. You, is it, uh, don't I remember right that you d couldn't go to the captain's table? It was table the captain, yeah, it was the captain's Because you were a little night. bit poorly sick. You stood up the captain, Paul. Yeah. You did? Yeah. And I, I, you know, I should imagine any man, the captain including, Included, he was, was very devastated. disappointed. I imagine he was, Pauline. <laughs> Probably still crying into his into his anchor or whatever. And I was all dressed up, ready to go. You were all dressed up, ready yeah, to go. Yeah. So literally, you were all ready to go in that Oh, yeah, sick. yeah. So did you have to lie on your own bed like, I had in, to in have, your glad rags? I had to have a nurse come out really? to me. I had to have an injection. Of what? Um, some anti-sickness oh, thing. Right, okay. Um, that, um, I don't know why I asked you of what then. Like, of how, what? Yeah, how personal like, is that? What did you have? What like did they a, give you? Like oh, alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it was um, it was a bit of a. a did you go and minutes. see the captain afterwards for like a separate like you know? No, no. I've now you see what I've done it. now is I've lost my sentiment, but. I don't what know. do you want one? We have the book. Oh, I, I haven't know. got my book of sentiments anymore, have I? Have you got one there? Um, oh, well, I've probably got more in there. Now, on the paper as well, we've got the smaller one. So what I'm going to do is cut 
off the points. And I'm just going to go around in the circle. These papers are delightful. They really are. And there's so much you can do with them. There's so much on them. So make the most of them. And, of course, if you're getting the bundle with the little book as well, oh, my word, you've got mm. so and much And we have got that little book on there. its own, which I will go through afterwards and show you all of the images that are in there, or as many as yeah. I can. Um, just say, if you are giving the magazine on its own, a lot of you are, I don't blame you. Barbara, Linda, Sally, Janet, Wendy, Helen, Dorothy and Elizabeth, you need to check out your baskets. Don't forget, it's like Pauline when she stood in the queue at the supermarket with a bottle of gin in one hand and a, I don't know, an assistant in the other until she's paid <laughs> until she's paid for a gin she's not allowed to have it she's got to get through the checkout and then it's officially hers and she can crack it open in the car park as is her <laughs> there you go <laughs> that's not true Pauline, is oh it? dear me or is it no I'd, I'd like to say as well after being just motion sickness that one night was fine the next day i went off to madeira it's so, weird, isn't it? yeah, no, yeah you went on that Thing that I went on the, down the cobbled the street. Toboggan, the other yeah. toboggan. It was fantastic. And there was a lot of movement on that because I saw the video. It was hilarious. Have you right. got another trip planned, Pauline? I, w I was, but I'm not now. Um, but I am going to Cornwall. But, I, but I've got a huge birthday coming up in January. Yep. So I'm going to, I'm doing one for that. I'm so, Pauline. right, we are sentimentless, but I would put the sentiment on. But it's already, so that still is free, but I because you've got all the workings there, I would now put some mm. um, adhesive just to fasten that down. I don't think it necessarily needs that. a sentiment. That could be a fabulous just because card. Oh, absolutely. I think that would be fabulous. Uh, right, let's remind you, if you want to go for the main collection itself, you can do. In there, you will get a little book. But if you want the little book on its own, then we have that for you as well. Uh, the little books from Hunky Dory are famed. They really are. This is one of the ones with 120 sheets in it. You got uh, you get six different, 20 different designs, and you get six of each particular one. Uh, so you've got your seagull, you've got your uh, your deck chairs on the beach. That looks like a beautiful place. I can imagine you and I, Pauline, sat there with a a little something alcoholic in our hands. That would be lovely, would it not? Mojito. A mojito. Come on, Pauline, let's do it. I'd be very happy with that. Uh, and then when Pauline's left me, I would sit there solitary in that one chair, thinking, where is she gone? What happened to the good times? Uh, then we've got a little seahorse. Oh, go and watch them giving birth on YouTube. Best thing ever. <laughs> see, I love a seahorse just for that very purpose. Uh, then you've got your me or your galleon in a bottle, your ship in a bottle. I like a ship in a bottle. I think I used to have one when I was a kid, if I remember rightly. Really? Give me flashbacks, yeah. Uh, then you've got your compass there as well. Uh, then you've a message in the bottle. I, I'd see Adam, the director, is asking, Adam, show us your perplexed face. Go on, show us your perplexed face. There you go. Look a bit confused. There he is, because he said, how do they get a galleon in a bottle? And um, they have to, like, lay it flat, don't they? The, like, the, the bits, the masty bits go down flat, and then they put it in, and then they raise it with a little yep. bit of cotton or something. It's very clever. It's like, I don't know, nautical voodoo. It's very good. Uh, what else have we got for you? You've got the seagull in there. I love seagulls. I go, I'm the mad seagull person in Brighton. I go out and feed the seagulls. I love Now, Now, see, Adam. Adam is bringing us his like, things that he hates. It's a regular topic with Adam, things he hates. Now, today he's revealed that he hates Eurovision, which I'm just not having, um, and he hates seagulls. Now, my, my daughter, she says exactly the same. She's like, they're horrible birds. They nick your pit chips and stuff. Yes, they do, that's true. But they are very handsome beasts. And it's like, I like going out in the garden and feeding them. I do, because it's like they're, they're always very... You can't comfortable. call them seagulls anymore. What are they now, then? They're just gulls, because... That there's so many more that are inland. Well, see, my ones there's are no seagulls, sea. aren't they? Because we're down on Yours the coast, are, aren't we? yeah. yeah. Not my particular ones. Oh, look, Pauline, that's you and Jimmy in, a, in, a, in another lifetime, oh, wandering I'd down a beach. Tropical together. island. There you go. Like your holiday romance. Our, our holiday escape. Um, can I, this is really weird, because Chris in Greater Manchester has just said, Pauline, happy 21st when it comes round, but you don't look a day over 20. Oh, I, Chris, this is true. You. Nearly just now, when Pauline said she had a landmark birthday, I was going to go, oh, Pauline, we well, were only 21 once. I was going to say it, and then I just thought, no. I believe that's um, Sandra's Chris. Ah, it is. Chris. There you go. Thank you, Chris. You're very Did kind. Did you hear what Adam said? He said, when are you 80 then? Isn't that awful, Pauline? 
Isn't that awful? Honestly, you go and sort Daddy it out. Daddy Adam. Batter him. We are through. <laughs> uh, if you want your book, MOHD10 is your item code there. Message from Tanya in Bristol, in Brizzle. Um, I love Hunky Dory products, such great quality. I've ordered my bundle, can't wait for it to arrive. Uh, thank you, Tanya. Can you see what I've done? I've got the border that I didn't put on with the, especially for you. Perfect. There it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Loving that, Pauline. There we go. Um, another message for you, this is from Shirley. She says, hello, Auntie Pauline, Nigel and Dean. Sorry you're feeling down. Oh, that was nice. Who was that? Is that Jimmy shouting? Uh, sorry you're feeling down. Love Alicia. Love Alicia. I love it when people spell lovely like that. Mm. I don't know whether you did it deliberately, but I kind of... Yes, that the really people always have makes been me very smart. kind today. It's, it's a lovely thing, is it? Lovely. Uh, lovely. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Keep those messages coming. Oh, you are, Rebecca. Oh. Oh, look at these bouncing off the screen. Um, Hi, Pauline. Love to see demos with acetate. I never know what to do with it. Sending my to Nigel, you're very quiet today, am I? Were you watching during the Carla show when I was just watching? You were mesmerised. You was. were so... We, uh, Jane, who's on next, was, and I said, you, you were, like, so into it. I was, I was just watching we Carla. We were watching lovely. Well, I mean, there was yeah. the fact that I couldn't get a word in, but it's like, you know, <laughs> also, it was, like, very mesmeric to watch. Am I quiet today? I don't know. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My fans in the gallery, namely uh, Kat and Adam, are like, no, you don't have to say any more. You've said enough, quite <laughs> frankly. There you go. Message from Donna. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look. I missed the first part of the show, so when I sat down, I heard Nigel say hunky dory naughty images oh! instead of naughty. Oh! Well, do you know what? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> There's a show there, isn't there, quite <laughs> frankly. If Pauline and I were on at 9pm at night, then maybe we could do that show, Pauline, couldn't we? That would be good. Uh, a message from Steph. What let's fun. have a look. Well, it's been known before, Pauline. Honestly, <laughs> we've done shows that should have been shown after that. Well, yes, now. this is true. Uh, Steph in Lincolnshire says, I love Hunky Dory products, so much inspiration. Auntie Pauline, hope you feel better soon. Oh, thank you. You're not too bad, I've had now. better. I, I'm, I'm, I'm OK. I really am OK. I, I've had better days. Did and you obviously, get... from this crafting, you've seen I have had better days. Did you take Jimmy up on his offer to rub Vicks into your chest? I... No, not Vicks, the presenter from Sewing Street. That would be weird. That's an image that I will never unsee now, but there you go. I have to say, Vix was a great help. Was she? What? No, Vic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, this is going so wrong. I'm in enough trouble. I can't get that image out of my head now. Uh, right, back to our big bundle. Let's do this. If you're looking for it elsewhere, don't bother, because it's exclusive to us here at Hobby Maker. Uh, you have got the magazine in there. The magazine, of course, £9.99 on its own. As standard, I'm coming around the front, Adam. I know, I know you don't like it, but I'm doing it anyway. Because I can... Oh, I don't have to. It's a picture. I want to point <laughs> at stuff there. Oh, that's fine, then. I can just have a look at stuff. Um, in there, you are getting included your nautical moments, your matastic, adorable, scorable Ford card stop. That's included. Uh, you are also getting in there as well. So, yeah, you get that. There you go. We're back live. Hi. Uh, so you got that. You've also got in there, you get your foiled acetate in there, which is brilliant. Uh, you've also got in there as well, you've got your adorable, scorable uh, cardstock. Uh, that's included in there. 16 sheets, no, 24 sheets of that. Uh, you've also got your little book and you've got your embossing folder as well, which is brilliant. Look at that embossing folder. I love that. Uh, which is waves. It could be billowing clouds. It could be tumbling hair. It could be fur. It could be whatever you like. Uh, oh. Rep oh, now, see, I'm going to say Kat's suggestion there, which I'm not sure about. I, d I don't necessarily agree with it, but I think it's different strokes for different folks. She said it could be like a Rapunzel letting her hair down. It's, it's not really long hair, is it? That wouldn't be, you know, you couldn't climb up a tower with that, could you? No, it's more wild and windswept, that one is. Yeah, I think it's more kind of like, I, I feel billowing Shirley Temple. Good. They Shirley won't know who we're on about. Shirley Temple, the good ship lollipop. Yeah, I used Pauline. to dance. I danced to that. Do you know, this does not surprise me. But I was about to say, Pauline, I can imagine you doing Tap Shirley dance. Temple. You are like a crafty Shirley Temple. On the good ship Temple. lollipop, dressed as a little sailor girl. Oh, come on, Pauline, give us a burst of oh, it. Oh, no. Go on, Pauline. Go on, it'll cure you. In St Cuthbert's Church Hall. Oh, my God. Um, please do that. Next time you've had a sherry, just FaceTime me and do it, because I need to see that. Honestly, Pauline, when you're feeling better, we'll do that. 
I'm bringing a red curly wig and you can be Shirley Temple. It's going to be so good. Uh, message from June. I love seagulls too. Big up the seagulls, Woo! June. Yes to the seagulls. Uh, you watch, I'll go home and I'll pull over my car now. Uh, we've got a pair nest on our roof raising triplets. Oh. How do you, oh, that's so cool. Um, absolute bundles of fluffs. I'm Eastbourne. I love Eastbourne. I'm spread. June, you might have seen me down on the seafront. I'm quite often in Eastbourne on the Sheik's Pier, which always makes me laugh. It's the pier is like, owned by Sheik, so it's called the Sheik's Pier. Uh Shakespeare. I know what it is that sounds like Shakespeare, doesn't it? I live near. Uh, thank you, June. Yeah. No, not Shakespeare. Shake. Like a chic. Shake. Oh, Shakespeare. Do you say shake or chic? Shake. 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 Do you, I've been saying, I always call them chic, so they're not, not a shake. shake. Oh, I, do you know what? I've, every day's a school day. Today I've learned something. But there you everything, go. everything to Nigel is chic. Everything's chic. No, I don't, don't call him Shakespeare. I know he's Shakespeare, but you know, a, 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 a shake, a chic. Is it chic or shake? No, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Chic. I'm going to stop, start being quiet again because it's like, I don't know what I'm talking about now. Uh, right, OK, what are we doing? Is it Pauline? Demo? Over to Pauline. <laughs> shake. <laughs> right, we've got an A5 card. We're going to use it tenfold. Chic. And I've got some of our um, stickables again. Gold. And I'm going to try and make a better attempt at putting it on. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to follow this through now because it's confusing. See, if you have like the Sheik of Arabia. Shake. Is it a shake? Yeah. But you spell it S H E I K. E I K. Charmel. E I. Charmel Shake. Charmel Sheik. Charmel. Oh, do you know Charmel what? Charmel Shake. Today is like the start of the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Isn't that uh, funny? Things you don't know. Right. OK, so... The, the, the pier is owned by a, sh a shake. Yeah, let's get back to what it was. It, so the, so it, the pier is owned by them, so it's called after them, yeah? Yeah. OK. So it is the shake's pier, which makes much more sense to me now I'm saying it. Yeah. Yeah, now the joke makes sense. Not the shake's pier, no. yeah. Eight years I've been saying that. <laughs> Eight years. Bless. My next trip, my next trip to Eastbourne is going to be a revelation. <laughs> I'm going to be stood at the end of the pier going, "That now I get it." Yeah. Okay. Right. So now I've got some beautiful cardstock, and I've trimmed it down so that we've got that lovely gold border. And let's attempt to put it on with our dry adhesive on our tape roll. Okay. So this is the one that's the solid. And then we're going to pop that on there. Love this cardstock. OK. So I think we're OK there. Sort of. You see, I'm having such a bad day. It's a good job. <laughs> Nigel can cope with me. Oh, Paul, I can uh, always cope with you. A day I, with I just love in that. It's a good day, quite frankly. Oh, hang on. I've got, I've, got to, I've got to butt in on this conversation that's going on in my ear now. What are, you, what are you talking about, you guys in the gallery? So basically you're saying all the rage, when something is all the rage. Yes. OK, so Kat, all our producer, range. thought this phrase was all the range. Oh. But no, you get the full range, but it's not. It's, something is all the rage, <laughs> as in like... Well, you're not, you're not raging. If something is all the rage, it's like in fashion, isn't it? It's just a phrase. It's like all the rage. <laughs> so, but she thought it was range, but no. Oh, bless. It's, right. it's those things, though, isn't it, in life that you've misheard for years, but you just convince yourself that that's what it is. Yeah. But you've actually... It, it's like, well, with me, it's place. usually songs. It's what? With me, it's songs. OK, well, I always say this, Pauline. You know the song Voulez Vu by ABBA? What, is the, what, what do they say before Voulez Vu? And I know Adam hates that, but he won't listen to this. So. What is like that? You know, that it goes, uh, 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 say Voulez Vu. What is the bit before Voulez Vu? Uh, 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 Voulez Vu. Well, I can't remember now. Think about it in your head. Nothing. Come on, sing it all, everybody. I think something. What are the words before voulez vous in that I sentence? I can't think. See, I know all after, but I can't think of what. Now it's all you get. Nothing promised, no regret. But what's the bit when it's like, uh, 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 voulez vous? No, it's not coming. I, I know what it is, because I, I, somebody, it was a revelation to me. It's, it's French. It's la question, c'est voulez vous. The question is, would you? 
Ah. So it's like, la question, c'est voulez-vous? But I didn't know that for you. I used to go, la peut-être de voulez-vous? Oh, so I well. just didn't know what it was. You know, the... the, the but the, neither uh, did anybody else by the look of it. Right, with me, um, Lady Gaga. Yeah. The song Paparazzi. What do you call it? Papa Loves Me. Paparazzi. <laughs> That's rather So funny. you've seen that in front of your grandchildren and they're going, what's grandma on? <laughs> oh, but I love that. That's fabulous. You don't know the words today. I always laugh because my husband, Al, is like, you know when uh, Kasabian, the group? Yeah. He thought they were called Kazabayan. It's like, he's for yeah. years, like Kazabayan. Oh, my, my yeah. sister, Hermione Granger yeah. in, in um, Harry Potter. Yeah, Hermione Granger. My 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 sister was reading the books and she said, and there's a girl in it, Hermione. Hermione. Once you know, Pauline, years ago in London, I used to live in a road called Beecham Road, which is spelled Beauchamp, B E A. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, the number of times it's like, what's your address? It'd be like, oh, Beecham Road. And I spell it. So I spell it out, oh, Beauchamp. It's like, yeah. no, Beecham. Mm. It's like Beecham Road, Beecham. It's like, but you know. But then that was there was a character in a book that I read called Beecham, and it's like I think the first time I read it, I probably like read it as Bo Champ in my brain, because you automatically do, don't you? <laughs> it's funny. And then years ago, when I was working as a journalist, well, like this is late, I know, probably early nineties actually, and um, the guy in the office was going off to interview, was going to off to interview um, Jamiroquai, but he didn't know how to say their name. Oh he, right. The Scottish guy Kelvin. He won't be watching. Well, if you are Kelvin, hi, how bizarre. And, and he used to call them uh, Jamaraki. He said, I'm going off to interview Jamaraki. It was like, he's Jamaraki. Oh, my life. Oh, dear. We're, well, we're so funny, aren't we? It's a good job we can laugh at ourselves. No, but it's, it's language. I love language. It's oh, like, yeah. Even if we get it wrong. Yeah. Uh, let's look, Julie. Oh, dear, I've started an argument. It's definitely pronounced as Shakespeare. Love June. Thanks. I know. I have learned something, June, and yeah. it's down to you. Next time I'm in Eastbourne, I'm just going to stand on the beach and shout June and just hope that you're nearby. <laughs> I'll probably get arrested, but it's like, you know, just to say thank you for changing my life. Um, how much of the bundle has gone, Kat? 40% of the bundle has now gone. Uh, so if you do, if you want it all with a £10 sanction, uh, La question is when, how are you going to order it? And when are you going to order it? Order it now. Get it now before it disappears. 45% of the stock is already gone. If you want the magazine on its own, which is just as good, let it be said, the magazine is fabulous, uh, you are going to get the embossing folder, which I've got to say, Becky on the camera has just had a bit of a thought about. She said it reminds her of Hercules. That's, and I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. That's good. <laughs> It does look a little bit like that. There you go. Uh, so um, if you want to go for that, the embossing folder is included with the magazine and also the card, the nautical card collection is included with the foiled acetate. So it's all there. You can see in the picture, but it's not overly easy, is it? There you go. Uh, back to Auntie B. Right. Well, you can see here, there's a, uh, on one of the papers, there are these beautiful prints. They're a bit like postcard prints. So I've cut them out, uh, just cut them off the paper. And then I've put those two flat and these two raised because um, I think they go gorgeous on here. And then on one of the other papers, we've got this beautiful square with this uh, lovely anchor on. So I'm just cutting around the anchor and we're going to add that onto some pads. See, there Pauline, is that beautiful all, this, anchor. all this talk of saying things wrong <laughs> has reminded me of one of my favourite funniest things as well. Have you ever seen the video of John Travolta introducing Idina Menzel at the Oscars? No. Oh, it's hysterical because he obviously has no idea who she is or how you actually say her name. Right. So he introduces her as the wickedly talented and then he just goes... Adele Dezine. And it's like, her <laughs> name is Adina Menzel. It doesn't even sound like oh. that, do you know what I mean? It's very, watch it online. It's hysterical. <laughs> and whilst you're there, seahorses having babies. It's the best thing. <laughs> oh. That's really weird. Kat just the said father, it's like, The father gives birth, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, Pauline, yeah. we can talk about it, honestly. Oh. Kat just said, and right, Kat said every day it's like Nigel Bingo as to whether he's going to talk about certain things. <laughs> Kat, I'm going to be, I'll be honest with you, a certain place that I used to work, somebody else said exactly the same thing. They were like, they were like, yeah, Bingo. Well, what's Cat Bingo? Cat Bingo is, okay, so if we're playing Cat Bingo, so the things that you can expect to hear in your ear every day, um, nice, 
<laughs> nice gets Excuse a me. lot of talking. That's Cat's word, nice. Uh, you will get the jukebox of joy. She sings any song, any song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do talk about your car, but you know, do you know what? It's interesting. Oh, she's getting rid of, she's got a pink car. She's getting rid of it. Keeps getting broken into, which breaks my heart, quite frankly. Mm. But it's go. lovely if you're buying its gorgeous car, you're getting a steal. <laughs> uh, Pauline, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Just from some of the papers and a bit of the backing card. As Kat would say, nice. nice. There you go. <laughs> uh, if you would like to make cards like that. Pauline, I think we can fit another demo in before the end if you fancy. Okay. Do you fancy that? Yeah, yeah. Because I do, because you are, you are good. Uh, 29 96 is your price if you would like to go for the magazine bundle. Should we remind you exactly what's in it? Should we give you a bit of a flick through? Because 45% of the stock is gone. Uh, let's go through, and that's not counting you basket dwellers. Uh, let's go through some of the extras that you are getting. Uh, you get all of this fabulous cardstock. Now, this is your foiled cardstock that you've got. You've got 16 sheets of it here. Um, it's all on the mattastic. So if you are thinking about, you know, putting colour on there you will get a resist technique if you are thinking if you are thinking about uh, you know using this as your base it's a good weight as well uh, 16 sheets for you there what are you saying in my ear okay there you go I'm fully aware of that. Uh, right, so if you, do want, if you do want to go for that, that's included for you there. There you go. It's a good word. We all have, like, fail-safe words, and I think, like, your sort of safety blanket of word for cat is, like, nice. She just said to me, I say it when I'm not listening, because it's not, it's not that she's not listening, it's when she's doing other things, because producers don't just sit there watching what we do. They're actually seeing everything else as well. Keeping unruly directors in check as well, quite frankly. So, yes, yeah, so the cat's got a lot of things, so I can understand it. It's like when I, absolutely is one of those words that people use I, a lot. I, 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 sometimes I watch the shows back. Originally, when I first started doing this, for see where there was room for improvement, and there was a lot. Um, but absolutely. now, but absolutely, it's one of my go-to words, and I hear myself saying it. Does it nothing, drive you insane? Yeah. Pauline, can I, have I ever told you the story of when I was selling suntan lotion on a certain channel, QV3, um, in um, January, many, many moons ago? It was my first, one of my first times on the shopping telly. I was then doing like one show. And um, basically, my mum, I mean, this is a long time ago, my mum phoned me up afterwards and I was like, oh, like, oh what do you think, mum? What do you think? She went, you said absolutely 43 times. And I was like, what, really? And she, I was only on for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she was like, literally, she, was like, she said, yes, you said it. And yeah. when I watched it back, she was right. Yeah. Because you do, you it's think, your fail-safe you word. You yourself doing it, yeah. and you think, there's got to be another word. Yeah. And, and, but, but when it push comes to shove, it's absolutely right. But you, it's one of those, it's, it's thinking time, isn't it? That's what it is. It's we, like, haven't, we haven't got that. <laughs> no, well, you are thinking about what you're going to say. So yeah. you're like, absolutely, yeah, I love it. Um, but yeah, it's true, but it doesn't matter. But I agree, it's one of those words. Uh, right, next up for you. Oh, by the way, if everybody checks out, how much of the stock has gone now? We were on 45%. Obviously, yeah. we're now on 60% if everybody checks out. We bored you into checking out on those, that, <laughs> that conversation, didn't they we? They obviously like my it. cookie cards. There you go. <laughs> well, there we go, Pauline. Uh, you get this included in the collection as well you can see that you are going to get <laughs> <laughs> no cat just said nice no, little she's not listening again uh, so <laughs> She shouldn't have said that because now it's literally going to be in my head all the time. Uh, you get this collection <laughs> included as well. Uh, Pauline, it is fabulous because you've got so many different sheets in here. And this is a big collection, I will say, as well, isn't it, to get included it, with the magazine? It's a very big collection for a magazine. Um, and I happen to like it very, very much. Well, I do feel there's a little bit of a nautical flavour with you, Pauline. I can imagine you it's, in a little... It's life on the ocean waves now. It's got me. Would you like that? Would you like to have been like a... Do you ever watch like Below Deck and shows like that where they have Captain Sandy? No. It's like I can imagine you being like the captain of a ship, the female captain no. of the ship. You'd have your male crew. You have crew. to like water a bit more than I do. Well, maybe you could just stay in the dock. <laughs> <laughs> just don't go anywhere. Uh, you've got your foil as well. Uh, Pauline, you get your inbox <coughs> in there as well. Let's have a little demo before the end of the show. Back to you. Oh, you all right? A five-minute demo from you, Captain Wheeler. Beautiful. OK, seven-inch square card. Nice. And a seven-inch square... <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely nice. <laughs> so um, a seven-inch square I've got... Do you know what? I need to lie down in a dark room, I think. 
Right, okay. Seven inch square card, seven inch square of gold. Then we have this from the card stock, which I absolutely love. So I've trimmed that again. You can always gut the, the you know, earlier you were telling me how to make an aperture. Yes, in the trimmer. Take that out, save you your um, card stock. Of course, we, we really don't have time to do that. But we are going speed crafting and we're going to get that on. And for once today, I've got that on straight. Well done, Pauline. See, One I'm, out of how many? I'm know? intrigued now, then. I'm going to ask Kat, because Kat works, obviously, with all the presenters, doesn't she? Well, do you work with them all, Kat? You do sort of now and again, don't you? Uh, apart from the ones that have obviously put out the restraining order. Uh, <laughs> but it's like, there must be like, is there a Dave bingo and like a Rosie bingo and a Xena right. bingo? There must be things that it. people do that are just synonymous with them, yeah, surely. Yeah, Not quite like me. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to take it as a good thing, but there you go. <laughs> then I'm cutting another bit of gold by 18. A bit, I think that's okay. And then another of the papers, because I absolutely love them. We're going to take a little bit more off of that. Ship in a bottle. Look at that as well, the colour on that, on the reverse. See, that could be the floorboards in your beach hat, Pauline. It could. Very, oh, I'd love that. They're not cheap, though, are they? They are not. They are not. Right. So we're going to place that on there. I'm going to trim that back. I've cut the long bit. A little bit long so we're just going to take a small amount off there and then that is going on that side which should fit perfectly if it doesn't I will trim it See, off again if we were playing director daddy Adam bingo then there would be you know there would be like <laughs> complain moan complain and moan uh, no there would be the things he hates in life which he doesn't really hate it's just become his thing now to be like Mr. Victor Meldrow, grumpy, grumpy. Yeah. Um, and he always, batter me is one of his things, obviously. That's bat, batter him. I think it's a term of affection. I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he doesn't mean it. He's not cornered me in the, he's not cornered me in the car park yet on the way home. You know what I mean? <laughs> we had a lovely civil meal at the harvester and he didn't try and batter me with his <laughs> double gammon or whatever he was eating once, quite frankly. There you go. Right. And then, what I've done here, I should have my knife somewhere. The topper, I have cut some of it already. Which bit have I cut? There we go, that bit there. So we cut that out from there. There we go. Around there and down and then. You can do this with your scissors if you want. And we're just going to cut that away cut this away so we've just got the border and the boss ship in a bottle so all the way up there Paulie move it up and a little bit down with you into the middle of the mat thank you okay I'm forgetting all about where I should be and it's just because we had one of those pesky panels at the bottom that says yeah. our names I still okay. need to work out who I need to speak to about those those panels. Can you get rid of them, Kat? They always seem to come in at the, the wrong moment. The ones at the bottom, where the, the ones that say our names, that is just pointless. Because they're so, and they're so massive. It's like, no. Who, who do we need to speak to? Do I need to like stroke Scott or something like, and say, Scott, they're rubbish. <laughs> I'll have a go, right. Scott. And then we're going to pop some down here. Cut those off. A little bit around the top. That will go there on that bend nicely. One more on the side. Oh, now Jimmy's back in the studio. What would Jimmy Bingo be? What are the things that you do every day that we can tick off? Get yourself on air because you love it. Shimmy. Oh, Kat said that you, there's a, on, the, on the her bingo card for you, it would say like, oh, I can't find that. It's not available. Don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Apparently you do. Go and have words. <laughs> Everybody has their foibles. Everybody has their little idiosyncrasies, don't they? We've got 15 seconds, Pauline. Whip right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Just going to take all 
Let's just take those off. Pop it down, Pauline. We're not going off. Okay, until it's done. there we go. And that's going on there. We have got that up there for a very special person. And there we have our card. Pauline, wave at the camera and say goodbye and that you'll be back at five o'clock. Goodbye. Pauline is back at five. I will be back after the break. See you soon. Nice. <laughs> Not only is Hobbymaker available live from 1 until 8 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube, and the Hobbymaker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge 1 PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on Register Now. Type in your preferred email address Create a password of your choice and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobbymaker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobbymaker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobbymaker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker.
Good afternoon. Welcome back to Hobby Maker. We've just all had a nice cannoli break, which was lovely. Thanks, Rosie, for the cannolis. She's here at five o'clock this afternoon. They were lovely, let it be said. Uh, but you got me, Nigel May, for the next hour with this fabulous lady, Jane. I should kiss you again now. I know we've just done it, but <laughs> mwah, mwah. Hello. Uh, from, of course, the fabulous Clever Prince with something brand new, exclusive and jolly good, let it be said as well, and designed by your lovely self. Um, this bundle, I just think, is fabulous. We've got things individually, but I'm going to say don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, and then go for the bundle. And um, Where should we begin? Should we start with our stamp stand at the bottom? Because, I mean, these are fabulous. Uh, let's, in fact, go for this one to begin with. Let's go for borders and backdrops to begin with. Uh, so you can see. So tell us about the inspiration with this one, Jane. I tend to design things I either love or, well, or everything I love, but, you know, things that I... I I'm sorry, either I love or don't. <laughs> or <hate. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> things that I love, things that I enjoy um, crafting with, and... It sort of seemed quite common sense to me that I designed something to do with crafting. Um, and I haven't seen an awful lot actually on the market that gives you that opportunity. And I think I send mostly cards to other crafters and I thought it would be ideal for them, but I do a lot of art journaling and so it fits in with that for me as well. And it's just, it's fun. I love it because you've got so many like fabulous shapes there that build up to be whatever you want them to be. I mean, you can see there that fabulous design that we have there is allowing you to create the petals there. Yes, and I have to say thank you um, to the creative team, Sheila, Tracy, Kay and Margaret. They have done a good job. And they did things I would never have thought of. I love, oh, see, Kay Rutter did this next card and I just love it. Look at that. That's just fab. I mean, again, it's just being really creative, but in a, not just in a crafty way, as in, as in we're making stuff so it's crafty, but the subject matter is crafty yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Just fab. Um, 11 stamps in that set. If you want to go for it, 11 99 But do we want people to buy that, everybody? No. No, we don't. Hold tight, my friends, because we've got more coming your way. Uh, next up for you, we've got your arty crafty stuff. That's what we've got. <laughs> Look, this is great because you've got like splats and dribbles and paints and pots and all sorts of stuff. Uh, 14 stamps for you on this one. This is wonderful. I'm liking this a lot because you've got everything you need for drawing and painting and inking and generally having a crafty old time. I try to sort of give a, a range of different sorts of crafting. So, I mean, I, I love messy crafting. So paint brushes, paints, that sort of thing. But then I've also put you in the washi tape and the pot, which could be for anything. You yes. don't even have to be for crafting really. And then you've got your fountain pen. So if you want it to do like a sending a note type card rather than a crafty card, you can do that. Um, and then the little tiny words that say paint, glue, craft and paste, they actually fit on the little I thought it was ah, a paint tube, but it could be a tube lovely. of anything, so they fit just about in there. <laughs> That's a perfect thing to have, isn't it? I love that. Again, if we show you some samples, how That's cool amazing. is that? Yeah. Who that made that? Tracy. Because that's fab. Tracy. Tracy did that one. And when she um, put the picture, we have a group, so, and they put what they've made in there. And I just thought, wow, I would never have thought of doing that in a million years. So, no, and it's that's, amazing. That's incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm loving the splattiness to make backgrounds and stuff <laughs> as well. I mean, I know it's obviously the splodge of the paint or the glue or whatever, but I love the fact that it's creating a background. Yeah. Um, in black and white as well. I mean, look, that shows the quality of these images. I mean, you don't need to colour them up if need be. That's true, and we try to do that clever prints quite a lot so that you've got enough detail in there that if you don't want to colour, you don't have to, but there's enough space that if you want to use all your different colouring mediums, you can too. Uh, another one that I love straight away, and I'm like, it's another K Rutter, love that. Yeah. I know it goes that way, but I thought if I show it like that, you can see it all, yeah. and that's fab, isn't that's it? funky, that one, isn't it? Absolutely glorious. Uh, they're all so different from each other as well. That's what I love about these. You are getting a real variety of different looks, a real variety of different end results. Um, 11 99 for that one. That's your arty, crafty stuff. Do we want people to buy that on its own? No. No, we don't. Uh, we've got another one for you. Now, the next, I think you're going to absolutely love. I think if, if people are going to buy one on it, I was saying absolutely a lot now, aren't I? Uh, I think if there is one that you will, the last hour might explain that. Uh, if you, there is one that you think, that I think you will probably go for on its own it's the next one uh, because you are getting this this is your uh, crafty sentiments okay here here's a thing cat our producer just said they are the best crafty sentiments she's ever seen and i'm going to be honest she's been around the block when it comes to craft <laughs> for the last couple of years she's been immersing herself in the wonderful world of craft uh, so look sending crafty hugs make a beautiful mess today that's Adam, our director's mantra. Uh, spread a little glitter wherever you go. Keep calm and craft. 
Crafted for you with love. Let's get crafty. Happiness is handmade. Fabulous. Live life in full colour. Sparkle on its own as well. Love that. And then hashtag crafty friends. <laughs> These are fab. I, I had great fun coming up with that. Absolutely ones. fab. The font um, also, can I just say, if, in case people think, oh, that looks a little bit wibbly wobbly, it doesn't stamp properly, is it's meant to be a little bit wibbly wobbly. Well, <laughs> so I was about to say with the font as well, I love the fact that it's quite sort of like random, quite sort of um, kind of like doodly. I yeah. was going to say slapdash, but that's not the right phrase. Almost just a little bit kind of like, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's yeah. organic, isn't yeah. it? It's a bit kind of like, you know. It's, it's imperfectly perfect. Yeah. Um, YH7206 is your item code on that one. Do we want people to buy it? No. No, we don't. Now, another one that I think you're going to love as well is this. These are our fabulous tag stamps. You are getting all three of the tag stamps. They're about A8 in size, yes, aren't they? Yes, I think that's what it is. So yeah. dinky little ones, but I think these are perfect. You've got handcrafted by dot, 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 so you can put it. I noticed some of the samples, a lot yes. of the people have put it on the back as well. Yeah, Tracy uh, does. Then you've got a happy birthday and then a blank one. These immediately, I'm thinking, Jane, perfect for like, you know, craft fairs and charities and selling and, you know, buying and selling your craft wares. Definitely. They're really cute. They're, the blank one as well, I, I, didn't, I didn't design these stamps, so this is just a um, happy accident. Some of the sentiments do actually fit because I was going through to see which ones would fit in, in the actual blank one. So everything goes together, that's yep. what I love about it. So happy accidents or no, it all <laughs> works and correlates. Uh, 9 99 should you buy that on its own? No. Do you want the bundle? Of course you do. So the tax stamp bundle, uh, the crafty sentiments there included, your fabulous borders and backdra uh, backdrops, and your arty crafty stuff, you are going to get all of that together. That's a lot of stamps. Do we know how many that is? I oh, I didn't add it all up. I don't know. I just we'll, we'll find out. Cats on it. She's love it. Or oh, cats on it. Don't worry <laughs> yourself. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the price forty seven ninety four. But shall we get Adam? Would you kindly get your clock out? Boom. There we go. Uh, we're gonna get that price down. I can't stand close to Jane by the way, just because she's on a, a box. <laughs> the there only you go. time I'm tall. <laughs> and that, well, this, but I, I feel like people think we're not. We've fallen out or something. <laughs> Get off Let's be up there, but there you go. I feel like that. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, so what's the price going to be? 47.94 is your item code on this. Oh, what's your price on this one? Three ways to order. The best ways to get to the website. Jimmy, work your camera, camera one, and tell everybody what the website is. It's all the W's what? <laughs> Give us a shimmy. We should have just let him <laughs> carry on, shouldn't we? Uh, 34.94. We've got a big saving. That's what's saving 13 pounds. That's got to be saving the price of a stamp set there at least, isn't it's, it? Over yeah, that. Over that. Um, love it. I love the samples as well. I love the frames and things. If you are thinking about making things for your craft room, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, that's what I was thinking when I designed them. They're great for cards, great for home decor, art journaling, whatever you want to use them on. As long as you're using the right sort of inks and materials, they're fine. It works out now at 874 per set, which I think is great value when you consider, A, I love the fact that they've been designed by a crafter for your crafty needs, but also the fact that they've been designed by a crafter for your crafty needs with a crafty subject matter. <laughs> uh, 91 p a stamp if you want to go for it that way. How many stamps do we say we're getting then? Did we work out how many stamps, Kat? 38 stamps, mm -hmm. loving that. Uh, EO, EO7270 is your item code on that one. If you're looking elsewhere, don't bother, my friends. That would be a waste of time and effort uh, because it's exclusive to us here at Hobby Maker. You will not get it anywhere else. Um, over 25% saving on this, which is incredible. So pop it in your basket and order accordingly. It's got to be done. Um, should we do a demo now? Because I feel like we've got seen what we get. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with it. Jane, over to your lovely self. Better put my glasses on there. Jane, over <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, right, I'll put my journal to the side because <laughs> I was going to show that at some point. Um, I've got a couple of, of cards that I made. Um, I sort of wanted to show that you could sort of go mad almost like with lots and lots of colour, lots of I elements, or you can go with something a little bit more subtle and just your stamps in black and white to get totally different looks. So I'm going to do something similar to this one. But first of all, I just wanted to stamp out a oh, couple of the stamps. Oh, sorry, we were a bit sorry, late with our cameras just oh. to get in there. We need to move something. I never know which one I'm looking at. Well, don't you worry, <laughs> no. it's the overhead. We just need to move it. Um, that's gorgeous. That's the one that we were talking about there. I love that riot of colour. Yeah, I, like, I do like a lot of colour. Um, so let's get a couple of the arty crafty stuff out. Now, I 
you can use your stamping platforms and all of those with this. And what some of the creative team did was they just put all the stamps onto a, a platform, <laughs> stamped them all so they could cut them out. But you don't have to cut them out if you don't want to. You but this is the thing, and I love the fact that they are kind of like all interwoven in the same, you know, thematic subject matter, which is brilliant, yeah. really. And I've already sort of been given other ideas for other ones I could <laughs> make another stamp set Oh, with. so could this be the start of a it beautiful sort of a, a whole, collection? A whole crafty collection. Well, why not? Right, so I'm just putting this onto a block. Um, all our stamps are clear. Well, mine obviously aren't because they've been well used, but that doesn't affect how, how they stamp. Um, so you can cling them straight to a block, straight, straight to your stamping platform. I always keep mine flat when I'm inking to make sure that I get a good coverage. And then I'm just going to make sure I get it nice and horizontal to the card. Keep my fingers on it. Just press over a little bit so you're making sure that all the areas and give it a moment to take. And then you've got your stamped image like I love that. a little extra detail like with the dots and stuff as well. It's almost like they've been sand tangled. Yes. You know what I mean? That extra sort of like doodly yeah. lovely detail. I'm a bit of a doodler, I have to admit. Oh, so everything has some doodling in it at some point. Right, so. Oh, I should also say as well, on the front of your stamp set, the image is a lot smaller yes. than the actual stamps. So don't go by what's on there because mm. it has to obviously fit with all the name of the company. Well, yeah, you've got to get your Clever Prince logo yeah. and stuff on there, haven't you? Right, so I'm going to, first of all, do some stenciling, actually, which I think you're going to look at afterwards. So this is a new stencil as well. This is drips, no. Drips, drops and splats. That's the one, <laughs> drips, drops and splats. Yeah, we'll show you the stencils afterwards. We've got three brand new stencils in a bundle. No. No, individually. on individually, yes. Yeah. So do go and check them out on the website. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of tape just to tape my stencil down, just so that it doesn't move. Normally I don't worry too much, but sometimes you just want to... I like the stencil a lot. I love a splat. Yeah. <laughs> I always a splat is fun automatically, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is very fun. It is, though. Is it even the word splat? <laughs> it's a good word. I'm going to go with the three primary colours. I might use colours. splat as my wordle word tomorrow morning. I do wordle every morning because oh, I'm so a bit do I, obsessed. Yeah. Well, I don't think I did, did it Did you see it was craft this week? Yes, and, and I, I didn't get it straight no, away. I, I got so it annoying. in three. Or, yeah, three, and I was like, yeah, that. I I was like oh, imagine. Because sometimes I put craft, because I normally, I never do the same word yeah. every day. The, yeah, but I don't see Adam's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> That's a terrible starting word. It's like, but my, my, all of my friends that do Wordle all start with the same word. Yeah, no, I do. do. Oh, do I don't stop. No, I do a line. A line. But, I, <laughs> okay. I can't really say what I was going to say. Because I was going to say, I think there's a real cop out using the same word every day. <laughs> or, right. there you go. But I do think it's a good way to get all your letters in. But I like to do it something that's relevant to my day. I don't know why, it just... I, I kind of do that. No, no, it's about me, but, you know, I don't know, <laughs> just, I don't know. It's like, you know, if I'm on a te telly day, I might use the word craft, but I'm going to use splat tomorrow and see where it goes. Could you imagine if it is actually splat <laughs> and loads of people? I'm going to use splat now as well. Please <laughs> do. Just... Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning. Right, everybody, everybody, we're going to have a big old splat <laughs> tomorrow morning, all together. It's a cat, <laughs> a cat splat. There you go. <laughs> That's what we'll have. It's got to be done. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just adding some random-ish, it's never totally random, is it, but um, some colour through my stencil using pink, uh, picked raspberry, mermaid lagoon and mustard seed. Gorgeous colours. I think it's hard to be random. Oh, that looks fab. And even when you've just gone through and not even thought about it, it still looks really cool. That's a Technicolor splat attack and <laughs> I am loving that. All right, so I'm going to use some of the borders and backdrops. So when I was designing this one, I was thinking of things to put my other elements on top of, things to make backgrounds. But also, in my journal, I've been using them as like little swatch. Oh, um, should we have a look in your journal? You can do. So in here, where am I looking? Right, so I use the paint thing. So, so do swatches for paints and things. I've used them to make like quite funky, fun That's paint such swatches. such a good idea. Such a good idea. I love your journal. So That's then, fab. And also because if you stamp them with your um, sort of permanent ink, also you can see whether your mediums are translucent or all um, sorts of things. Ten percent of our bundle has Ooh, already I'm gone. Trying. So getting busy. It sees splatters of the world. Oh no, that's the stencils <laughs> though, isn't Unite. it? But yeah. Imagine there's a splat or two in the. Um, do we have splat or two in there? Is, there is. There is. Yes. There, there is yeah, a splat in there as well. Yeah. And yeah. a drip. <laughs> we won't call them drips. We have got a drip and a drip world. and a splurge and a splat. We've got mm. it all. Okay, so I'm just going to use some of the. 
sort of, they're rectangles, but they're um, wobbly ones. <laughs> Everything has to be a bit wobbly. I like that. Official term, a wobbly rectangle. <laughs> a wobbly rectangle. So I'm just going to build up a little bit of a pattern. They're fun though, those, aren't yep. they? And you don't have to think too much as well, and I, I do like no, that. No, but that's good, isn't it? And that's the joy of crafting. There. I mean, it should be very kind of like, you know, free form as well, yeah. a bit freestyle. And if you do what I just did, I've stamped and I was too quick, and you miss a bit, because they're very, because they're hand-drawn and they're all a little bit wibbly anyway, just get your black fine liner out and just go over the top, and um, you can fill in the, any little gaps that you've missed or whatever. And I'll go with the bigger one. So there's three different sizes of the rectangles. I should imagine this set must have been a delight to um, design, really. It was. It was quite yeah. good fun deciding what to um, to add on there. Were you like looking at all your craft bits and pieces? Yeah. Thinking, what can I turn into a <laughs> what, clever what, print What do next? I use? What's, what have I got in my craft stash? Um, people need to check out, I, as I say, Kat, our producer today, she's saying, like, oh, there's a lot of basket dwellers today. And I tend to agree. You need to check out your baskets. I'm going to... I'm going to look at the following people. I know you're having to sit and a think and a watch, and that's very wise, but until you check out, it's not confirmed. So David in Sussex, I was looking at you. Uh, Crafter, brand new, don't know where you are. Uh, Deirdre in Surrey, Rose in Hampshire, Nadine. Oh, Nadine in Greater London has checked out, which is good. And Gemma in Derbyshire. Uh, Jackie in the West Midlands, you've just come through. Go on, Jackie, put everybody else to shame. Get checked out straight away. You go straight through to the checkout. Uh, but yeah, you need to check out to secure your purchase because we are getting busier and busier for this one. So I've done one sort of in advance. So what I, all I did was I just got my um, distress inks and I just coloured my, um, my blocks in so that it was a bit more colourful on there. But you could equally just have left it black and white. It would have been fine. Then later on on the show, we do have a couple, few die sets and this is just the centre of one of those that I thought would make a nice little sort of um, background to the main elements. Okay. And I also cut, I think this was from the art set, which is coming up as well, to act as a little shelf. Because I thought lovely. I would put some little bits and bobs on my shelf of arty stuff. I love your designs. Things. I love the whole kind of like sketchy, simplistic, <laughs> joyous... Almost like cartoony nature of some of your yeah. um, images as well. They're lovely. Um, can I say Jackie in the West Midlands? Way to go, girlfriend. She was in. She's checked out. She's done. Roslyn in South Yorkshire. Are you going to beat those basket dwellers? Are you going to show those basket dwellers what to do? I think you are, Roslyn. If you're not, just stay in the basket. But I think <laughs> you are. Because Jackie did. There we go. So just stick those down there. Um, what I like to do... <laughs> wow, look at this. I like to sort of prep them <laughs> quite a bit. Well, this is so, a great idea. And if you ever sort of like have that moment where you've, you want to do something, but you haven't, you don't know what you want to do, just stamping, cutting out, colouring. Do your groundwork. Yeah, yes, and then I it's agree. all prepped, ready for you to go. So I can just now think, OK, so I just want to put some little bits and bobs on here so I could have my paintbrush... Then maybe I want... So you're kind of like plotting it out yeah, before you commit. a tube. And then I might want something else. I might want my... Um, let's have a pot. Where's a pot? There's a pot. But I might want my pot up, raised up a bit. So let's pop those on. So just a little bit of glue. And is it an angel policy? Can people make what they like? Yes, as long as you're making something with them, um, that's totally fine. You can sell what you make for yourself or for charity or to give away. Whatever it is you want. So let's put that one. Oh, there. Roslyn in South Yorkshire, you are a star. She has checked <laughs> Thank out. Thank you. Jean in Greater Manchester. If there is, do you know what I'm going to say though? Because there's quite a few people that are checking out that are on the telephones, and the people that are simply on the web aren't checking out so quickly. I'm wondering, either you're shopping around and taking advantage of our cat PMP, which is fine, but if there is a problem, let us know. Either email in, message in. Just say, dear producer cat, did you know? And then just tell us um, so we can get something sorted. Um, you know, tell her anything. She's an open book. Uh, or, of course, if you want to, you can um, call uh, phone the call centre. It's entirely up to you. Um, if you do want to email in, it's studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. There you go. Message the studio, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. OK, so what I was saying earlier about that some of them can fit inside the tag. So I stamped a few out, so let's get crafty. Sparkle, Love sparkle, that. sparkle. <laughs> Love that. Happiness is handmade. But then I've also got some that I've stamped, you know, ready to go as well. So um, I could... 
I think that one, I oh, should have left a gap and maybe popped that one in the middle. So we'll go for one of these ones. Do you want to choose one? Oh, <laughs> let's have... Keep calm and craft. Keep calm and craft. Always a good one. So I could, I could have it down there. I could have it up there. I think I'm going to go down here, actually. So keep calm and craft. Do you want me to lift it up to the front? Uh, yes, if you can show it to our Becky, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. There you go. Gorgeous. I love that. I really do. Can I say as well, that, that bottle down there, do you remember I Dream of Jeannie? Oh, yeah. It's giving me like that, sort of like a genie bottle kind of vibe. A little genie coming out. Yeah, do you know what? Well, I mean, that kind of reminds me of it as well. You know, like the sort of plume coming out, the glue at the top there, or the paint, rather. Um, or glue, whatever it is, yeah, whatever you want, want it to be. be. Uh, but I just, we said that together. Uh, but I do think that's fab. Uh, 34.94 is your price, EO7270. Let's show you what you are getting. You are saving over 25% on the bundle. You are getting all of those there. Brand new and exclusive. You will not find this anywhere else apart from here on Hobby Maker. All designed by the lovely Jane you get the tags you've got the crafty sentiments you get the arty crafty the arty crafty stuff I wouldn't say arty crafty arty crafty stuff and you also get the uh, borders and backdrops as well they are all included uh, 38 stamps in total complete angel policy can I show you some more samples because they are just delightful I know cats cooing in my ear look at this this is the reason that she's cooing another fabulous card this is from Sheila how cool is that? Even Adam, even Adam gave us a wow, and he doesn't. Regular viewers will know that he has a heart of stone, a heart of ice, a heart that is, well, just pretty much impenetrable, quite frankly. Uh, look at that, that's fab as well. Really is, who made that one? Tracy, love that. They're all so cool, they really are. I mean, look at this one, I mean, quite simplistic, but I mean, I just love it. Well, it's not simplistic. There's, there's a lot of white space is what I mean there. I don't mean it's simplistic. A lot of white space left, whereas this one is a riot of colour from edge to edge. I mean, that's just fabulous. They are. That is an art attack. Now, that's a show. Yeah. Do you remember art attack? I loved art attack. I've said this before, so I am going to probably bore people. Can't be like, yeah, you said that a million times. It's probably, it's probably on the Nigel window. Uh, one of my first jobs in life was, well, I was a journalist, right? I was a journalist for many years, and one of my first ever journalism jobs was to go on the set of Art Attack to interview Neil Buchanan. Oh. And it's like, there's a picture of me somewhere. I've, I should find it for you, Adam, if you were impressed by that. Uh, yeah, me sat on a, the set of Art Attack. With little, I had to put those um, little plastic socks on because you weren't allowed to like walk on the set with your shoes. Oh. So you had to wear like these little plastic bag socks on. Uh, <laughs> socks are to wear. Keep everything nice and safe. Uh, right, stencils. Let's do stencils. I'm getting far too excited today. Uh, we have got these. We've got three sets for you. I'm coming in. Uh, they are available individually. Let's start with this one. You've got your drips, your drops, and your splats. This is the one that the lovely Jane was using just now. Do you want to just hold that there while I grab some samples? Lovely stuff. Um, Jane, this, I mean, it's such a fun stencil, this, isn't it? Yep, so this is the brand new one. This is the one I designed to go with this collection. And I wanted to sort of do your, your drips along the top and the bottom so that you could use them separately if you wanted as to just... And they don't have to be paint. They can, <laughs> You could go quite dark, but yeah. they could be anything you want. I mean, look at these. They're just fab, aren't they? Again, using that as a background. In the black and white, is it me? Or I think you could almost have it. It looks a bit like, like Frisian. a cow. <laughs> yeah, Frisian cow. And um, Tracy actually did a... The, who did the art... Um, card she also did a demo in our create with clever prints group the other day and when she did the background in yellow i did think it looked a bit like um giraffe well, yeah <laughs> i can see that i can see that where do we find you online by the way so we have a clever prints limited page we have a create with clever prints group which you just have to request to join and someone will hopefully let you in okay <laughs> touch words <laughs> we'll check you out the craft there's bounces. no questions yeah. to answer but you have to be sort of accepted um we also have an instagram page and all under Clever Prince. All under Clever Prince. And then I'm just Jane Royston everywhere. Yeah, Jane <laughs> Royston very everywhere. I um, love that. So if you want to go for that one, that is your splats, your drips, drops, and your splats. Uh, $7.99 is your price there. The next one is so many patterns. I should go and get some samples if you'd hold that, Jane, for us. Uh, again, this is quite a sort of, um, I don't know, geometric, but yet it's got lots of... I don't know, kind of like, it, there's like a real fun element to this again, isn't there? Yes, this is one of our uh, slightly older stencils. So this was already designed. I didn't design this one, but I chose it because I thought it just went so well with the collection. So you can pick out single elements, which I'm going to do in the next demo, or you can just do the whole thing. You know, it's really cool. I love the fact you've got the exclamation marks down at the bottom, the yeah. question marks, the tick as well. Um, I love it. Love the designs there. And you can see using it as a background, how funky That's you can make. One. Or is it not? Oh, no. Have I picked the wrong one? 
Have we messed our piles up? Is it that one? It's that one, yeah. Ah, there you go. There you go, my apologies. Uh, so you can see, yes, yeah, of course it is. Uh, so you, oh, a little sneaky peek of what's coming then, didn't we? Uh, so you can see, I mean, it makes a really fun background. Yeah, and I think, did I use, is that embossing powder? Yeah. So, you know, you can use all sorts through your stencils, not just your inks, you can use paint, you can use embossing powder, you can texture paste, everything. That's ace, make a beautiful mess today. <laughs> I do most days, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, Seven ninety nine is your price on that one. Finally, for you, we've got. Oh, what have I done now? I don't know, but I'm not sure where you put it. <laughs> we just had it. That's the weirdest thing. Is it on the other side? No. No. Have I put it down there? Yes. yes. <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest thing? So sorry. <laughs> it's that kind of day today, Jane. Uh. So tell us about this one. So this is Shape Fun. This was designed in-house at Clever Prince. This actually was designed to go with a, a my first ever collection I brought out, actually, but I didn't, I didn't design it. But again, it's just got so much going on, so much pattern, so much shape, and it just is a, like, a really good Shape Fun. I love it because <laughs> if you want to use the whole of it, you can do. Yeah. But obviously, if you want to actually mask things off as well and just use certain elements, then you could do too. This is fun. Who made this? Don't oh, I made all of these it. ones. That's fab. Yeah, so just doodling through your stencils as well. I mean, it's like the most basic thing that you can do with a stencil, but we sometimes do forget that that is what you can do. If that was in the shop, I'd buy that straight away. Yeah. That would yeah, be the one that caught my eye. I think that's fab. Uh, YM7281 is your item code on that one. I should stand back down here because I need to watch you do something fabulous. <laughs> Demo time again. Okay, so I made this card. So I'm going to make this card but sort of in a reverse way. So this one, I've done a very plain coloured background and then my stamping, which I used masks with, um, is very colourful. So I'm going to sort of do the reverse. So I've got my piece of card. I have got some already sort of sorted for me as well, so I don't need to stamp it all out. So I'm going to get a block and I'm going to choose... Whatever I want when I'm masking to be at the front is what I need to stamp first. So I'm going to stamp, oops, dropping my little bit. I'm going to stamp my little bottle because I want that to be in the middle at the front. So I'm going to, again, just ink up. And I'm using archival because... It could be anything that could be like a, like a Grecian urn. Yeah. Cue the, cue the jokes. Uh, a little perfume bottle. Yeah, like a little atomizer or something. It could, couldn't it? But it does remind me of like a genie. I dream of genie kind of lamp yeah. as well. But if you sort of cut a little slit in the top, you can just sort of slot the nib of the um, fountain yes. pen in and it looks like it's actually dipping yeah, into... Yeah, because it could be like a, like a lovely ink well, which is yeah. an ink pot, isn't it? So that's that on there and then I do have where have I put it there are you of that era like me where at school you used to have like little ink wells on your desks no we had we used to have to use cartridge pens but we didn't have ink wells and we did have ink wells I don't think we ever used them to be honest <laughs> but it's like yeah they used to be there maybe we did because no we used to have ink, pe ink cartridges like you know you put yeah. your yeah uh, maybe they got rid of them at my school <laughs> <laughs> but so I have stamped the images out onto some masking paper so this is actual fully sticky, but you could use sticky notes, you can use copy paper and, and repositionable glue, anything like that. And I'm just going to stick that over the top. It's not, I'm not worried if this is not perfect because I'm going to, I've got one already done. And I'm going to choose what else I want to put on my image. So I'm going to go with the tape next. So we've got the washi tapes or whatever sort of tapes you want them to be really. So if I, this will now be behind the um, pot. So you're going to stamp this over yeah. the pot. So that'll be partly over the top, yeah. but you won't see that bit because it will be masked over. So there we go. So that's that one there. But I have got one to save you watching me do it all that I've already done. That's <laughs> fab though, isn't it? So now I'm going to leave those on for the moment because I want to do my stenciling, but I want it to be in the background. So which stencil are you using there, I'm Jane? I'm using so many packs. So many patterns. It is called so many patterns. That that's is the one. Well done. And I'm going to go with. I've got the black out, and then I remembered that that was the black one. So let's go with some blue and green because they are some of my favourite colours. I'm loving your tin as well. That's very organised. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to have to have them all organised. Are you there. a very kind of like organised crafter? I imagine um, you are. Yes and no. <laughs> Sometimes I am. Is your craft room tidy? I don't have an actual craft room. I craft on my dining room table, so really, it stays. Yeah, it stays there. But 
it's um yeah so it has to be kept do you do you eat off the dining room table no, no. it's often the way isn't it the dining room it table was going to be like enough table and nothing else <laughs> Right, so I'm just choosing like one element out of the stencil. So you don't have to, you know, use the whole thing if you don't want to. So I'm going to go with this one. We'll have a bit of green. And I'm sort of keeping part of it over the, the uh, masked images so that you can then, it looks like they're in front of your stenciling. This is nicely set out as well, this stencil. So you don't have, you know, you can easily pick yeah, out easy which to pick bits and you want. what you want, isn't it? And let's go, should we have a bit of a... We'll do a half and a half of this one. So we'll do half of it in green. And then we'll do half of it in blue. And we'll have the square as well. So that'll be a bit different to the other one. Oh, so that's great. Right behind there. Let's put your lids on. I do I like that a lot. All right, so now when I take... Now I've got to remember which one was the top one. I think that's the top one on here. So you've got the three Oh, I may have done it a different order on here. Ooh. So then as you take, oh, it's that one next. That one and that one and that one. And then How they're all sitting. Now, if you want to, then what I did on here was I put a little bit of darkness underneath sort of your... There, just to make a little bit of shadow. Just to give it a little bit of extra yep. drama and interest. And then I could have another pot, but I just want a black and white one that I've got raised up to go down here. Now this stamp set that Jane is using at the moment is from Arty Crafty Stuff. Now 30% of Arty Crafty Stuff on its own has gone. I know it's part of the bundle as well, but on its own 30% of that has gone. So if you are picking and choosing, that's 1199 XE7248 is your item code on that one. 14 stamps for you there. When everybody checks out on that one, that's now gonna be 45% gone. So uh, basket dwellers, check out your baskets. Let's have, uh, let's see, I wonder if crafted for you, this might not fit, but it can go off the edge, can't it? Yeah, it can, you can mm. go wherever you like, you're queen. Or are you not going to put that? You're gonna... I'm not, no, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> How about live life in four yeah, colours? And it's, which is ironic. <laughs> which is, yeah, well, we love a bit of irony. <laughs> so let's pop that under there, actually. There we go. And we're living life in full colour when it's not in full colour. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, Maybe the person you send it to could then colour, colour it in. in. Accordingly, that's a great idea. Okay. A do it yourself. Yeah, card. A DIY card, and then just pop it on. You could make a fabulous yeah. little crafty colouring book for somebody with these. Oh, you could though. actually. Yeah. Oops. That would be fun. I'll turn that round to Becky as well. I like that a lot. That's fabulous. I'll put that one next to it, so you can see it in the two ways. So you've got. Black and white in the background with colour in the front, or you can have colour in the background with black and white in the front. Lovely. We are two thirds of the way through the show. I'm loving oh, this. We've had two great demos. Do you want to get yourself ready for another one? I will one? do, yeah. Uh, if you want your bundle where the fabulous stamps came from, don't forget you've got the stamps in there. Not just that fabulous arty crafty stuff that we just saw with Jane, uh, but also in there as well, you are getting your crafty sentiments. We've got the crafty tags, the tag stamps, and then also the borders and the backgrounds. Um, it just makes the most fantastically uh, I know well, it depends on the colour you use, but the most fantastically vibrant end result, I think, both with the imagery and potentially the colour you use too. And it's exclusive to us here at Hobby Maker. Um, let's go on to our die selections for you as well. Uh, these are all individual sets. This is the first one. These are our colour dies. I like this a lot. When you see the samples, you would just, I probably realise why. You've got six dies here. Um, price £14.99, but you know what, Adam? Could you, oh, look, could you possibly? There you go. There it is. Let's get the price down on this. So we've got colour. We've got these three sort of like arrows, feathers, call them what you will. You've got, does that say fly down there? Yes, it does. I yeah. like that fly, pretty fly for a die. Uh, and then you've got, <laughs> we've got that. Uh, and then you've got your love there as well. But look at these samples. Is that not fabulous? I love that. Who made that? Oh, these ones are me because I was just trying to make some. I love to show them. The dice for love you. them, love them. I mean, that again, that's so cool. There is something very cool about this set. Uh, oh, he said dropping it. Okay, let's see the price. $14.99 goes down to $9.99. Thank you. If you would like to colour your world, well, you can colour my world. Singing a bit of patula. Shouldn't do that. Can't afford the royalties. Uh, next up for you, we've got this. This is art dies that we've got for you here. And um, again, I love the question mark. I don't know why, but that's giving me like Joe um, Riddler from the Batman vibes. Oh, yes. And then you've got the those two there. 
the rainbows that we just saw in the first demo, and then the hearts, and then you've got art down at the bottom. Now, if you remove the art, I'm sorry, I'm seeing Christmas pudding. Oh, yeah. Can you see what I mean? I can see what you mean, yes. Or it could I be like dripping red for Halloween, if you wanted to go down that route. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you can change it, can't you, really? Love it. Uh, now, again, when it comes to your samples, look at that. That's so cool. See, that's an invitation to like a mis mystery party, isn't it? Or yeah, or I thought of Valentine's. Nice. You just got Adam, Adam Director, Adam a seal of approval then. Oh, yeah. He doesn't give that out. <laughs> Let me think about how many times Adam has given that out in the probably eight months that I've been here. Three. Ooh. Three times. Yes, yeah, so Jane, you are... You are in a very exclusive club, my darling. Uh, 9 99 is your price on this one. These cards are fab. They really are. Love them. KO7240 is your item, card, uh, item code on that one. I've got to show that as well. I've got to show all these cards because they are beautiful. And then mixing, matching your stencils in the background yes, there as well yeah. with the splats. Uh, finally for you... We've got our Bloom and Grow. Uh, there's our Bloom and Grow set. So we had the circles earlier. You saw Jane using that in demo number one, I think it yeah. was, wasn't it? And then you've also got that fabulous um, florals there uh, with hearts around the outside. And don't forget the hearts that come out there, you've got there for you as well. So you can use them time and time again. Again, Adam has whipped his clock out. So we will see where the price goes. 19.99 is where we should be, but it's obviously not going to stay there. Um, again, I mean, just really interesting end results, Jane. Yeah, and I, I chose this one to come on the show because I thought it would make a nice frame for you, like your elements and things like that. So, but also because the circle that comes out is, is technically the waist, the same as the hearts, but they're also usable. And, and There's no ideal waste for in uh, Clever Prince land. No. No way. QA7210, it was 19.99. It's 9.99, 50% off. Half price. Yes, <laughs> half price, I say, which is brilliant. I don't like being away from you. I don't want to be close to you. Um, shall we do a demo? I mean, I'm loving the fact that everything that we've got here today has been picked by Jane to complement each other. So whatever you use, whatever configuration you use, it all goes together beautifully. It really does. So if you're going for the stamps in the main bundle, if you're going for your stencils, if you're going for the dies, everything comes together in a riot of like crafty coordination, which is brilliant. This I am loving. Yeah. How do we do this? So I've thought I'd start by just showing you how I do the background for this one, but I am using the colour um, die from this the set as well for this one. These are such good mantras as well, aren't they? You give yeah. good mantra, like, you know, the whole live life in full colour or the yeah, spread like a little glitter wherever you go and all of that. I mean, it's just fabulous. I do like a positive, positive affirmation. Yes, I love it. <laughs> so this is the Shape Fun um, stencil. So I'm just going to lay that over the top. And instead of inking with a colour, I'm just going to... My so-called clear sticky ink. <laughs> It's a bit of a dirty a pad now, well but it means you can see where it's gone, see? That's, that's You're the idea. You're making a beautiful mess. Yeah. So I'm just going to do the two corners. I'm not going to do um, the whole stencil because I'm going to be adding my embossing powder. Now, I did mean to anti-static this beforehand, but it shouldn't matter too much because it's a messy-ish background anyway. So I haven't gone all through it, but it doesn't matter because I'm just wanting to get a bit of... Oh, crikey, I did that up tight. I know you did, didn't you? <laughs> That's because I was worried about it, like, Jimmy dropping out. You uh, <laughs> my... ready, Brett, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, yes, you needed some strength to get that off. So when you're using embossing powder, it looks like you're using tons and tons, but actually you're tipping most of it back off. And actually there's more ink on there than I thought. Pop it back in for you. Oh, yes, please. No worries. So you can crack on with the uh, next bit. There you go. Oh, there's my heat tool. So I'm going to just turn my heat tool on and let it warm up a little bit first before I start embossing. That's what we have to, that's what we have to do with Adam directly. <laughs> we have to like bring him into the gallery about half an hour before Anthony can get the window. <laughs> and I'm going to lift it away from the surface and I'm going to hold it in one space until I start to see the powder go glossy. And as soon as it goes glossy, I'm moving it on to the next section because you can overheat embossing powder some people heat from the front some people from behind yeah. are you always from the front always from the front just because if i try and heat it from behind i end up either burning my fingers or burning the card i've just uh, it's one of those things isn't it again it's a bit horses for courses it's yeah. the same end result but it's that people prefer to do it in their chosen way yeah. don't they? if you heat from behind i think you do get a slightly smoother sort of look to your embossing powder because it's something to do where it's heating it from under, from okay. the bottom to the top. But I don't think 
I ever really noticed. <laughs> but you're, you're a top. Yeah. I'm an impatient crafter. I'm, I haven't got time to heat from underneath. It takes too long for me from the top. No, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, a bit there, I can just about see. So you can tell it's done when it's all gone nice and glossy. So I'm going to well, probably just stuck my finger in that then, but never mind. So don't, yeah, don't stick your finger in it because it will be a little bit molten. It dries really quickly, yeah, but, it, but it, yeah. you know, you don't want to put your fingers in it while it's still hot. So I've got some distress oxides and this is going to be the quickest colouring ever. If you want the distress oxides, they're on the website. I would say all the W's dot, but nobody's here. Um, can oh. open your door, let's see if we get Adam involved. He loves it. Adam, all the W's what? Oh, make a <laughs> nice. That was very lovely, says Rosie. I love that. Yes, I didn't know Rosie was here. But either, that, either that or I'm hearing Rosie in my head. It's like one or the other. But there you go. She is here somewhere. Right. So I am just going over with the blending foam and my Distress Oxides. And I'm just going to do the pink, then the yellow. And I'm going to overlap it slightly so I get a little bit, hopefully, orange in there as well. That's gorgeous. And you can still to see the embossing a little bit at the moment, but in a minute you'll see it even more. Now you don't get as much of, you get slightly oh, more of a that. resist effect if you use the normal distress inks because they wipe off a bit easier. But then you do the oxides, but the oxides are nice and juicy. This is making me very happy to see this though, because the end result is just fab. I mean, that's that's a smile spreader right there, isn't it? So it's super quick as well. So just get a piece of kitchen towel. How or bright and gorgeous off. is that, honestly. And then as you, because the embossing powder is a basically a plastic, you can rub some of the ink off. Like I say, if you did this with normal distress inks, you'd get even more off of there. So it kind of like buffs it up a bit. Yeah. Clean up the white. Because it's the pigment, it sort of does sink into it a little bit. I so like then that. Every boy and every girl, clean up your white. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> I've cut out the colour from the die set. But when I put it against my background, I thought it doesn't quite stand out enough for me. So one thing you can do if you ever want something to stand out but still be able to see your pattern whoops that didn't work did it? is just to rip a piece of vellum white vellum and I'm just going to put that over the top and stick that onto the back of here Fabulous stuff. Jane and I are here till five o'clock and then Rosie's in the house. She's arrived. She's cannoli us all up and she's ready for some crafty action. She'll be here in a moment to tell you what's coming up this, morning, uh, this evening here at Hobby Maker. <laughs> the cannolis were lovely. They good, aren't they? Honestly. So good. Every day should be a cannoli day. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, no, well, like next time I pass the cannoli shop, I should grab a bag as well because they were too good and popular. Even Adam liked them and he likes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Port don't say Paul Adam. <laughs> don't be fooled by that. No, it's not Paul Adam. <laughs> okay, so now I stick that on there. I can still see the background through the vellum, but it's making my word sort of stick Pop out a bit more, lovely. pop out a bit more. And so now I can just decide what I want from my little <laughs> jar of goodness. So I here. would so buy your cards in the shops if I saw them. Oh, Honestly, I love them. I think they're fab. So I could have it slightly underneath. That gives it quite a nice little effect as well. Let's have a. We'll stick to what I did on the original. We've got a pencil Just there. Move that up slightly Ooh, for us. There you go. Beautiful. And let's go with. I bet I haven't got a purple. Oh, I have got a purple. Well, pink circle. That'll do. Pinky purple circle. So that could have drawn that. So let's stick those down. And then I, I've got the sentiment. Live. Finally, that's the one we used in the last demo. Live life in full colour. But obviously, I don't need the word colour for this one because no. I've got the big colour. So, so I you're just snipping yep, it accordingly. Just snip it. The, the sentiments are quite nicely spaced so that you can um, cut them up quite easily if you want to. I mean, some people, like Kay, do actually snip their actual stamps. <laughs> but if you don't want to do that, stamp it out and then just snip up the sentiment. Kay does dance to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Yeah. I mean, if you want to snip your stamps up because it's easier, you know, it's once nice. you've bought Absolutely. them, it's your, your, your you do you, decision. You fancy. But, you know, I tend to leave them as they are because then it's just 
easier to cut them up. Well, I think we've got a question through. Let's have a look. This is from Deborah in Cheshire. Hello, Deborah. Hi, I'm trying to understand the difference between each company's ink pads. What is the stress oxide and what does it do? Do you know what? That's a really good question. Sometimes I think we forget some of the basics. Yeah. It's like, so we say like distress oxide. Yeah. What is an oxide? Is it, what, when would we use that ink? A distress oxide is a mixture of pigment and dye-based ink and okay. it has a more of a chalky look. So it's, um, it's still water reactive. You, uh, when you spritz water onto it, it's called an oxide because it oxidizes it gives you this sort of like speckly white you know like you what else oxide? it's like metal like metal does mm. a bit so it gives you that sort of look whereas a distress ink is quite translucent because it's just dye based so it's more opaque as well so you can layer your colors with them up better as well there you go hopefully that answers your question deborah but great question that's why we love being live and interactive can you just say as well all the messages that came through for jimmy to wish him Bye bye, even though he's here tomorrow and he's back next week doing freelance. <laughs> um, we passed them all on to Jimmy because if we read them out on air, it would just be, well, it would go to his head, quite frankly. <laughs> it would not be good and he might cry and nobody wants his tears, quite frankly. Uh, Maxine in Norfolk says, as always, great demos, Jane and Fabulous Stamps. Thank you, Maxine. Cannot agree more. They are fabulous. They really are. That's I'll a gorgeous stick card. It down. And shall I find turn door? Yeah, pointed at our Becky. Beautiful. Yep. EO7270 is your item code. If you want to go for the bundle, you've got your stamp sets in there. You get your arty, crafty stuff, your borders and your backdrops, your crafty sentiments and your tag stamps as well. Designed by the lovely Jane. She's here. She's the queen of the cannolis. And she also shimmied into the studio in a way that would rival Jimmy. She was giving all of that. Maybe she will now. I don't know. Over to Rosie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And she did. <laughs> How are you doing? You are welcome. Well, do you know what? Welcome. We're here already. I'm already <laughs> starting my show. <laughs> That's all gone already wrong. Um, I love your card, Jane. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful. Love the colours as well. Amazing. Um, we have got a fabulous three hours. Honestly, my head's a little bit kind of crazy because some of the conversations upstairs uh, today, honestly. Why? What's going on? Well, I don't know if you want to know or not. Who was having the conversation? The very fruit is Mr. Love, Andy Love and Liam. And and were they worky just, conversations or fruity conversations? Uh, kind of everything, kind of conversations. Yeah, it's right. been very interesting. Um, yeah. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> let's get. <laughs> yes, you are. We've got a fabulous three hours coming away. Let's take a little look at what is coming up this evening. Five o'clock. Back in stock, we've got our lovely Pauline here with our garden friends decoupage card kit from Hunky Dory, and the lovely Carla's going to be in the studio at six o'clock with the return of. Of Copic and this is just amazing um, you want to see some of the demos she's got as well color your world with Copic it's amazing seven o'clock we've got Andy Pauline back in the house with the essential ribbon borders and more all from Hunky Dory so do you know what it's gonna be a fab three hours but right now back to this lovely duo thanks Rosie <laughs> God bless her heart she was good at that one she uh, James, <laughs> oh, lovely you've practiced uh, is, we got no more demos. Oh, we're nearly at the end of the show. I can't bear it. Um, <laughs> should we do some of the samples and bits and pieces as well? And can we look through your you journal? Can look, because yep. this is just fab. This can show you. I mean, I love the fact that you've got something practical in here. <laughs> and the fact you've got a little swatch going on. But also, I mean, lots of people journal because it's one of those things. It's very mindful. It's a beautiful thing yeah. to do. And I think with these particular stamps, because they are of a crafty nature, they lend themselves to people that are crafters and want to journal as well. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to show you as well. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, shrink plastic. I just thought they were just so cute to make into little shrink plastic charms. So, you know, use them with all your different mediums, all your different products that you already have. Um, and so like on the front, I just stamped with um, and gold embossed. So it was really sort of simple, but effective. And use the um, backdrops and the little glittery lines, I like to call them. But I did think that they would be ideal for using for your swatches. So if you want to do your paint swatches, so here I've done some and I've just used that as my main thing and then put the colours in, had to go with um, taking some of the colour out so you can do all your things you'd like to do with your swatching. So that's just, I mean, how simple is that? But it's yeah. so effective. So it's making, so a lot of people do like to swatch all their mediums yes. out, but it just makes it a little bit more Fun. <laughs> it's, it, but you put the fun into funky. That's what yeah. we've got here. Because I mean, it really is funky colours, but they're, they're just fun designs. Yeah. So, well, let's keep this coming, Jane. So I love it. then I decided to try out those paints. I'd make a page using those paints. So, and then this one is some, some glittery paints. So I've just used the medium sized um, 
rectangle, but because you've got the small, the medium, and the large, you can just choose whichever one suits your product. And then we've got, so this is the, uh, the stamp that's on the backdrops that echoes what's in the, the rectangles. So it's just meant to look like lots of glitter, really. Those, and the sentiments with a little glitter wherever you go. And then we've got some of these circles. That I don't think I've used the circles, have I, in any of my demos, um, that are also on the backdrop. So I thought you could sort of like start with your darkest tone in the middle and then water it out and water it out That's if you wanted to idea. sort of have a go at that. And then I've used this to make sort of a, a pattern and that's some of the borders that are in there as well. And again, that's one of the sentiments there. And then distress inks. So this is my little set of distress inks. So I just dragged it on and then dragged out the colour a little bit. But you can fit sort of 12 of those medium sized ones just on the page there. And that's quite similar to the card I made first of all, actually. Oh, and that's it. That's as far as I've got on there. Well, I've let's show some more samples as well, because I mean, these are just stunning. They really are. I love the fact with these cards, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to make a really fabulous end result, yeah. does it? No, you just have to do a little bit of background and you can easily just put a black and white image on the, you know, on top of it and it will it'll look fab. And for people that want to make cards for charity or for craft fairs coming yep. up and things like that, you are perfectly that's, happy yep. for people to make what they like. That's totally fine. As long as you're making something with the products um, to sell, then that's fine. I mean, they can be really varied with them. And this one, I mean, it's like, you know, taking crafty elements, but there's nothing crafty yeah. subject mattered about that at all, no, is there? No, not at all. Look at these as well. Just fab. Each and every one is absolutely gorgeous. And you can see, I mean, those two there could not be more different, but no. yet they both work incredibly well, don't yep, they? Yeah, these stamps from the backgrounds on both of them are from the same stamp set. Lovely stuff. Love it. Um, if you do want to order any of the items on the show today, remember, everything goes together. So this is the perfect show as far as your cat PMP is concerned. If you are thinking about the stencils, if you are thinking about the dies, if you are thinking about the stamps, then it's well worth getting them all together and popping them in your basket. You can order them via the phone lines. It is a free phone telephone number, of course, 0800 001 Call centre, not on the other side of the world. Where is it, Jane? Upstairs. Up there. That's where it is. Uh, you can, of course, order as well if you want to via the Hobby Maker app. You can download that for free from the App Store or the Google Store or wherever you get your apps. Uh, or, of course, you can go to the website or the W's what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. There you go. Oh, I'm, I'm with you tomorrow, aren't I? So I don't need to say goodbye to you now. Just get off the screen then. There you go. Off your pot. Bless you. Oh, hang on. Rosie wants a picture. Come on. Get in. Come on, Jane. Pose accordingly. <laughs> Beautiful. Off your pot. And the most popular stencil is this one, Drips, Drops and Splats, <laughs> which is my nickname for Jimmy, so that's bizarre. Uh, so Drips, <laughs> Drops and Splats, if you would like to go for that one, seven ninety nine is your price on that. VC, seventy two eighty five. Jane, when are you back, lovely lady? Um, 21st of June. Ooh, so that seems ages away, but do you know what? It'll that's fly the, by. That's the longest day of the year, isn't it? 21st of June. Yes. Yeah, 21st of June. So, so we will get it? all that sunshine oh. and we get Jane. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> what can we expect? Um, something very summery. Ooh, I love that dangling that <laughs> carrot and letting us have a nibble. Uh, that is it from me. I will be back tomorrow at one o'clock. So from me, Nigel May, I will see you then. Um, and Rosie's going to take you through the rest of the evening with little Auntie Pauline coming up next. So from all of us, keep it here at Hobby Maker. Bye. Bye. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk.
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Oh, well, hello and welcome to Hobby Maker. How are you doing? You know, you've been having a tremendous day here already. And the great news is we've got three more fabulous hours with you. Pauline, how are you, my darling? I'm, yeah, Ooh. or you'll catch all my germs. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I, they bounce off me now with the kids. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I tell you what, you've got some fabulous decoupage kits with you today, haven't you? Yes, as, as in a concept card. Yes. Collection. Um, and these were launched recently and they are the next in the series of um, this, this style of concept cards Brilliant. that have gone so well and been so popular. Well, I can see why as well, because you know what? You want something. We always, whether you're up here with your crafting, whether you're just beginning, whether you're just starting out, everybody needs the quick, simple card to put together. Yeah. And you know what? We're in spring. We're here. The weather's finally getting a little bit better, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, we're seeing the insects. We're seeing the birds. Yeah. We're out in the garden yeah. a little bit more. And that's what all of these collections really celebrate. Um, so what we're going to do, we've got the Garden Friends, decoupage kit yep. um, and I'm going to go through with you because we've got a ridiculous deal coming your way so these are all your gorgeous um, inserts right well <clears throat> they are more they're more less, than an insert less of an insert mm -hmm. more of a inside the card backing ah okay okay it's almost like a mat for inside yes yeah lovely I love all the different colors as well so pretty. well they all <clears throat> excuse me they all match up with mm -hmm. the patterns and the colors that the actual card stock is. Beautiful. And this is the lovely thing with Hunky Dory, is you're never going to have to worry about what colours go with what. It's all no. just going to work, They do it? all the thinking for you. That's it. And you're getting all your envelopes to go with as well. Quality ones again. Quality envelopes too. Um, and yeah. how many cards could you make with this set, do you is think? Is it 16? Is it two of each? Two of each. Yeah. Fantastic. And I bet you've got loads of extras after that as well, to be, or lots well, of little extra it, elements. It there can be. It depends on how you use them. Yeah. And if you want to put all the layers on. Okay. But you know crafty crafters exactly we like to stretch things out a little bit you're savvy so you're going to get six foiled and decoupage sheets okay um so 12 yeah. decoupaged and there's hard two, blank there's two designs on each Beautiful. and you get two of each lovely you get two of each look at that they all pop out ready to go yeah i love the dragonflies as well look yeah, at that um, all cut ready so you're not having to get your dies out you're not having to do any of that it's all no. ready to go no. people are already coming through for this and then you've got all of your card blanks as well so yeah everything is ready to go and i've got to be honest i mean with some of these they're, kind of, they're lovely cards just as they are as well, well aren't they? they are yeah yeah and you were saying about 
the insert. Well, mm -hmm. we've put something on the insert, but if you see on the back of the card, yeah. there's space to write on there. Well, that's it. So you could use yeah. the inserts for something yeah. else, couldn't you? I mean, it's such a fabulous and complete collection. Um, you're going to be making your money back very quickly with this full angel policy. So you can make and sell um, with your craft business if you're crafting for charity as well. You're going to be making it back ever so quickly. Fourteen ninety nine. dollars uh, 99 And what we will card. do is we'll show you how to make it up as per instructions. Yeah. But... You know, we don't leave it there. We we, no. we snip a bit here and alter a bit there and make something totally new. Yeah. <coughs> it's what we do as crafters, you know. We Absolutely. You've can't, always we can't got leave anything place. alone. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, look at these. You know, all of these different examples that you're seeing as well. Um, we've got more collections like this coming up for you too. It's just amazing mm. you know you get hold of them and then you've got those cards ready to go and um, what we're just going to whiz through for you obviously we've got demos from pauline coming up as well um with your garden friends but we've yeah. got two other decoupage kits uh, and you get share with instructions you. as well oh perfect just and there's so, inspiration yeah. on there too, oh absolutely there? absolutely that's it fabulous yeah um now let's do the delightful birds a new season um as well this is so pretty i just do you know what as well you kind of have so many people just more and more apparently twitching is kind of really that's what it's called isn't it twit twitch bird watchers is twitches. it a twitcher or a tweeter twitcher, twitcher. it is a twitcher isn't yeah. it i had to question myself Tweeters there. a whole <laughs> other yeah oh, whole other thing okay. twitchers um yeah twitching's making a massive comeback apparently uh, yeah well, people have been doing that garden watch haven't they oh I see. um so you 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 sort of i don't know whether you go online or something but you tick off all the birds that you see in your garden oh, so nice. so a big survey can be done oh okay so they're sort of, of seeing what see the how they're going yeah. yeah see what our wildlife situation yeah. is in the uk i mean they're these are super cute they're really cute they, they really are pretty and the foiling on them mm. is really stands out like that name the bird the thrush. is that a thrush there we go yeah. i'm glad you knew that you I see that. i'm not i'm not I'm not hot on it with them, yeah. with my birds, so I'm glad you knew that, my darling. You were very good, I don't very know quick many. as well. I know some, but not so. And again, you're getting all of your decoupage sheets as well. Just for anyone who's unsure, and you'll see this in demo, so don't yeah. worry, but just remind us what that decoupage is. So why have we got all of these elements right. and all these little individual Decoupage bits? is, in this case, die cut. Sometimes traditional uh, decoupage, you would cut it out by hand. Yes. But it's all about layering. And what you do is you start with the biggest image, mm -hmm. which is at the back. Yeah. And then by cutting away areas of that image again and again and again, you bring up to the tiny layers coming forward. So you've got this nice. like 3D look. Lovely. So it's almost like a pyramid, but with yeah. the shapes with yeah. the different. Yeah. So it's really So clever. it's all about cutting bits away. So you come with the smallest pieces on the top. The biggest piece is on the bottom and you've usually got a base layer which is the circle in the middle of the card um, for this one Beautiful. um so yeah that's that but i mean decoupage uh -huh. has two original um meanings because originally it was just layers of images papers that was put onto furniture of course yeah because you can that, that's i do a lot of that at home and then and that then, kind of decoupage um, varnished yeah. over yeah. Um, so that was, and then before we had die cutting, you would cut everything out by hand and people used to do the most amazing pictures Yeah. and it used to take so long, That's it. but they would look incredible. Yeah. So we've just, you know. you've made it easy for everybody, haven't yeah. you? Because you've taken yeah. all the hard work away. You've taken, you're obviously getting your really good quality envelopes with this set yeah. as well. So 16 cards you can make. And obviously if you don't put all your layers in there, then you, you've got extras there as mm. well, haven't you? Which is mm. fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant way um, to get started with your crafting as well, I think. But even if you're already a crafter and you've been crafting for years, yeah. it's just a lovely set to have, isn't it? Because yeah. you're just away, you're ready to go. Um, you can really just enjoy it. Now, hold on. I think our collections here, we've had a little bit. Hold on. This one feels even, oh, there's even more. Are there? Have you got? There we go. Ah, I have. I think I've got a little this double a, up. This is a new season. This is, ah, uh -huh. is So you've got delightful birds and then delightful birds, a new, a new season. season. So we've just shown you delightful birds, a new season. Yeah. And this is now delightful birds, isn't it? Got it. Uh, well, this says a new season. Oh, goodness. We've done the We've new... just... <laughs> right. Right. That's... Hang on. <laughs> delightful birds. We are bringing you the delightful birds. 
Right, this is a new season, and that is Delightful Birds. Okay, fabulous. So, fabulous. Yep. So we've brought you the new season already. This is Delightful Birds. This, yes, this okay. is a new season. Lovely. Okay, fabulous. Here we go. We'll start again. <laughs> so you've got the gorgeous Kingfisher. And That's then we've got these stunning, look at the dark and the little babies, absolutely gorgeous. So this makes 12 cards, this one, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, with the delightful birds. Look at these as well. Oh my gorgeous. So beautiful. And then are these little wrens down the bottom? I, oh, I think, I think they are. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's not a wren. Oh I don't no, know what it is, but it's not a wren. Not a wren. Not a wren. Let us know at home. What's this one here? This little cutie. It's Gorgeous. a red breast. It's not a red breast, any? No, not a red breast inside. That's a that's a blue tit. That's a blue tit. Okay, know that one. Fabulous. And then oh look at these. As oh, well. that's a wren. There's a wren. Okay, absolutely stunning. <laughs> that is a very good question, Ellie. Producer Ellie just said, "What makes a bird a bird's name?" <laughs> It's species, I guess. Yeah. Is that an Elliism? <laughs> we often have an Elliism. <laughs> uh, we'll introduce you to Ellie and Adam in the gallery in a moment's time as well. Um, here we go. Now, obviously, you've got your card blanks to go with yep. as well. 12 of those. So this is a set that's making um, 12. Just really, yeah, so it's all foiled for you it as is, well. Yep. Which yep. is fab. I mean, look at that. The colours are so rich. The mm. artwork so beautiful. Isn't so it? in all these cases, that is going to be your base layer. Yeah. But it doesn't stay there. It doesn't stop there, does it? And actually, you can pop that out if you want well, it to, can't you? This is where the what you thought was the insert, mm. that goes on there. And then you see it through the whole. You see it through the whole thing. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's a really, really clever collection. Um, absolutely fantastic. So here it all is. Um, and of course, you're going to get your envelopes with it as well. So you've got that um, back into pop on the inside of the card. You've got all of those foiled decoupage elements and you've got the card blanks too. And of course, the elements all for 14 99 It's which incredible, is amazing. yeah. Really, really fabulous. Now, we're going to go back to the new season just so that got, we absolutely I've clarify. Okay, perfect. You've got them there. Okay. Brilliant. Here we go. This is the new season. Right, so I'm just putting the twos together so that you know. Fabulous. There we go. Oh, lovely. Thank you, my darling. Here we are. Um, so, and the new season is with your um, birds as well. Just very, very beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get 12 of these as well. So 12 cards that you can make with this collection. Look at this. What's this one here with the red beak? Is that um, a duck? Is that a duck, is it? Is that a type yeah. of Does duck? it say on the top, Rosie, what it is? Let's have a little look, shall we? Blue, blue tits and more hens. hens. Yeah. So we've got the blue tits and more hens. There we are. I was going to say it's not a coots because coots have got the white, the yeah, white beak. Yeah, yeah, so it's a more hen. There we are. Um, oh, still a duck. <laughs> well, I'm glad you pointed that out because that makes everything much easier, doesn't it? This is the thrush and the baby tawny owl. Yep. Here we are. <laughs> um, absolutely fabulous. So you've got everything die cut, ready to go. Really popular collection. I mean, people are multi buying now because it's such great value. Um, always handy they're, they're as well. Been, the whole of these collections have been so popular. Yeah, it's fabulous. Um, you know, fourteen ninety nine. You'll be making that back so quickly. Think about holidays as well, half term coming up with the kids, and just such a lovely way yeah, to introduce them um, to your card making, isn't it? Fantastic. I always think if you run craft clubs as well, yeah, this is a, a, a great thing really, for them really to really have fantastic. a go at. It is. It's for, do you know what we're going to bring back in is your garden friends because you're going to be demoing this I am for going us, to which is fabulous. Yep. Do you want to get yourself ready okay, for your demo, my darling? I and I will. I mean, look how many people are checking out here. Again, people multi buying left, right, and centre. This is a really, really fantastic kit to get you started, to just have those quick cards ready to go as well. And maybe you've not tried decoupage before. What a brilliant way to get stuck in. If you don't fancy all the fussy cutting and kind of, um, you know, all of that. Well, faff, because some people yeah. just don't like doing that, do they, Pauline? So if you're wanting to just get it all ready, it's all done for you, all the hard bits done, and then you can just layer it up and really enjoy that process and watch it all come to life. Um, so you've got all those. I keep on going to call them inserts, but they're not. They're more than an insert. You'll see how they work yeah. when Pauline demos for you. Well, it makes the difference of having a plane inside the card to work on this yeah. is going to make it something a little bit more special that's it absolutely fabulous and again two of each design i love this butterfly absolutely gorgeous so the colors are amazing aren't they it's just spring has sprung the dragonfly really really beautiful here as well gorgeous and you've got your blue tit 
Um, you've got your bumblebees just all buzzing away, just really, really lovely. And you've got your little squirrel nook in there as well, um, your red squirrel, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And of course, then you get all of your decoupage um, and some of these sentiments in here as well. So you've got have a beautiful day. Um, we love with hunky dory. Oh, love, love a pun. A pun. Yeah, love a pun. Absolutely fabulous. Um, you've got best wishes, butterfly kisses. Uh, so 12 cards once again, 12 cards. There we go. Um, you've got that lovely bunny there as well. You've got the squirrel, absolutely gorgeous. The dragonfly and the blue tit. Really, really fantastic. So all of this is here for you, 14 99 Your code for this is CBHD79. If you've got any questions at all about anything, message in, we're live and we're interactive. So do you know what? You don't even have to send an email if you don't want to. Studio at hobbymaker.co.uk if you'd like to do that. You can do it directly from our website as well. Um, so if you go to hobbymaker.co.uk, there's just, when you click on watch live, there's a little box there. You can write your message in, it'll come straight through. Um, straight through to Ellie in the gallery as well. So there we go. And you can also use our app, of course, which is very easy. And you can take us anywhere you want. Um, absolutely. So have you got the app? Have you got it already? If you haven't, I've got download it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look, there we go. There's Ellie. Miss. Miss in Worcestershire. I like that you just called Miss, Miss. Ellie. Miss in Worcestershire. Hello. Um, <laughs> there we are. Is it now? Um, right, Paulie, my darling. Which one are you going to work with today? I'm going with the rabbit. Oh, nice, like it. So, we, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to use this how it is in the instructions, per the instructions. Okay. And how it, you know, should be. I'm going really croaky, I'm sorry. Oh, bless you, don't apologise. You okay. need some water, are you okay? So, um, I've left my drink in the green room. Ah, right. we'll get oh, that for you, Jimmy's don't you worry. On it. Thank you. <coughs> right, okay. I am fine, don't worry. Oh, right, okay. So, what we're going to do, first of all, is pop that centre out. And then we're going to take our card, all pre-creased, pre-folded, and we're just going to burnish it down with our tool. And then we can take the kind of insert. Uh -huh. And as you see, we pop it central in there. And when we've got that, then that is going to fit on there. Now, it's your choice as to whether you have this piece raised or not. But first of all, we're going to pop the insert down. With Now, even with this paper, I can still use my construction glue because it doesn't buckle, wrinkle, cockle, wherever you're based in the world, whichever description you use. Okay, so we'll pop that nice and centrally. And as you can see there, it fits beautifully. And then we come to our decoupage. So we can build it up and then put it in, or you can do whichever way around you want. But we'll put that to one side. And what I like to do is pop all my decoupage out. I like to put the pads on the back and then put it on the waist of my foam pads so that I can just peel it off. So here we go. So like I said before, <coughs> you use the biggest the biggest one first and if you're not sure just look and that's the biggest one and then because you've got everything that goes in the circle at the bottom you know exactly where it's going to be now I'm going to look at that one and I'm going to look at that one and it's actually the same so I could keep that one oh no it isn't look it's got more flowers on. So I know this one comes first. Ah, so look and then look again. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate wow. that. And then, so this one's going to go on here and just follow the image. Get the ears lined up. So then the next one is this one. So we're coming forward every time. Okay. My ears have popped and it sounds like I'm in a... Are oh, you underwater? Yeah. That's horrible, that, yeah. isn't it, that feeling? You're doing so well, because it's just, it, yeah. It's... Right, so then this one, we look, and that one's got a little bit more on. So we know that that, that one is going to go on top of there. So that one's next. Okay, and then this one. So it's really, really simple. You just build up the layers. 
And because of the, say, this shape at the bottom, it works really well. We've got Bunny's face, because his face comes forward from his ears, yeah. so his ears are in the background. We've got some little flowers here, some single ones to go on there. You can also use tweezers if you find it hard to hold on to them. But just match up your designs. We've got a little one down here. So if you think, oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs, don't put the little ones on. It really won't, you know, take much away from, okay. from the card. So, um, you know, don't worry about that. And that one is that one up there. But I mean, look at the depth on that. We'll have to show you. It's, it's, yep, it's quite absolutely. amazing, isn't it? It's, um, see, I've said that absolutely word again. We were on about that earlier. Mm. And then this one is his nose. Decoupage is one of our leading designs. Is that Art Deco? Yeah. Um, it is like way up there in hunky dory customers. Do you know what? As well, I can see why because you cannot buy a card like this, can you? You can't buy no. a card with all these layers. No. It's just not going to happen. Sometimes no. you might get one little thing. I mean, how much would they cost in the shop if you were going to buy oh, yeah. a decoupaged card? Yeah. You know. So now they come with the envelopes, mm -hmm. but may I suggest? The boxes. Yeah, that's a really good idea. We've got those on the show, so they're going to come in. And actually, we had a message about that. Oh, well, right, Pauline. okay. Um, right. This is coming through from Jess. Hello, Jess. Uh, hi, Jess. Says, hi, Rosie and Pauline. This collection is truly inspiring. You could box frame these images and they'd look incredible. That's going in my they, skip. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm going to put my happy birthday greeting up there. And you see there, oh. right? So when, when I tilt it round and you can see the layers that are on there it's just fantastic isn't it if you turn yeah. that for becky now look there we go i mean look at that absolutely gorgeous just Great, that it? so high so then beautiful there we go so we look at our rabbit oh it's just it's, it's almost like a kind of another layer of um a pop-up card isn't yeah. it because it's all there all the time and it's just beautiful um, and you've done that really quickly as well which is Simple. great no time well, at all. I mean, I had them already. What you can do, mm -hmm. um, let me just get a sheet. Because obviously you need your foam pads to go with this collection, don't you? They're, yes. they're really, really simple. We've got tons of your foam pads here. Ellie, producer Ellie's going to put all your foam pads on the web for you. We've got the smalls, we've got the large, we've got the medium, we've got the strips. We've got everything. We've got the midnight black selection as well. We've, yeah. got, the, we've got the circles. So they are all on the website for you. Um, would you sit and put a foam pad on the back of the whole page before you get started? That's what I was just going to come to. So ah, if you okay. haven't got the leftover sheets like yeah. I have, what you can do is turn this over mm. and then put all your pads on ah. ready and keep them in the sheets. Oh, that's a great idea. Because if you take them out, they're going to get lost. Yeah. So yeah. If, you, if you don't have these to put them onto, that is it. So you can just sit and put all those on. That's a good and then And then add. You could add put them in one of your envelopes on. that you get with you, couldn't you? You could, yeah. Which yeah. would be really good. Um, I'm just going to let you know if you want to have a look at any of the foam pads in more detail, if you want to see the sort of specifics of them and just make sure you're getting the right ones, they're all online, but we can go through them for you. If you want to see any of the individuals up close, let us know. Um, the great thing is, as well, is we do have these box envelopes on the show for you as well. These are so handy for so many reasons. Obviously, with a collection like this, they lend each other, they lend themselves brilliantly to it. You can see actually the rabbit on here, um, on this one that's been made up before, and then using um, the other side on the back. You know, these are absolutely fantastic. Um, you're going to get in your set. You can make twelve boxes. Now, these are six by six handmade card boxes, um, perfectly sized for all of this collection. Um, and then, of course, you've got your envelopes free for something else. You could put all those decoupage elements in each envelope just to keep them safe with your foam pads on and all the rest of it. Um, but really, really superb. So that's your um, 12 boxes. Loads of you coming through for these. We don't see these very often on the show and people always ask about them. About 60 pence per box. Think of what other uses you can use for these as well. You know, other things at home. Anytime you make a card that's got dimension, anytime that you're making a card that's just got those little extra layers, um, these are just invaluable, aren't they? Because they're just your inventor boxes, which is yeah. brilliant. But also use them for gifts. You could put a picture in there as well. You can use them for all kinds of things at home, can't you? So even if you're not a crafter, um, for 6 99 come on in and grab them. That's 12 boxes. That's really, really superb value. 
value there for you. Lisa's in, Elizabeth as well, Judith, congratulations. Patricia, Lisa's shopping from New York as well. Welcome to you. We do post to America. Um, so it's $12.95 a day. So you can add as much to order as you like. It's still only $12.95 a day. And here in the UK, it's just £3.95. Again, it doesn't matter how much you order. That's one p and p right the way through till midnight. And yes, it does include shopping on our website as well. So you can be shopping on live TV. You can be shopping on our website all under that one PMP. It's just brilliant. Now, Paulie, my darling, people are multi-buying here right now, but you said that obviously you've got your instructions with each of these kits and you can follow them by letter of the law and you can do it exactly yeah. as it's here. Yeah. But you said that there's other things you can do with it as well. Oh, lots. So what are you going to do for us next? Right, okay, we're going to mix it up a bit. Oh, I like to mix it up. So firstly, what I'd like to say is the foiled flowers on here, get your alcohol markers Ooh. out and you can colour and it won't affect the foiling but you can actually change nice. the actual card exactly. by adding alcohol markers love that idea okay? yeah great so what we're going to do with this one um i've taken it up and i'm folding it in so we're going to make a bit of an easel card oh nice okay so you think well how can we, how can we do this it's you can see all white. Can you score us? Sorry, just hold the phone a moment. Is that a brand new scoring tool? It's not been out long. That is, I've not seen that it's, before. It's, it's um, what do you call it? Not a scoring tool, burnisher. A burnisher, that's yeah. great. I couldn't think of the word for a minute. It's a burnisher. Wow. So we, we do have our, but these are scoring tools. <coughs> so you can see they're shaped to go with the scorer. Yeah. Whereas mm. this one, it pieces out into a very fine oh. edge. And you can burnish. That's great. Okay. Cool. Fabio, that very little money. I can think of all sorts of uses for that as well, yeah. around the home, actually, as well. Well, you could okay. even use it for when you're doing paste. That's what I was just, yeah, pasting. Once you get it cleaned up straight yeah, away yeah. after. Yeah. Right, so now I've cut myself. I haven't cut myself. You haven't got, oh, I've I hope not. <laughs> I've cut myself a piece of black okay. card, which is going to go, and I've, I've done it to fit, okay, on there. Perfect. So you think, what, well, this is an odd card. But I have every faith in you, though, Pauline. I have every faith in bear you. Bear with the pro. Oh, I, I don't know how I've been crafting today. I haven't got any faith in myself. I always have faith in you, Pauline. Oh, my word. I've, I've had wonky donkeys all day today. Well, that's a top selling book, you know, from, for kids, the wonky donkey. So it's. Um, I don't feel as bad as I did this morning yeah. and the first show, so, but I'm going really croaky now. Oh, bless you. You get but more water. We're all right. We're okay. We're, we can live to fight another yeah. day. You're fabulous. And everyone's sending you lots of love oh, in the gallery. Been, to oh, they've been so that. sweet. Yeah, it is nice. Mm. Right. Oh, okay. hold on. Sorry, Pauline. Mm -hmm. I hate to Ellie's gone and found it. Excellent. Um, she found the burnisher. It's a fabulous little tool. I've never seen this before. This That's is brilliant. The one. This is there it is, three ninety nine. Can you afford you to be one without yet? one? Yeah, I think so. This, do you know what else I'm kind of feeling like this will be really good for? It's just, you know, when you've got those little sticky bits you're wanting to sort of scrape away and things yeah. like that as well. Do you know what it's lovely for as well? Earlier on in the shows, I was using our stickables. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. you need to pull away and you can burnish down. Oh, make genius. sure you get it nice and smooth so it does have a lot of um, it's got loads of uses see how many uses you can find with this a message in if you've already got one mm. and you found all kinds of uses for it at home 3.99 for a really fabulous little tool um lisa jennifer margaret nita's in as well greater london's in there as well um new york's there worcestershire loads and people are multi-buying as well it's the kind of thing you want to gift all your crafting friends it, it's actually, it's it? a tool that you didn't know you needed yeah till you've got it Tell you got it. And then it, you know. And then all of a sudden you're like, what on earth did I do without this? Yeah. It's like the paper clip, isn't it? And yeah. you think, well, what on earth did I do without yeah. it? Or a post it. You know, it's one of those. Hi, Carol. Um, how are you? Oh, look, just ordered the burnishing oh, tool. Oh, well done, Carol. Very good. On it, on it, yeah. straight away, Carol. Um, absolutely. Um, Elizabeth, Lisa, Warwick, so right, continue, my darling. Sorry. Okay. No more interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> right, so then I've cut a piece of card that is just slightly smaller so that it fits halfway in there, okay? But I'm not gonna attach it to the back. Okay. I'm attaching it to the top section mm -hmm. so that when I turn, it's it's on there, not the not the back. Oh, okay. It's on the front, okay? 
-hmm. So I need to put some glue or tape runner, your adhesive of choice. So we're popping this on here because it doesn't matter about the back, but we want it on there. Yeah. So we'll get that on there nice and squared up and then just you can burnish it down. There we go. Okay. And then we've got the start now, you see, of our easel card. Ah, okay. Clever. I'm being really awkward now. And the, the camera and the guys are, are trying to keep up with me and I keep turning it. All no one can keep up They're with They're watching Pauline. me. Becky's got her eyes on me. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to put this, which is slightly smaller, which gives us our little black edge on there. Okay. So I need to refill my glue. Your favourite so, glue you yeah. got there in hand. So what I do now, I have the big bottles mm -hmm. and then I just keep topping up. Ah, this that's one. good, yeah, that's handy. Okay, right, so does that look straight to you? I think we're on a roll. I think, oh, we're, yeah. I think we've got a card doing it's well. This smashing morning. it, Pauline. This morning, it's not this morning, is it? Hmm. I have no right, idea. It's just what a minor detail. I, <laughs> where am I? Who am I? <laughs> right, okay, so with this one now, what we want to do is we want to add our base layer mm -hmm. on there so when it stands, it's got something to stand oh, against. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So Perfect. if I put my glue on here, then I'm not going to overshoot with the glue on the top section. So make sure my bumblebees are the right way up. It does help. Dive bombing bees is not a good look. And then, of course, we need a stopper. Ah, yes. Okay. Now, what I could do mm -hmm. is bring in something from an earlier show. Oh, okay. okay. And I'm going to go with gold. Nice. Let me find the right packet. Right. Now, okay, what I'm going to do is pick out the black and the gold. Greetings. Ah. These are our border strips. You may have watched the show earlier. We've got another chance for you coming up at seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go with, oh, choices, choices. Scent with love. Right. Oh. So I'm just going to pop that off there and join together. And I'm going to pop this one. I'm going to take the end off, pop it out. Okay. So this will go lovely with the, with the gold that's on here. Yeah. And we're going to put pads on that. Let me cut, chop off the ends, which we don't want. So scent with love is a nice greeting that I think someone would like. And then we'll put, if I find my foam pads, my strips, there they are. Okay. So we'll put one on there. So I'm going to find out where that, that right from that end. Okay. Pop that on there. Do it. I never cut it off until after. Ah, okay, that's a good idea. Right. So use your mask. I've got my glass mat here. And then I'm going to open that up. So we're going about above that line there. So I'm going to use this line here. Okay. Set with love. Chop off the end because it's dry adhesive. I don't have to wait. Pop that on there. So now we have our stopper. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our bumblebees. So again, I've done them on here. But I'm not going to put them all on there. I'm going to bring some down here as well. So our biggest one is this one here. Mm -hmm. So flatten it down to, to get that. And then we're going to pop that on there. The next biggest one is this one here. So always remember you're coming down in size and you just follow your design. Always hover over. If you're not sure, put a bit of our um, glue stick 
um, on the pads. So you've got the wiggle room. Yeah. So you can do a waggle dance with the you bumblebee. You can, you can. So next biggest one is this one. Okay. So again, just check your design. Make, make sure your wings are nicely matched up. And then we have this one, which is with the blue flower. You can see how many you've got. It's, it's fabulous. It is. This it's amazing. And it flower comes to life here. so quickly. Okay. Then we've got... <coughs> right. That one is has got more legs than that one. So this one on here. I think Judith... Um, we've like, got some like serious... What we've got here. Yeah, she is. We've got some serious right. multi-buying going on here. Okay. So what we're going to do now... <clears throat> this one's got more legs, so we know that one's on there. So now we're going to open it back up, and then we're going to pop some of these butterflies. Uh, butterflies? We knew what you meant. Your little bumblebees, your waggling bumblebees. Bumblebees down here. So we'll put that one that side, that one that side. We've got a little flower here to go on there. Okay, and then what we can do is decoupage up these two down here. Oh. So this one on there, mm -hmm. this one, just so they don't look so flat. Love that. That one on there, and then we have a wing. You've just got to make sure the wing's going in the right direction. Okay, that one on there. And this one, I think, is on here. There we go. And then we have Look at that. Uh, have a beautiful day. I love that. Right. So that now I think will pop at the bottom there. And then we have something totally different. That's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So many different ways you can work with your cards. Yeah. Isn't that just delightful? Really, really lovely. And but, people but the, are seriously you, getting involved. If you haven't bought the um, banners, yeah. you, I mean, the stopper or the actual bumblebees would... Could be your son. Yeah, they could yeah, be your stoppers would too. Would do that they? as well. <coughs> so many of you coming through. I've got a lovely message from Sarah. How are you, darling? Hi, Sarah. She, she says, hello, ladies. Oh, bless you. This, everyone has got this oh. freaking cold. It's not fair, is it? She says, hello, ladies. I'm currently on the sofa with the worst cold ever. So I've ordered the Garden Friends kit for me to do um, oh, with. What a way to cheer yourself up. I mean, that's it. And actually, that's the beauty of a kit like this. When you, If you are sort of laid up with the cold or if you just haven't got the time or if you're just wanting to craft something quickly, but it still means something, that's still lovely, that still has that impact, this is just perfect. Now, the phone lines are going absolutely off the hook. People are multi-buying left, right and centre. Um, think about the kids, think about the grandkids. Perfect way for getting them into crafting. I've got a tickle now, I do <laughs> <laughs> It's there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, everybody. Your code for this is CVHD79. Come and order it in. We'll take another look at those boxes as well. Have a little look. I might just have to have a little swig of water in just a moment. Um, so these are fantastic because... <clears throat> <laughs> Shall I tell you Shall I yes, say why well, they're fantastic? They're <coughs> great because... <clears throat> I, what I love about the card boxes is that you can open them two ways. So you can open them like a pizza box or you can have those side edges closed up and just open the end so you pull something out. So you've got two options as to how you use them. So that one that you got there, it's like a pizza box. Do you know the pizza box one? I feel like that would be really good for sort of homemade cookies, fudge. Yeah. If you made some fudge or something, you yeah. could put your tablets in there, couldn't you? It'd be lovely. Or a nice little silk scarf. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm mean, liking that. Mm. A jewellery, maybe, yeah. as well, if you're a jewellery yeah. maker. Make a necklace and things. Over 20% has gone of this. People are multi-buying in a big way. And so I always think, at the top. Uh, if you're doing something like this, it warrants being in a box and not an envelope. Yeah, I think so. And also, again, by using the boxes at your, your craft fairs and things when you're selling these, 
you've just bumped the price yeah. up. Absolutely. I tell you what these um, boxes are really good for as well. If you're wanting to sell that, you, well, chocolates, absolutely. Annie said chocolates um, in the gallery. But also, if you're wanting to make like a little set of cards for people. Definitely. You know, you can pop maybe four or five cards in yeah. there. And then you've got like a nice little set to, to be selling at your craft fairs as well. So, or notelets maybe if you're putting together your own little thing. Yeah. It's just fabulous. Now, um, very, very best of luck to each and every one of you. Remember, you've got your other decoupage collections there as well. So you've got your Delightful Birds um, and you've got the Delightful Birds A New Season as well. So you've got those two different Delightful Birds collections there for you as well. They're all on the web. Keep on checking out. It's going absolutely bananas here today, Pauline. Um, everybody I, I knew, is loving this they're, kit. They're always popular. This yeah. is one of the most popular um concept card kits we've had um in whichever form with the birds or the garden friends it works yeah it's so good it's absolutely brilliant you're getting all your envelopes mm. as well um you're getting all of those i'm going to keep calling them inserts because i can't think of another word well yeah, they Easy are on word. the inside yeah, yeah on the inside the inside bit <laughs> okay <laughs> in all your different <laughs> colors and patterns to match the collection as well and then of course you're going to get your gorgeous um, card blanks, they're all foiled for you, they're all scored for you down the middle, so you just use your brand new burnishing tool um, to get that nice crisp edge. It's all made in adorable scoreable as well, so obviously none of it's going to crack or crease, which is absolutely fabulous. Yep. Very spring-like colours, really beautiful, really sort of ornate and lovely. And then, of course, you've got all of those decoupage elements as well. We've got the bees that we've just seen Pauline demonstrating with there. And you're getting two of each page, remember, OK? You've got the bunnies and the squirrels that we saw Pauline um, demonstrate earlier as well, the bunnies. So if you missed that, you can re-watch after the show today. After 8 o'clock, everything is going to be re-watchable on our website. And after seven days, it'll all be on YouTube forever and ever and ever. Um, then you've got the dragonfly. I love the colours of the dragonfly. I'm gonna, we're going to mix oh, up hooray. the dragonflies next. Oh, yeah. And the water Excellent. lilies, yeah. Oh, nice, love it. I love the dragonflies. And then, of course, you've got your blue tit there as well. Um, really, really lovely. I mean, you've got a little birdie told me, especially for you. The sentiments are really nice as well because they're kind of for lots of different occasions. They are, which yeah. Is brilliant. So that's all there for you. Um, people are multi-buying on another scale today, I think it's fair to say. Everybody is loving this collection. And you think about it. You think about that 14 99 you're going to make that back very, very quickly when you're selling at your craft shows. Um, but also, think about the sort of, the space of your day, think about the holidays coming up, think about those occasions, those times, and like we've just heard from you at home as well, and you've, you've got a bit of a snivel, you've got a cold, and you're not able to get out and about. I tell you what, as well, a collection like this is the perfect, you know when people send flowers when you're a bit poorly, or people might send you some nice chocolate or fruit and things like that, send a craft kit like this. Send some, if you're stuck at home, you don't just want to sit and like look at, I mean, it's lovely to look at flowers, don't get me wrong, I adore flowers, I adore chocolate, but actually it's really nice to have something to do. Yeah. So it takes your mind off things, it's very mindful, you just get in the zone, you're just there and you're crafting away. And that passes the hours so much more quickly than sort of sitting and scrolling through your phone. phone pads and a bit of adhesive. Yeah, and you're good to go. <laughs> all those phone pads are on the website, so you've got all the different ones, you've got the strips, you've got the circles, you've got the midnight black collection as well. Um, you've got the large, you've got the small, it's all there. It's very, very, very busy. So if you want a certain one and you'd like to take a closer look at it, just message in. We're live, we're interactive, and we can show you that as well. Okay, if we have time at the end, we'll, we'll just maybe go through those quickly. But Pauline, most importantly, we want to see these dragonflies in action. Okay, so let's we'll say we're going to mix it up again. So we're starting with the dragonflies, and I'm going to take out the base layer. Okay. Do you want a little dragonfly fact? Go on then. They can move all four of their wings independently of one another. Really? Yeah, and that's what allows them to hover. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. There you go. And they're so beautiful. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Right, so now on the score line, I'm going to cut it off. Okay? So we've, so we're going to start with a six-inch square card blank. Lovely. Okay. And then I've got some a six inch by three inch piece of gold. Now, uh, <coughs> this is stickables, but I'm going to glue it on. Oh, okay. But for quickness, because I can't get anything straight today, Rosie. Sorry. And I just know that I'm in for another um, wonky donkey if I. Are you going to be able to rest tomorrow, my darling? It. Have you got a day of rest tomorrow? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you ever rest? No. no. Because tomorrow I start on. Um, prepping 
properly for my own show on the 11th. Yeah, on the 11th. So I've got, yeah, a lot to do. Lots to do. Bless right, you. okay. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this in half so this fits on here. So this is a okay. great way of making your sash go further, oh, isn't it? Oh, would you make a, another, another card out of what's left over? Yeah. Right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I really am. Oh, bless you. Do you know what? Um, while voice. you just, if you want to, darling, um, we've just had a question in about, um, Jacqueline's just asked from Angus if she can see the butterfly card on display. So if you want to have a swig, oh, okay. go for it if you like. And yeah. then I'll, I'll just Thank show you. that. There we go. Look at that. Longer, uh, it's lasting, but... There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful. Um, it's so, so lovely. Jacqueline, and I bet, do you know what? Are you going to get another set today, my darling, as well? And I might want to, just because they are flying out the door and they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Lovely. There you go. Thank you, my darling. There we go. Two, five, two and a half, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. I'm, divide, I'm, I'm dividing, yeah. Oh, don't ask me. Two and three quarters. I, well, do you know what? I'm going to go on the pattern. Whatever the number is, I'm going on the pattern. Perfect. That's it. That's the way to I do can't it. Do, I can't work out numbers now. Uh, do you know, I think you're probably speaking on behalf of lots of people at home, myself included, who just can't work in numbers. So just <laughs> go with the pattern. Go with the pattern. It's much easier. That's it. So I'm going to glue that on now. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I'm, I'm still here, that's about it. I know. You gave me a little panic <laughs> there. And the boy was like, you all, you're OK? Yeah. We're all good. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. So let's pop that on there. Okay. I mean, you can make so many designs on this. It's untrue. Right. Okay. So inside now, I'm going to use the insert as a proper insert. Fabulous. Okay. So to, to please you as it being an insert. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there we go. And you can see, using these inserts with our glue, it's absolutely fine. Okay. Right. So I think, I think that's square. <laughs> I think we're fine Works with Works for that. me, Pauline. Yeah. So then now, <clears throat> my dragonfly is going to go there. And I am going to raise it up because I can. But you have the choice. And I like that when you can have yeah. a choice. Sometimes it's hard, though, when you have too much choice. Yeah, I'm like that with a menu. If I'm trying to make a decision oh. in a restaurant, if there's too much choice, well, no. I get Well, what very... you do is you look first at the dessert. Yeah. And make sure what you eat, you've got room for the I've dessert. always got room for dessert, though, because that's a separate tummy for me. Me too. <laughs> right, so... Hang on. We've got to get the lily. It's not the dragonfly that needs to be straight. It's the lilies. Ah. Okay, so there we go with that. So then we go on to our decoupage. So once again, we line everything up. Let's go with the next one. And we are going, I love that you've got these shapes so you know where you're going. Hunky Dory give you so much helping hand. I've got a little bit of the backing showing there, so we'll poke that in. Those pokey tools are great for that. Oh, brilliant. So then this is the next one. So we're going, so you just hover like your dragonfly till it's in place. And then what I'm going to do is we've got this lily here. I'm going to pop down in the corner, okay? And then we're going to put a dragonfly in the top. I love those lilies. They're that so way. gorgeous, aren't they? Then we've got more lilies. Is the lily the same oh. as a lotus flower? Because lotus flowers look very similar. It looks no, like they're, lotus, different. Are they they're different. Are they? Yeah. They're lovely, aren't lotus they? Lotus flowers have those great big um like a big saucer i think ah uh, okay i think ah uh, i might be wrong i have been and then known the pink to, bit the pink bit looks very similar i have it? been yeah. known to be long long wrong dear me 
It's not been a. It can be. Day. It can be long as well if you like. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is that one there, and that one is that one. The colours there. Are beautiful. And then this water lily, I'm going to actually pop on the top of that one, and then this one goes on there. And then we're going to have, especially for you, which we're going to put there. Gorgeous. Because if I put it top or bottom, it's going to... You've got to look at triangles ah, in okay. design, as you okay. probably already know. So there is something, again, totally different. And I have still got these pieces ah. to use yeah. on another card. That's it, isn't it? So you can really spread it out. You can make it go yeah. further. I mean, so what you can do with this one, you see, put that on pads and you can put it over. Ah, nice. And just make there. another one. Yeah. See how perfect is that? I love it as well because if you wanted to use the decoupage elements onto another background, then that frame, you could put a photo in there. You could do all sorts with it, really, couldn't you? <clears throat> the majority of uh, decoupage that Unky Dory do, mm. you can do one, miss one, put it on and another put it on. and. and and eke it out for another card. See, that is clever, isn't it? And I bet you've got so much stash at home. Oh, my goodness. Um, it is so, so, so busy. Phyllis has ordered two. We've got brand new crafters in. Carol's ordered two. Patricia, Linda, Sybil, Maureen, Cheryl, Carol. You've seen all the names coming through on the bottom of the screen. Maybe you're sat at home and thinking, I fancy a go at this, actually. I could do with something just to take my mind off things, whether it's work that's stressful, life that's stressful, or just you want to have a new hobby, you want to have a new yeah. challenge. You know, how lovely to start that up today. And at Hobby Maker, the deals you're getting here today are for everybody. There's no VIP sort of section. As far as we're concerned, you're watching, you're here with us, you're part of the family already. Um, so you can all make this big saving yeah. today as well. 14.99 CVHD79 is your code. Just ring through 0800 001 4433. It's a completely free number. Or, of course, you can check out on the web as well, Hunky Dory. Um, not Hunky Dory, Hobby Maker. <laughs> You can, well, you can go and visit their website too. Yeah. Of course you can. Um, hobbymaker.co.uk. Now, we do have two more decoupage collections for you. So we're going to bring you um, the Delightful Birds, a new season, first of all. Okay, so we've got um, the Thrush and the Baby Tawny Owl. Okay, and you've got the beautiful Blue Tits and the Moor Hens. We know what they all are, you say. It's very exciting, we do. Thing, isn't it? I know. We're Good old hunky dory. Um, we've got swallows and coal tits as well. There we are. And I would never have known what what um, the coal tit was. No. And I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? Because yeah. like they look a bit like a blue when tit. When you think they? about it. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Um, and we do have another set for you. Is that, no, that's it, isn't it? Perfect. So you've got, those, um, you've got those beautiful six different designs. You've got two of each. And remember, you've got all of um, the card blanks to go with it as well, all of the inserts and all of the envelopes to go with it as well. So you've got absolutely everything you need um, in this collection. And then we've also got for you the Delightful Birds decoupage. And with this one, you've got the wonderful waterways. So you've got the kingfishers and the ducks. Um, just really, really beautiful. Again, the colours are so mm. rich. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? And I just love these little chicks. I mean, who doesn't love a little baby oh, chick? Okay. Exactly. It's a winner, isn't it? It's a winner. Um, then you've got your uh, Gardener's Delight page here as well. So really, really pretty. Um, and you've also got your blue tits and Forest Friends. Doesn't tell us what the one underneath <laughs> is. Um, there we go. So you've got your blue tits and you've got your Forest Friends there as well. So really, really pretty. Keep on checking out. Um, and as always, you're going to get... The cards, you're going to get the inserts, you're going to get the envelopes, and you've got all of those decoupageable elements as well to take you through. Tons and tons of you coming through there as well. Um, if you want to watch any demos of the other collections as well, you'll find those on Hobby Maker website from when they launched last time. Um, and you've got your YouTube channel as well, haven't you, Pauline, with Hunky Dory um, and your own. Oh, you met me? No, I haven't got a YouTube. Ah, OK. I'm not technical enough yet to, to do a YouTube. That's all right. But hub, Hunky Dory is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, what well, I'm just going to come back back to because these have been massively popular today we don't have these on the show very often no and we people don't. always ask for yeah. them because they are really really it handy. doesn't matter if you don't want them for decoupage they are such yeah. a useful thing so you know they don't have to stay white yeah then because they're made from ink my cardstock you can spray them ink them stamp on them cover them with papers 
you know, there's so much, you, they don't have to stay wide. Yeah, that's it. And they're all scored for you, aren't they? So, yes. I mean, literally, yeah. I'm just going to do it now because it's very, very easy but if to just you, put it all together. If you were to glue the two long ends yeah. and leave the one end open, yeah. then you just open the flap and okay. take it in out rather got than you. the pizza box. So you can... So you've, you've got, got it. both ways of doing this. It's really clever, isn't it? And because it's all scored for you again, you're not having to measure it. You're not having to sort of worry about um, where everything goes in. It's all yep. been done for you. I mean, literally, look, and that is done. Yeah. And I've just said... A, not even a minute. I've just said, leave, it, it's glue the, the two long ends. It's a square. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's four long ends. <laughs> well, I think we know what you meant, because you've got, obviously, that yeah. pizza box lid, but if you wanted to, glue that seal, in place. Seal up the three. And seal the three the... and just leave that one free, yeah. and you can go in that way That's as well. Um, but the That's pizza box meant, one, Rosie. we know what you meant. I understood you, you understood. We all understood you perfectly well. It's all good. Um, and I love the fact, I mean, obviously, if you did want to colour it, you're just going to keep it. I mean, what a great thing for the kids to do again. Mm. Give them one of those, and that's going to keep them busy for yeah. at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You know. They might, it depends on their age, but they just want to splat some paint yeah. and do handprints on it. And do you know what my two grandchildren were drawing on the other day? What were they drawing on? A puppy pad. Oh. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> on the was floor. a clean, unused one. Oh, But lovely. they were, yeah, because... Yeah. Depends on anything. Depends on anything. So you just give them a stack of these. They're going to decorate all your boxes. For Instead of a party bag at your kids' parties, you could do a little party box. Yep. Get the kids to decorate them, put all the bits. So good. Um, now, listen, we've got loads of you multi-buying. Stephanie's ordered three. Phyllis has ordered two. Patricia's ordered two. Jacqueline's ordered two. Most of you are multi-buying. For $6.99, you're going to get 12 of these boxes. Um, you know, you might make your own chocolate. You might make your own fudge. You might make your own little treats and things like that. These boxes are actually really handy for that. You could put your own logo on there. You could put your stamp. If you got the printmaker yesterday, the label maker, you could be printing your own labels out on these as Handkerchiefs. well. Handkerchiefs. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice idea. Dear. handkerchiefs yeah. yeah i love it and i love your idea of a nice scarf as well yeah, nice silk scarf that's it you know you don't but have it to makes it, fortune it for boxes. you might have got it at a very reasonable price putting it in a box elevates it doesn't it it absolutely does um even if you are not a crafter i'd say get yourself at least a couple of these um sets because decorate it with used. the ribbon borders oh yeah absolutely and talking of ribbon borders they are coming up for you at seven o'clock this evening with pauline in the gold and the silver um really really lovely that is all coming up here keep on checking out for everything on the show we're just going to bring garden friends back in for you so you can have another little look just in case you've missed it you might be thinking oh what's all the excitement about well let's show you shall we well garden um, friends is is not just birds no it's you've got not, the other it? little got, creatures as well see, you've got the butterflies you've got the dragonflies you've got the bunny you've got the squirrel and i love red squirrels yeah i do just adore them where my mum and dad live in scotland you still see the reds really yeah, oh. gorge. um really beautiful have you not, Ellie? Well, you have to come to Scotland then, babe. Mm. There we go. Should we show you Ellie? And uh, should we show you Ellie and Adam in the gallery? So you know who I'm talking to. There um, they are. <laughs> here they are. Ellie's producing the show. Adam's in there as well. Um, so there we are. So this is who we can hear in our ear, isn't it, Paulie? Yeah. If we can hear them chit-chatting away, obviously giving us all the useful information. And then we've also got, obviously, we've got our lovely Becky in the studio here as well. There's Carla as well, getting ready for our next hour um, of Copic, which you are going to absolutely love. Um, but let's just show you what you're getting in this collection. So all the inserts, you've also got the stunning butterfly. I mean, it just is absolutely gorgeous. Is that an admiral? Or is it the, it's not the peacock, is it? Uh, I think it's the... Red Admiral? Is, is it the Red Admiral? I think it is, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, you've got the Dragonfly as well. You've got the Blue Tit, of course. Um, you've got those beautiful bumblebees. Um, and um, the Red Squirrel. I mean, it's such a lovely collection. You're going to get all those card blanks. You get all of the decoupageable elements as well. Um, so doubling up on every single different design. So it's just fabulous. All colour coordinated for you. All on adorable, scorable. All foiled for you as well. And best of all... And I do think this is super handy because if you're new to crafting, you might not have a die cutter yet. You might not have a machine. Yep. You might not have that yet. Um, with this, you don't need it because you can literally 
Look at that, how easy is that? They just pop out straight away, so you're not needing any other equipment. All you need is your foam pads, and you're good to go. You know, it really is a perfect place to start, and this is why so many of you um, are coming in for this collection today. So well done to each and every one of you. Pauline, you're going to be back at seven. I am, yeah. And we are looking forward to that. It's going to be fabulous. Um, thank you, my darling. Um, people Always are still checking it. Look how many people. Listen, don't leave it in your basket, because someone else is going to oh, have Christ, it if you leave yeah. it there. Absolutely. Make sure you check out. We have got... Um, and this is a completely different show we're going to be bringing you next. And I'm, yeah, really excited. I know you love this as well, don't you, Pauline? Yeah. It's such a lovely thing to watch. It's such a lovely thing to do for yourself as well. Um, Carla Bagshaw is going to take us through the world of Copic right now. And if you don't know what that means, stay tuned, because seriously, you're going to absolutely love what is coming up next on Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m., and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Welcome to Hobby Maker. It's fabulous to have you here and it's fabulous to have you two yes. days back to back. I'm so excited. I think I've done like four days. Four it days? Like I've just lived here. Oh, well, we love that, don't we? You can move in anytime you like. And I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Oh, this bless reason. you. Look, and you're still looking all awake and lively. Fabulous. I just had an energy drink. I may <laughs> spew forth lots of the words. 
listen, right, we've got, we're going to get stuck in because this is divine. You've been, and I've seen all of your things on Facebook and Instagram as well. Just, you absolutely adore this collection. Ooh, and I've dude. never seen anyone so excited about a show in all my life. And I am as well. So I'm just going to let you know because I'm going to let you just run with it and tell us all about it because I know how much we all love this. Um, everything is on the website. Yep. Okay. We've got a massive bundle that we're going to be bringing to you, which is just incredible. Um, we've got all the colours that you want, that you need. It really is superb. So I'm going to take you to our website, hobbymaker.co.uk. Um, if you go to watch live and then scroll down, you'll come to a little button at the top that says coming up on today's show. So you click on that and all of this is here for you. Everything is at price. If there's anything that's not yet at price, don't worry, we will drop the price and you will still get that deal. Everyone gets the best deal, okay? It's all here. Uh, things are checking out already. I would go and get thing. stuck in. So first Do of all, thing. before we, we're gonna bring the, um, the roll in with the 11, we're gonna bring this in live, but before we, I tell you what's in there, before we show you, just tell us first of all, why Copic? Why do you love Copic? Copic. What is okay. it about? Well, let's ask a question before <coughs> we even ask that. If I go onto Amazon, I can buy a set of 100 alcohol markers for about 20 quid, right? Okay. So why would I get those? Or why would I, why would I get them <coughs> if I can get those? There's so many reasons. Let me start by telling you the basics. The color, the pigment of the ink is entirely different. Copic is engineered. It is artist standard. So when we're talking about Fabers, we're talking about the same thing. So they're acid free. It's light fast. It's all the good. It's all the good stuff that we're looking at, right? <coughs> Copic is a brand that when you buy them, Rosie's just choking in the background. When you buy Copic, what the difference is, if I buy a Copic pen, I keep that Copic pen for life. Because okay. every single Copic pen has got an ink that you can buy to refill your wow. pens. So good. Added to that, it, I can also buy the nibs. So if I've been using a nib for, say, three years and it's started to get a bit fuzzy wuzzy on the ends, I can just change the nib. Yeah. So it becomes incredibly economical. So as much as you invest in the first bit, after that, you're set for life with your Copic markers. Wow. Why would you use Copic? Why would you want to, why would you want to use alcohol markers? What's, you know, what's the key with it? Well, your blending is beautiful. You can go into your hyperrealism. You've seen the baby Yoda there that I did uh, a while ago that I mixed in with Faber Castells as well. So you can use them <coughs> together. So you get this, you know, awesome sort of mix of stuff. If you look at Baby Yoda's eyes there, where we're looking at him, that is all done with Copic. So you get this incredible detailing coming through where you're using it. Your whites you just highlight with a jelly roll. Now, the other thing that we've got is a colorless blender, and that is something that's really important to you. But, but hold your little horses because the most exciting thing, and I think this is incredible, we're going to bring you a unique, absolutely you can only buy it here. This is it. Wow. We have put together a set of Copic pens that are all to do with flesh tones and this is the only place you can buy that set. We've done that, that's exclusive to Hobby Maker. It is literally only here and we've got it for you in a bundle and we've got it for you with a roll to hold it. Now we're giving you 11 pens and the holder. The holder will hold 18 pens. So we're leaving you space to put in your fine liners and your colorless blenders, and maybe if you want to add in a couple more colors. Now the joy of this is, in the same way that we do with Faber, we're gonna do this with Copic. We're gonna take you on the journey. So today we're gonna look at skin tones and blending. From there, we're gonna go into botanicals. We're gonna go into all kinds of ranges. We're just starting today. And today, we're bringing you a unique set of pens that are gonna take you through your flesh tones and your hair tones and eye colors for the darker eye colors. We're gonna take you through that and we're giving you this incredible bundle that is exclusive to Hobby Maker. It's amazing, this, isn't it? It's so incredible. 83.99. 
Um, you've got three-way split pay there as well. That's totally interest-free. It's so exciting. Means, can you believe what you can get them home for? Twenty seven ninety nine, and you're going to get it day. all home. So it's absolutely brilliant. Yep. Refillable. The nibs you can change as years go on. So this, yep. once you've had this set, it's for life. Yep. And this is why professional artists work with them. This is yep. why professional illustrators work with them. This is why when you look at the world of, of this kind of beautiful quality yes. this is the choice of so many professionals so let me tell you one thing that will make you kind of understand a little bit about copic so i started to do my research on copic as mm. i love to do my research on boring things but because i just love to go into the minutia so yes to everybody else it's dull to myth the most exciting thing in the world <laughs> who uses copic who uses them how can we define copic against your hundred pound amazon pens well your industry standard artists use them. They are used by Disney, they are used by Porsche, they're used by BMW, they're used by um, Lucas Studios, they're used by all the big names. All the big ones. They all use Copic. Why? Because of the intensity of color, the ability to blend, and all the variants. A lot of manga that we see is done with Copics. They're the best in the world. And they're the best in the world for a reason. Not only are they the best in the world, we're bringing you an exclusive set of colours to do all of your flesh tones. It's just amazing. It's so exciting. It really, really is exciting. Well done to everyone who's checked out already. I would love to tell you that we've got limitless stock, but because we this haven't. is an exclusive bundle, because this is an exclusive um, set for you of your skin tones, this is the show to come on in and get them right now. You've got that now. bundle as it, as it will come to you, because yes. I've got some extra bits in where, because obviously I've been using mine. Here we go. Um, what this we're going to do as well, so I'm going to show you the roll. Um, all of it in here. So this is what you're going to be getting in the roll, okay? So yep. you're going to be getting um, all of these 11 different um, skin coloured and beautiful flesh tone uh, Copic pens, okay? They're absolutely amazing. Now you've still got space here. Yep, and which... what we recommend you do, okay? You 100% want to get the colourless blender. Absolutely. Okay, really you're going to show us how to work yep, with that, aren't 100%. you? 100%. Gorgeous. You definitely want to get your colourless blender, okay? So we'll bring that in for you now, so you know where it is. You know. Grab a couple with. of yeah. your colourless blender. That's the thing you're okay. going to use a lot of. So grab a couple of those. Um, okay. You'll use them again and again, and it's the one that you're going to keep going back to all the time. So grab two of those if you can. Okay, fabulous. And then what you want to do, and we're going to run through all of these, so they're there for you, okay? Um, we've got all of your colours, and we've got them in sets of three, okay? These so we've are got so the, lovely these little sets. Aren't they? They're gorgeous. Yeah. They really, really are lovely. And they're all in colours that complement, that work yep. well together. So what we recommend is if you choose two um, to make sure you've got them with, um, with your set, if you can go for more than that, obviously brilliant. But what we recommend is you go for your colourless blender and at least two of the sets yep. of the Copic layer and mix. So this is your beautiful pastel palette, okay? We've also got your architect palette. So I'll bring That's that in gorgeous, for you as well. It? It's lovely. I mean, you can really see every aspect of life around you. you and if you're going with. for, for instance, for the architect palette, make sure you're getting your brown fine liners. You know, you've got oh, brown yeah. fine liners and you've got black fine liners, all in different sizes. So build your basket to where you believe you want to go with your art. That's it, absolutely. absolutely Look at gorgeous. that's Look a at gorgeous this. set. That's oh, a I knew you'd love art. this one, the pet Grab palette. Grab that one, that's so lovely. Well, it's not just pets, is it? That's all your sort of neutral tones. You've got a light pink, you've got your light sort of soft yellow cream tone, and then a brown to work with. It's a gorgeous palette, is it that is one. beautiful. Then you've got your bright, brilliant colors love as well. Love that. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Sound tangling. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, great shout. These are really, really lovely. Um, really stunning. And of course, do you know what? The more colours you have, yeah, the, the more options you have, yeah, the better course. it is. Of I was course. saying to go for two, but I know lots of you. Just well, actually, as many as all. you can get in. Um, now, these are all double-ended, aren't they? So you've got, yeah, so you've the got a chisel Japanese edge, brush. which will give you um, a broader scope if you're doing big surface errors. And then you've got your brush for doing finer detail. Perfect. I mean, you, and we're going to see all of this in action as well. This is your botanical palette. We're just going to give you all of the options. So you've got them there. They're all at 17.75, which is essentially for six of the best quality alcohol markers you in the can world. get in the world. And that's, you know, go and research them as well. Go and have a little yeah, look. Yeah, don't take see. my word for it. Go check it They're out. They're all Japanese made as well. Go on to YouTube so. and have a look. Just type in Copic. There's actually one of the things you can type into YouTube. It'll be useful for you is type in uh, Copic Hyperrealism. There's a guy oh. on there that does the most incredible stuff. It, it, 
These can be as uh, as kind of hyper realistic as the favours that we were looking at earlier. And how about for beginners as well? Easily, so for people who are just getting started. Same thing. Same yeah. thing as I say to you in the Faber shows, it's exactly the same thing. There are no limits to your talents. The only limit to your talent is your ability to believe in yourself. Of course you can do this. And we've got a cosy. That's gorgeous. This is lovely. And it is, look at the croissant. All of that, sorry. <laughs> Always hone in on the food. Obviously <laughs> everything that you're seeing on the picture on the front of these has been done with the colors that are inside uh -huh. the box. <laughs> so everything that you're seeing can be achieved. So the, the wee girl sitting there, all of that has been colored with those bright colors. It's so this is what we're achieving. We're working in layers, remember, so you can get all your shading done. I'm gonna show you the lot. Yeah, it's, I mean, these are just amazing. They really are. We've got the warm palette. Um, as well and you know we can see why manga yeah. you know have used these can't we? amazing can isn't see it these gorgeous characters yeah. this is your warms very very beautiful just indeed. wonderful aren't they they are ellie's tickled by how i said croissant <laughs> um, then we've got the sunset palette That's which so again cute. just lovely you can see it on the character but you can imagine the skies but also look at her hair mm. and so when we you've got three colors right look at how much you can achieve with three colors wow look at the shading going on that's, That's amazing, what we're going to work out how to achieve. Cool. Okay? You're going to teach us. I'm so going to teach you. If you're sat at home thinking, I can't do this. Of course you can. Carla's going to teach you. You, you can, can do anything. You can. Everyone can draw. We're big believers in this. We're Everyone can yes, draw. Yes, you can. Okay? If you're one of those people, many people, sadly, who were told at school, you can't draw. Yes, yes you, you can. can. Okay? Yes. Um, right, this is your serene palette as well. Um, so lovely. I mean, every colour you could possibly yep. imagine. And, you know, they blend together. They work together. Carla is going to teach you. She's going to show you how. Come and get your, um, your colours, your sets of three. They are all now on the web for you, okay? Um, we have, as well, just before we go back to the bundle... Oh, I had long discussions about this. Yes. Because I've got a little bit of an obsession about tracing... <laughs> I've got old obsessions. I can understand the I can understand an, an obsession because, with tracing paper because not all tracing paper is equal, and a lot of tracing paper that we buy on the market, and a lot of you who are my age will remember when we were at school, tracing paper was used for something very different. We used to get given baking sheets. No, and, tracing and, paper was basically school. toilet paper when yeah. I was at school. <laughs> That's what I was getting. At. Yeah. I was trying to be polite, but who are we kidding? Don't do, don't do that. So, I Don't change, Carl. For heaven's sake! I'm on with the I'm on with the posh show. I was trying to do the right. <laughs> Why is it important which tracing paper mm -hmm. we use? Well, when you're tracing, you're trying to look for your major landmarks in what you're tracing. When we're doing a picture, and if you missed the earlier show when we were doing the Faber, so for instance, Baby Yoda here. Did I sit and freehand draw him? No, I did not. No one's got that time in the world. I traced my landmarks. So I took in the shape of him, I took in the shape of his jacket, and I did all that on tracing. Now, the problem with tracing paper is this. Some of it you can't see all the way through. And we think, yeah. well, it's tracing paper, right? You can, you can kind of work. You shouldn't have to kind of work it out. And what you're going to find is if you use a cheap tracing paper, you're going to go to do your image and you're going to look and you're going, I'm missing loads of landmarks because you can't see it through the tracing yeah. paper. Yeah. So you've got to use one that's a very good quality. This one is brilliant. It's a 90 GSM, so you've got really nice, thin sort of layer to it. We haven't gone to the super thick, but it's thick enough that it's stabilised. Now, lovely, it's A3. It? Are you likely to be using much in the realms of A3 for tracing paper? No. You're going to chop it up and you're going to use little bits. So this pad's going to take you for, for years, basically. Mm. Now, unless you're going to do something like Yoda, where you're doing those big ones like I do, because I love to just sit for days and days and days. But you want something. I don't know if you'll be able to sit through the studio lights. That, my friends, is oh, like wow. going through glass. Oh, my gosh. That's brilliant. That's why we're using this tracing paper. And that's why it's so important, because you cannot do that with cheap, cheap, tracing paper get your good stuff give yourself a break you've got to give yourself a heart a starting point in life and this is why we have the right tools for the right job this it's is it fabulous. i haven't this even pressed down well. if i press down i get it even clearer yeah, even more it's just superb isn't it and um, listen Definitely, definitely get yourself at least one pad of this a day. If you know this is yeah. something you're already Go. doing, if you're into Copic and you're into your hyperrealism. Um, and by the way, you can use these pens, obviously, for lots of other drawing styles oh, and totally. techniques. Architects use these pens as well. You Architects know, use them. Well, when I say BMW and Porsche use yeah. them, that's when they're doing the, the mock-ups for the cars that are going to yeah. be coming out. Disney. 
the masters of animation, obviously, and drawing, they use them because they're so blooming useful. They're quick, they're easy. Everyone can use them. You can blend them. You can do all of the things with Copic. Yeah. They're fabulous. We're in for a journey, guys. Strap in. <laughs> yeah, strap in. Right, make sure you're checking out. Your, your beautiful tracing paper is also on split pay for you. So you're getting that home today for £26, which is incredible. Yes. Um, in fact, when you think about all your different split pays, you're going to be able to get your bundle, which is back on screen right now. JRS. Oh, my gosh. When everyone's checked out, 10% of this one is already gone. Um, you, do, you need to be checking out quickly on this. It's yep. absolutely gorgeous. This is an exclusive bundle. You can only get this at Hobby Maker. Okay, yep. It's an 18-piece roll set. You've got the 11 pens there as well. Um, it is absolutely amazing. What we mean by 18 pieces, of course, you can fit more in there once you've got your 11 pens. Um, go and get your uh, triple colour packs as well. They're all for you on the website. Do not miss out on this. Um, can we just talk about I this? Know. This so, is bringing a lot of joy, Carla. <laughs> this brings a lot of joy. A lot of joy. So when we're swatching now, it's really important to swatch. Why? Because we need to know what colours we've got. So I'm going to give you a tip about swatching, and it's really important. Always, always, when you're swatching, cut a little hole. All right? Oh, why is that then? Now, the reason that you cut a little hole is you've got to learn your colour wheel, okay? Ah. So if I go, well, actually, you want to not have to learn your colour wheel. More importantly, so if I go, well, I really love that BV13, I'd love to know if it goes with ah. my V15. And oh, I can clever. look through and I can go, actually, those colours are beautiful together. Or, oh, Lord, they clash and they're awful. So always cut a hole. Obviously, you would loosen that and you would put it against anything that you've previously coloured. Added to that, it's just joyful. It's just blooming joyful. How long did that take you to do? Uh, not very long. So I cut mine out on my scan and cut. I made a pattern, cut it out on the scan and cut. And then I've got extra ones of these for when I've got extra colours to just stick wow. down. I just did my labels with my printmaker from We Are and everything. Can you come and organise my life, Carla? I mean, literally. I could do with organising my own. <laughs> but that's, that's, for me, that's a joy. It means when I swatch out and I've got the hole, I can see anything underneath. Now, obviously, you would loosen it. So so say like for instance I wanted to work out a blue that goes with this little girl's pink hair I can go through my swatch and go okay 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 I think the one I like most is here Nice. Okay, so I can work out my colours. It means I don't have to learn the colour wheel. It means it's work. So swatch your Copics first. Okay. First perfect. job you do. And um, we've got a message coming through. Hey, hey, hey. Um, that is genius, Carla, isn't it, Donna? It's amazing. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions at all about Copic, about how to Please use ask. them, about why they're so wonderful, if you've got anything, any questions at all, there is no such thing as a stupid question. If you're sitting and thinking it and wanting to know the answer, message in on the Absolutely. show here because Carla also, can help you. Okay. Because because we are doing an exclusive, and this is how big the exclusive is, and so I'm telling you this straight. <laughs> Copic in Japan have found out the Copic, mm -hmm. and they're going to be watching this show. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi there. <laughs> I'm very sorry it was me, they Um Please, please, if you're at home, write in and say hi to the guys at Copic so they feel welcomed on board with Hobby Maker as well. Mm -hmm. But also to, to you guys who are just joining us and who are learning with us, please do go to Facebook and join the Hobby Maker. Uh, the, no, hold on, I'm going to get this right. <laughs> Hobby Maker Faber and Copic Club. Okay. Okay. Yes. Join it. Put your artwork in there. Let's journey together. We've got. We've got years ahead of us to learn all of the techniques we need to become the best artists we can become. Let's do it together. I'm still learning. Yeah, Let's do it. it together. So you know what's great with that as well is you'll see other people who maybe you're sat at home going, I can't draw like this. I've you never done it. You can. You can do that. Yeah. I okay. promise you, you can do that. Absolutely, you can do that. Show that us is, how. Show that us is how, a mixture that. of Faber and your your wadrums. Now, before I get to doing that, let's just talk about paper. Okay. Because paper's super important with any blending. First thing I'll tell you, mm -hmm. alcohol markers bleed. Okay. There's no getting around it. They bleed. Mm. Put something underneath that protects your table because it will go into wood and it will absorb. So make sure you've got a glass mat or something. So we've got some papers for you today on the show. The first one we've got is the Yupo, and we've got Stephen's card here, which is smooth, smooth card. And they're different, and they do different things. And this is always going to be the case. Whenever you're doing your type of artwork, work out what type of paper card stock you need. 
Yupo is going to allow the alcohol to be very bright and vibrant on the top mm -hmm. um, and it will allow you to smooth and blend out. That's can your Yupo, the that super because white. Because yeah, it's, it's almost glossy. got a sheen to it. It's got like a glossy yeah. sort of nature to it. So um, absolutely amazing. You're getting 10 sheets there for 749, okay? So 100 GSM. Grab yourself. I would, I would grab both of these. They do different mm -hmm. things. Your smooth card will allow you to blend beautifully as well. I would be more inclined to do your Stevens card if I was doing hyperrealism and your Yupo if I was doing, say, something like maybe manga or if I was doing something more cartoony, I'd probably go with my Yupo or possibly with botanicals, I'd go with Yupo. But if you're sticking with hyperrealism, I'd go with your Stevens smooth. That's what I do. It's 210 GSM, so a really good weight. It's nice and thick. Are your markers going to bleed through it? Absolutely. They're going to bleed through everything. It's just the nature of the beast. It's an alcohol marker. So don't worry about that. But let's talk about then blending on here. So if I take in, I'll take a nice light one and then I'll take in, let's do one, two, let's do, let's do all of these colors. Okay. So I've got four colors sitting here. I might take out let's take out that one no let's take out that one and we'll work with these three okay so where i've got these going through you can see lighter to dark the first thing to learn with uh, copics always look at your ends that they're all chisel ends okay they're all my brush ends learn to hold them in your hand this way with your brush end up if you're going to use them and you're going to go between pens okay okay now you probably want to keep your lids on but I'm just going to work as I'm working. So we work with our pens in our hand like this with your brushes upright. And then we go through Yupo paper. So laying down some color. Mm -hmm. Now you might not really be able to see that on screen. It'll be very, very light. Okay. okay. Now, however, if I do it on my, um, I'll just remove all, all that because it's just going to bleed through. Just one second. If I do it on my Stevens paper, there'll be a difference in color. So you can see it's very light there. Yeah. And on mm -hmm. here, it'll go down much darker. Okay, paper matters. Okay. Every time, paper matters. What are you trying to achieve? So once I've done that, I can then take my next one and I can blend through. And if you're, yeah, if you're trying to go onto the Facebook page and you can't get in, don't worry, it will register. It's just I'm here and I can't accept you until I get off air. Uh, so I'll do can't it you then. do two things at once? What's going on? <laughs> they won't let me bring my phone in the studio. They said it's bad practice. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> chicken strips from Greg's are very hot. Right, so now I've got my three shades coming through. So you can see the different terms that I've got, okay? Mm -hmm. This is much paler on Yupo, and this is much darker when I'm using the Stevens card, which is why we use this for hyperrealism, okay? Because I want a little bit more tone on it. Now, can you blend all three together? Well, the way that you blend is go back to your lightest, okay? And you'd go over all three and you work them through and you keep going wow. through in layers and it'll dry off and as it dries off, it will blend through and you'll just work in layers. Same goes for your Yupo. You'll get a different blend depending on what paper you're using, which is why we are careful about the papers that we choose. And it'll go, I know it makes your teeth itch. I like that. And it'll sound. go through and I'll get my blends. So you're going to get different blends depending on which type of paper you're using. And it's also going to take longer to dry on this paper than it is on this, which means as this one's drying, it will get paler and paler and paler. But I can see that this is still wet, so I can still work with it. Okay. okay. So that's how we're blending. Now, a lot of you might be at sat at home going, well, if I'm blending with my uh, lightest color, why do I need a colorless blender. I want to dispel the mystery a little bit of colorless blenders. Mm -hmm. A colorless blender is not a miracle worker by any stretch of the imagination. It's full of alcohol, don't suck the end of it, um, okay. and basically what it's going to do is separate alcohol markers, the color from it. So it almost it almost erases the color. So there's do a lot like, of does people, it bleach it a little bit? It kind of bleach it sort of. Yeah, it's a similar process. But a lot of people are going, well, I'm using a bright red here and then I've got bright green down here and then I'm using mm. my colorless blender and it's not blending. It's not meant to blend those two <laughs> colors together. They're not supposed to. You'd need a mid-tone between those. So you'd need kind of a, a, a like a red green color between those colors to, to blend it out with. Okay. So you would still use your colorless blender, but not like that. And I think that's a big myth where people are like, well, why can't I why use can't my I colorless blender? Yeah. Why is my very dark brown not going in with my light cream? 
Hold on. So if I do, hey, so if I do this, uh -huh. and then I come in with my light, I'm not going to get them to touch because I don't want to put too much dark on my light. Although you can kiss them together. So there's my light one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now then, surely then the idea being that I could just bring in my miracle cure. And I can just go in and blend them together. Oh, why is that not working? Well, because we're not working with the right colors. Of course, it's not going to work. You can't ask it to be a miracle worker. It's not what we're trying to do. However, what we can see here is it's light in this tone. Um, so if I'm doing highlights in hair, I can just run some light through, OK? So I can start to just take away some color from some areas, mm. all right? So it works beautifully for that. If I'm using the same family of colors like I have done here, mm. then my colorless blender might work a little bit better. I might be able to go into those edges. Hey, I've still got brown on mine, but still go through and be able to tone out some of that. I've still got brown on mine, so it's mixing through. If you've got color stuck to your colorless blender like I have, just run it till it goes dry on the other side and you'll get rid of all of that color because ah, it picks okay. up a lot of color. Yeah, now, cool. it's also going to pick up more color because I'm working on Yupo paper and the alcohol is sitting on top of the paper. On this one, obviously, it's not sitting on top of the paper. It's absorbing into the paper. So on this one, you'll see a larger bleed on the back of it, probably than the Yupo paper where you won't get much of a bleed at all. OK, and it's because it's not plastic coated. So you'll see a difference. Now, I still think I've got brown on here and I don't want to ruin that. So let me just work through and go. So you can see how it looks sort of grey, can't you? Am I actually using a grey? Just let me work out my thing is. Have you got your colourless blender there, Rosie? Did they bring you yours out? Here it is. There we go. You got it. Right, <laughs> so if I take this and I start to blend through those colours, because I'm using the same family of colours, uh -huh. just over here, sorry guys, I can start blending them in. Now, as it dries, you'll see it almost bleaches it out. So it's really important that you go over all of the colors so that you're getting that super blend going through. Mm -hmm. Now, what else can a colorless blender be used for? If that's what I'm going to use it for, great. But actually, one of the best uses for a colorless blender is to lay it down as a primer for your paper. Oh, wow, OK. So to lay it down first yeah. and then start building your colors on top of it. Because what will happen is all your colors will go on very smoothly afterwards because we're laying down a primer on our paper. And that's a really nice base foundation for us. So if I go through with this and lay it down mm -hmm. just as it is, and I'm using the Stevens paper here, so we're absorbing. So is that Rather the same principle the of using um, like a gesso on your wood, for example? Yeah, absolutely. So you're laying down a primer. It means that whatever I put on it is going to go on smooth. I'll get this really beautiful smooth layer on top of it because I'm working smoothly with a colorless blender underneath it. So look how beautifully yeah. that lays. OK, so these are really important factors in what we're doing. So how do we go from this? into doing skin tones and that's what we're going to come to next okay so hopefully this will help any of you at home i will say you won't get the same effects when you're just using your average alcohol markers so you'll get something similar but it won't be quite as real and it won't be quite you can't expect some really cheap alcohol markers to do the same job as a copic i'm going to say that from the beginning that's not just me trying to sell copic out it's the truth you cannot get the same thing in the same way that I can't go to, you know, a, a, a secondhand car showroom, buy a car that's 10 years old and that's, you know, absolutely exhausted and then go and buy a brand new Porsche and expect the same thing to happen with both yeah. cars. It's not going to work happen? that way. You're buying the world's best pens and you're buying them for a reason. Do they come in for crafting? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about skin tones. Now, I'm using a coloring page here from a coloring book that I own. So this is just a coloring book. We're not selling it here. I just like the images and they're great for doing skin texture quickly and easily. So because it's just laid out for me, let me just rip that properly. I take it off because it bleeds mm -hmm. because alcohol markers bleed. You're not going to get away from that. Right. 
Now, I've got my colours sitting here, and this is obviously from the 11 that we're going to get. And I'm going to bring out all. Let's bring out all bring of them. them. So the it. first thing I'm going to look at are these ones. So I've now got my E50, my E31, and my E53. Three different tones. All of them very, very similar. Now, the first thing you're always going to do is have a piece of scratch paper next to you because you need to work out your colours before you get into the idea... So that's my lightest tone. Then I'm going to go in with the next. And I can do that with a chisel. It won't matter. But I can come in here. So do you always go light to dark? Is that important? Or does it not? You can do it both ways. Okay. Um, most people work light to dark because that's how we're taught. And that's how we learn. I can underpaint with them. So I could go dark to light. But once I've done that, then I'm obviously then going to come in. And I'm just going to go through all of those with my lightest one. Bring it back to the top and work out my colors. Now, as that dries, this will be much darker and it'll gradient up to the mm. top, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So, as we're gonna start with this, with the skin tone that we're looking for, I'm gonna start with my lightest first. And the reason I'm gonna start with my lightest is because it's so light, it kind of, it does lay on top of the other colors, but it kind of bleaches them out as well. So, let's go. I'm just gonna lay in my lightest color. Now, I'm just gonna start round with the flower first. Just coming through, come down to her face. Look how quick this is. It's great, isn't it? I just need to give a little stop. Go, you go, well. I'm just gonna color. We have, at the moment, if everyone checks out, 20% of this exclusive bundle has gone. Um, so do make sure, if you've got anything in your basket and you want to get these home, remember, you're getting this exclusive bundle home. Hobby maker and hobby maker alone. You can't get it anywhere else in the world. These skin tones that you're getting today, the flesh tones, um, are just absolutely beautiful. You can only get them here as a bundle and with that gorgeous roll as well. You're going to get them all home for $27.99. That's three interest-free split pays. So check out your basket. If you've got any question about split pay, feel free to call our call centre. They're just upstairs. They're amazing. 0800 001 uh, double... Uh, my goodness, I can't read numbers all of a sudden. <laughs> and, uh, Ooh, <laughs> Rosie, you had and, a moment. Uh, the squirrel I did. Came. I did. I had a total moment there. 0800. I've had a few of those today. 0800 001 double four double three. Do you have that where your brain just stops all of a sudden? All the time. My goodness. I was talking Usually, because I start earlier on, and I and I was I was ringing for a reason, and I rang them, and I forgot what the reason was. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone. I mean, that is just gosh. so. Mm -hmm. So I've already coloured her face, right? Now you can see lighter tones in some areas. You can see it's sort of patchy around here. One of the other things that is kind of a myth about alcohol markers is that you can work just by going through with one, one thing and then maybe blending out a bit. It's the same as Faber. You're going to need to work in layers. You're going to put okay. down maybe five, six layers if you really want to get that depth of colour. There's no, there's no easy there's route no shortcut, around so. beautiful things. If you want to put the time in, you're going to get the results. That's the truth of the matter. Yeah. I can sit here and go, anyone could do this. You can do it in five minutes. It's not true. You can't, right? Mm. Okay, that's just the truth of the matter. But anyone can do it so if I take my next color and I believe I've got the right one here so I've got my yeah I've got my next one so I'm just going to come around and I'm going to work about not halfway but a little bit into halfway across her face here with this bit all right mm -hmm. so now I'm going to come through and I'm going to just work down now, we trust this process, don't we? Because, I mean, actually, Ellie's just saying, in a way, she's saying, oh, that scares me. Because if I was doing it at home, yeah. have I gone too dark? But yeah. you trust the process. And trust you will the process. see. You'll see in a moment the magic that happens. So we're just going to come round here. She's got to be a little bit darker there. It's where the shading is. So you've got to think that the mm. light source is coming this way. Okay? So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Now, I'm going to take my lightest one again. Mm -hmm. And let's blend. So I'm just going to come through. It's the quietest you'll ever hear me when I'm doing artwork because I just love to sit and play. It's the quietest you'll ever hear me when I'm watching it as well because it's really, it absorbs you, doesn't it? It does absorb. Really so we're going to come through and we're going to go and just seat it through and slowly but surely we'll tone that blend. So now it's not so dark, Ooh, all right? Love that. So we're just toning through. So if you look at her now, she looks like she's more in shade. You can see where this was so dark before because I haven't blended it. You can see the difference yeah. to where she's blended and where she hasn't. So let's come through. 
Can I ask a question? Yo. So if you wanted to draw your own images first or if you wanted to use a stamp you set. You need a pigment ink. A pigment ink, okay. Um, because you. if you use a dye ink, it will bleed. So use a pigment ink. Okay. Um, so if you trace a picture, you'll do it with pencil, then make sure you just keep it in pencil. Use your kneadable eraser that you managed to get hold of today and you'll still find that on the website today with all of the um, Faber stuff. Mm -hmm. Use your kneadable eraser and pick up some of that ink, okay? okay. And what well, some of that graphite that you've used for tracing. You're going to do that, and then you can absolutely go for it. And then you would, when you're when you're finished, mark out your darker lines just by using uh, uh, one of your micro or icon pens that we've got here. Can you see your multi-liners? Oh, yeah, I've got brown ones here, and they're beautiful. And there's also black ones in show. Grab these. Get the brown and the black. They're yeah. beautiful. And, I'll show and it you is important to have both isn't it because black is yep. perfect for some items and some projects but the brown is yep. softer and it's gentler and there are some things that when you're doing a fine line you don't want it to be um can you see them the little fine liners so, here we go there so here go. are your brown and there's some black in front uh, in front there we are um that's 23.99 for a four piece set there and you've got different um, sizes of nib so you've got 0.05 to 0.03 you've that's got 0.5 so and you've got 0.1 as well so they are ultra fine yeah. um take and again through. the world's best absolutely amazing um so these are the brown here okay um and then you've also uts 808 and then you've also got the black you want to get both um ideally okay and 23.99 again but these are all refillable as well oh so yep you can do refillable. all of your things right <coughs> i'm just coming in with my very darkest color now mm -hmm. of the three and going around again this is where ellie our uh, producer gets scared because we're using those dark dark tones okay so now I've got three tones three shades sitting on my page so the next thing that I'm going to do is come back in with my lightest and I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to start to work that dark tone first and I'm working in a circular motion okay so we're just washing out that very dark tone and we're just working it through okay now remember we said you've got to work in layers and this is what i mean so you'll go over this several times you're not just going to do it once you don't need to keep going over the dark color you're going to keep going with the lighter colors just to kind of tone it and bleach it out so i'm going to come in here stop her neck from being so patchy work in those lines and it will all start to beautifully blend together and you get these gorgeous gorgeous creative sort of tones and colors that we like to use and we like to sort of play with. And I'm just gonna go over her face now. Every layer that you put on, once it's dry, if you put another layer on, it gets a little bit darker. And that's how we get the blend. How long does it take to dry? Uh, it depends which paper you're using. This mm -hmm. will dry over a period, and the Stevens paper will dry over a period of about, I don't know, it depends how many layers you've got. So, so about the 10 seconds. About 10 seconds. So yeah, the Stevens paper seconds. Yeah. is more workable for a longer amount of time when it, as it's dry. Yes, because it, it stays it's wet yeah. longer. The Upo paper is actually, it will stay a lot. It'll stay, oh, the Upo paper will stay wet probably even longer, but you can't use, like if I go into the Upo paper with say this and I've got a darker color da down, this will start to pick up some of that darker color, okay. which is fine, but yeah. it's, it's probably- Just different techniques. Yeah, it's just different it? techniques, different horses for different courses. Fab. So I can do this and I can work through. And you're just gonna keep layering up. So now your job, once you've got your darker shade lines going through, because obviously that's got to dry. So at this point, I would leave that to dry. And then once it's dried out, I would then go back in with the lightest one and blend it again. Let it dry, then go back in with the lightest one. You keep blending it, it'll get lighter, not darker. It's looking very dark on here, isn't it? But it'll start to get lighter. Now, as obviously the other side to this is, it's going to look a lot darker. A, because it's wet, but also B, because I've got so much white around it. An actual fact, once it starts to dry properly, hold on, here's one I made earlier. Wow, look at that. Okay, Beautiful. so your shade lines come through. Mm. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you about very quickly as well, if we've got time, is just hair. Mm. While I'm here, just in, in how to do that. So you can see the tones coming through. You can see how that's 
starting to work. You can see how that, you know, it starts to lighten up, but you've got to do your layers first. It's not just going to naturally do it and that's still wet. So it will start to lighten and lighten. You can use a heat tool, tool to speed up that process. Do I advise it? No. Do I advise that you're a very patient person? Yes. Am well, I a patient person? You can start and come no. back to it, can't you? Yeah. And that's the lovely thing with this. Is this is not a... We that we just bits. Yeah, we just brought you an amazing set from Uncle Joy where you can sit and you can make a card very quickly. This is not that. This is something you can go away, you can come back to it, go away, come back to it yeah. and just spend the time. Um, just on that note though, mm. you can obviously use these pens for quicker projects if you're doing a stamp. Push cam. Just, you know, and oh, sort of of simple colours, of course you can. But this is this fabulous education. When you can do this, you can do everything. You can do everything. Yeah. And the same techniques work. So um, this... On here, I'm just going to go through and I'm actually going to pretty much cover the whole of this piece of hair with my lightest tone, which is the one I was just using on the skin. Okay. And this is why this set of pencils are so important because these are all your skin tones and your hair tones at the mm. same time. So I've done that. So I've got my layers going through. Now I know that she's going to have darker roots and I already know from the shade in here that she's going to have darker elements there because there's going to be a light source, isn't there? Where the highest points of the hair is, it's going to probably be the lightest. So I know that this is going to be my lightest area here and that this is going to be my lightest area here but I'm going to have to put some other shade lines in otherwise it's going to be flat and I don't want it to look flat so I've got these amazing sets of pens which allow me to do that so from here I'm just going to take in a slightly darker color and I'm going to come in at the root and I'm going to just swift down okay so just coming in in those beautiful lines working through. That's why those brushes are beautiful, aren't The brushes they? are stunning in these collections. Now in here, I know it's gonna be a little bit darker, so I can actually go to town a little bit in here as well. Just use your lines and just brush. Okay, so you're getting, so it's not all solid line. I don't want a solid line, it won't look right. So I'm just very, very gently going through with those hairlines coming through, and I'm gonna do the same at the bottom here. Okay, so those three points. And I'm just leaving the midpoint alone. Remember, I colored it to start with. I want that highlight in her hair. So just on these elements, you can see it drying as I'm going, hey, it went mm. out the lines. Don't worry about going out coloring lines, by the way, because it's fine. Yeah. Right, and then from there, I'm gonna come in with this color, which is slightly darker. So I can now work my tones through. Remember, swatching is super important, but the ones that we've given you will all work. They're all from the E family, and so they will all, all work. So now we're just gonna come through, and we're gonna use those hair lines again. So the first one you're coloring is a block, mm -hmm. then the two after, we're gonna sweep through with little lines, and that's gonna give us hair texture. Bring some of those into the lighter place, not all of them. And just do the lines, drag it through, and then you can get darker in that center point. And then bring that forward here, really brush that out nicely, that big, beautiful curl that she's got there. Just bring that in, okay? So we're starting to get that texture in the hair. Then go back through. I'm gonna bring my lightest tone now. So this is my lightest pen. Mm -hmm. Bring it down, blend it in. Okay, we don't want these big lines. Oh, she's so clever. So I can blend, I can leave that midsection, but I can blend these out. And then I can bring some highlights through by using this. And then, and then, and then, once I've got that seated, so I've now got that beautiful light shine on her hair, which is what I'm looking for, mm. I can come in now with my colorless blender and I can start to pick out a few little highlights. Now this will just dry almost white essentially because it's sort of bleaching out. So it's certainly to use it on those highlighted areas, but a few in here as well, because hair, it's never a block color, is it? When we mm. catch the light in our hair, our hair is a mixture of different colors. But now, do you see where I had that block of lines that were sitting here? We're yeah. breaking it up. So we're just using that colorless blender to just allow some breaks. That's fabulous. In the color that we've got. And we've got hair texture and that's how we get the plait. <coughs> that's how we do all of those things. Wow. Your flowers. So you're looking at the blends coming through, the hair, the leaves, the chameleon where you've using those darker lines around his eyes and how it comes through. Absolutely. 
Yeah, you do the same for the eyeballs. For the eyeballs with this, what I actually did was just use the violet. We'll do it with a, um, we'll do it with a soft brown. Mm. So for this, when I'm doing eyes, because you know you want a highlight in them, and it's showing you where the highlight is here. You could, you know, it, but you'd see that on a photograph. So if you trace it, it'll be the same thing. I'd be more inclined to go in. Let's say, where's my lightest one again? I'd be more inclined to start with my colourless blender, and okay. I would go in. And I would just make sure that I've primed it first. I want a really smooth blend on this because I'm going to be working in tiny areas. Now, I'll be truthful with you. If I was going to do this as a proper piece of kind of artwork, if I was doing this as, as kind of one of my bigger pieces, I'd do the eye in favours. I would stay away from the Copics for it because you can't really get into that that tiny detail when we're talking about copy. It's a brush, you know. Could so you do it with the really fine detailed fine liners afterwards? You could so do you it could with the fine afterwards. liners afterwards. So if, well, let's have a look at that process then. Mm. So I've done my, um, my, my kind of primer. So now I'm gonna go in with my lightest and I'm just gonna color the whole eyeball as such with this, not the shade, not the highlight, but certainly that bottom piece. So you see how these pens this set that we've given you of 11 just takes you right through the remit, okay? Because there's so much you can do with just these 11 pens. It will take you so far. And then to have it in that gorgeous sense bag as well, which is so robust and beautiful. So now I'm just gonna come through and I'm just going to highlight near the edge. So low light it there. Mm. And just around that highlighted point leaving a little bit of a lighter, smooth blend there. So now she's got that gorgeous look, but I wouldn't just leave that there. I'd then be inclined to come in and outline the very edge with a little bit of a darker tone here. Okay, because eyes are never just one color. And then I'd go in with that lighter tone again, draw through that color so that it blends. Okay, so you've got that, those gorgeous brown eyes, those big brown eyes. Now, if I wanted to come in with some of my fine liners and we've got, I'll show you all four. I'm using the brown here. So this, which I would imagine is your finest. So that's your 0 0.5. Can you see it? It's just there. Okay, so that's your 0 0.5. Then you, oh, have I got two 0 0.5? No, that's your 0 0.05. This is your 0 0.05. Yeah. So that's your finest. I've just dropped my... Can you put my oh, talk back? Yeah, I think I've gone for a Burton. Then you've got your next size up. Have I missed one in between? Here you go. Let me just show you all of them. So, there. Oh, um, I just need to let you know, 10% of our stock for the brown fine on this has gone already. So if you're wanting the brown finers, do make sure you come on in. Now you said about the ink pads, they need to be pigment ink. These are all pigment ink, yes. aren't they? So you can, yeah. does that mean then you can draw with these first as well and then add the Oh, of course, the yeah, and it, will, it won't, yeah. it won't, won't, it won't you could, they won't run, it's fine. Yeah. And these are again used by professional artists. So why would we use them? Well, things like, I'll use the zero point, where's my 0 0.5? You don't know, Rosie, right. 0 0.3 will do me nicely. So see under her chin here, I've got some shading lines going on oh. just there, right? If I want to bring that in in the brown, what I can start to do is just do little lines in one direction, just coming through. And I can just start to bring that through. And then I can do some cross hatching just in. So you start to bring in those tones mm. and I would do that around the whole plait then just tone it down. So this is going to be your darkest shade. We start to add details in a way that you wouldn't normally see just with the um, whole, you know, the whole sort of blend mm. because you can't get this finer detail. So you start to add in those details with these pens. So if I wanted to just add in some darker strands into her hair, So you start building up texture, you start building up layers. These are just amazing. I'm, I have to say, and I'm, I don't know where the time has gone. I, it's disappeared. We've got oh, six sorry. minutes Have I left. just chewed your ears off? I'm so no, sorry. No, you don't apologize. We're just, please don't apologize. We're all sat here just transfixed with what you're doing. It's beautiful. Um, I just need to show you another fantastic deal that we've got for you on the show. And it does incorporate lots of the items that you're talking yes. about here as well. So we've got the Upo pad, and that's the one with the shiny texture, and that's where your colours will look more intense. Really vibrant colours. Really vibrant. 
So you've got the pack of Yupo um, in there, okay? So that's 10 sheets. You're going to get your four black Copic fine liners of four different sizes <coughs> and your Chow Colourless Blender as well. Just £32.47 today. Superb saving. It is because Yupo paper on its own is so expensive. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yupo paper is so, so expensive. It's good. Oh, perfect. So you've got an amazing deal. Really fantastic deal. And of course, you're going to use this. If you're going to be working with Copics, this is really an essential. Yeah, point, it is. It? Absolutely. Are you all right? <coughs> Rosie's having a cough. It's not the Stop coffin that carried her off in. It's the coffin that carried her off in. <coughs> oh, my goodness me. We're all at it, aren't we, today? So this is different. That's this is So different this again. is the roll. This is really lovely. And they go together, obviously, perfectly. And they're just really nice to use. Mm -hmm. So please do grab your cases. Fabulous savings. Well, Eleven ninety nine. Um, I love that it says that on the graphics as well. It's empty, just so you know. So obviously, this one is <laughs> as it is to put any extras on there. Um, if you would like the scent bag, um, then obviously, you're going to get your beautiful. This is the exclusive bundle that we have here today for you. And this is where you're getting your 11 pens with the roll as well. Um, we've still got people who need to check out. And I am gonna say at this point, knowing how many people have still got this in their baskets, okay, this is a really exclusive opportunity for you today. You cannot buy this set of flash colors it's as they are. It's exclusive. It's amazing. It's incredible. It imagine really is. That. Imagine, imagine Porsche turning around and saying, you can have an exclusive car just for you. This is what we've got, an exclusive set of the world's <coughs> best alcohol markers just for Hobby Maker, just for you guys watching. Nobody else can get this set. This is just for you at home. Love it. I think that's incredible. It's absolutely awesome, isn't it? I mean, this is why you need to come on in and grab it. Seriously, Anne and Stuart and Julie and Dawn. We've got Somerset and Cheshire. We've got Nottinghamshire there as well. And if you missed it earlier on as well, the beauty with Copic, as well as obviously the quality that you're getting, yeah. these are refillable. So once you've bought these pens, you have them for ever and you'll be able to re you'll be able to buy cartridges to fill them up again you'll be able to buy extra nibs um i mean that in itself is just a really really fantastic um yeah thing, it isn't is it? you're not going to absolutely be so i have for life just to quickly say i have literally on here used i think at this point about six layers i would be inclined to go in with about another six more but you've got to let it dry in between okay. it will bleed no getting around it. It's Put gonna bleed. Easy. Okay. Make sure you've got something protecting your surface. It's the nature of alcohol markers, and it is how they work. It's not the paper. It's not anything else. It's gonna bleed. Yeah. And possibly not so much on Yupo. Maybe a little bit. But Yupo is the reason Yupo is it's so expensive. Is it's designed for alcohol of any description, as in alcohol ink, not your vodka on a Saturday night. But it's designed <laughs> for your, um, you know, your alcohol inks and that kind of thing. Love the process. Fall in love with this process. It's quicker. It's easier. It's something we can all do. And the results with Copic are going to be incredible every single time. It's about learning how to layer those pens. Don't think that you've always got to go in the same family either. Play with your pens. Swatch them. Get holes in your swatches so you can see what works with what. Allow yourself to have the things that make you the artist that's sitting inside of you. Well, I just before I go, because I did promise, hello to Becky's mum. Hello, uh, Trudy. I yay. did promise. Hello, Trudy. But, Everyone's saying hi, Trudy. Hi, Trudy. But the just, team. They're all saying <laughs> it in my ear. Just be, just be the artist that you know you are. You watch, yeah. I said this earlier, you're watching Hobby Maker because you're already a creative. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. And you know, getting them for yourself, Get them for, what a wonderful gift as well. If you know somebody who's going to art college or who's Ooh, going yeah. to be going and studying 3D design or illustration. They'll or love you art, forever. They will literally love you forever. Um, oh my gosh, you have to get these. I keep on saying, do you know what? Just, they are That's gorgeous. a lovely set. Look how pretty love that is. Them. These are your brights and your fine liner as well. So you've got six pens in total. Obviously all of the colors um, are double-sided. You've got the chisel yep, and the you've chisel. got the Japanese brush. All for $34.99, FDS840. Um, make sure you're checking out. We've also got the brights for you as well. Those classic primaries, the yellow, the red, and the blue. You've got that beautiful green as well, and the black. And you've got your fine liner as well at $34.99, KES830. 
five. Um, but my goodness me, right, you can look on our web if you're just tuning in and you've missed the demonstration, you've missed the education of this, do not worry. You can, of course, go re-watch this show after 8 p.m. tonight. It's going to be there for seven days on Hobby Makers' website. You can also watch it on YouTube after that as well. And on that note, you know, Copic have so many tutorials online. Oh, yeah, online. I, there's a multitude so of them. So it's wonderful, I'm so excited for I you. I know, it's I'm really, really excited for you because it's the best journey. Yeah. And it's, it's genuinely a high. Yeah. You know, you do something and you look at it and you go, I did that. Yeah. That's the high. It's amazing. And when you gift it to somebody and they say, you didn't do that. You and you're like, yes, that. I did. I yes, did yes, do I did. the thing. Um, it's amazing. We've got Lorraine there. We've got Stuart there. Julie still to check out as well. Dawn still to check out. Listen, this is a really exceptional opportunity for you. It really is an exclusive collection for you to own right here from Hobby Maker. So don't miss out on the chance to get these gorgeous um, flesh tones here. They really are outstanding. Incredible. Beautiful. I mean, look at, and we've just got to show your wonderful. Oh, Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Own, only you got, I know Jimmy did want to buy it. I can't sell it because it's uh, obviously a copyright image. So I can't sell it. Remember when you're at home, you cannot sell anything that's copyright. You can make them for personal use. You can get free images. You can do various other things. You can potentially give them as gifts. It has to be fan art. You are not allowed to no. sell anything that is copyright. That has to be clear. Okay. All right. Thank you, my darling. Ah, oh, I just, you know what? That hour is just zipped by. I we know. need a good few hours. We could on do that, with like we? a good four hours on a Copic show. We, we could. literally could do with four hours. 100% we could. Um, it's just lovely to have so many of you here with us as well at Hobby Maker. Um, go find Carla as well. Cut by hand, a paper artist on Facebook and Instagram, aren't you? Um, yeah, but you should because she's great and you'll see all these wonderful things that unfold right before your eyes. They're gorgeous. Um, we love you. Um, I tell you who else we love is Auntie Pauline. She Auntie Pauline. is back with us our final live hour here on hobby maker we're bringing you those wonderful ribbon strips that we've got more foil for you in silver and in gold and it is all coming up here on hobby maker so don't go anywhere we'll see you soon we'll see, see you after you. this Bye. <laughs> want to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the tv guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk.
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. My goodness, what a day it has been here on yes. Hobby Maker, Pauline, hasn't it? Just, um, and Rosie, this is, of course, Pauline, who you all know and adore from Hunky Dory. And you're back for our final hour of the day. Yep. One um, more. One more. And my goodness me. Right, this oh. has... You all right, Matalin? I think I'm going to sneeze. Gonna sneeze so okay. If I just... If I say bless you before you do it, it'll disappear. That's <laughs> strawberries. Apparently, they say strawberries. 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 There you go. It's gone now. Um, the invisible. I oh, know. Thanks for that, Ellie. Little tip. She's full of tips and tricks, is Ellie. Um, so, we have for you an amazing bundle here today from Hunky Dory. This is brand new launch today. Launch on Hobby Maker. Absolutely fabulous. And we've got all of your stunning pastel colours and first time in the silver. So what we're going to do is go through your ribbon borders. We'll give you the whole set of silver first. Then we're going to give you the whole set of gold. And then we're going to give you the big bundle, which everybody wants, yeah. let's be honest. Absolutely. Oh, well, why wouldn't why you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't Precisely. You? So tell us about these borders then, okay. um, Pauline. So why are they so brilliant? We've bought borders to you before, but they've been on stickables. So in okay. paper form. Yes. These are on adorable scoreable. And what's so good about adorable scoreable? Just for anyone who's not Bending sure. Bending technology. Oh. There we go. <laughs> And there is uh, 16 sheets of them, and you're going to get both in, in, in the same colour, you'll get a sentiment greetings sheet, Lovely. and then you'll get a patterned sheet. Can we come in really? I don't know how close we can go, but I want to show you those different patterns. So you're going to get every single colour. If I take you through to the pinks, for example, so I can show you. Um, because then you'll see the difference with each um, each sort of collection, if you like. Um, you're getting all of those wonderful sentiments, okay? Also, just to say um, congratulations, going all the way across as well, thinking of you, um, sent with love, time to celebrate. You know, you've got so much A bit here. of everything on there. It is, isn't it? It's fantastic. Thank you as well. Um, really, someone special as well. You've got something for everybody. Yeah. So you'll get that yeah. in every color. Colourway. Every single colourway. Yeah. And, and then you're also the, 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 the patterns. There we are. Let's bring you some of those patterns as well. And you can see them all in different colours. I love the silver on silver. Yeah, it's lovely, fabulous. Isn't it? It's beautiful. It's like platinum, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, you've got the chevrons, you've got the hearts there, you've got those fireworks. So you've got so much in here, which is yeah. fabulous. 350 e GSM. Yeah. Each one of the 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 actual strip design is eleven inches. Okay. So you know, you can cut these in half, you can... Yeah, well, we saw you trimming these earlier, aren't yeah. we? And, and don't, we? I mean, even if you wanted to cut single set... Oh, look at me, scissors. Mm -hmm. uh, cut single sentiments out of each one. Yeah. Just think how much further they go. Absolutely. Instead of using the whole strip. I love it. I mean, you could almost weave with them as well, couldn't you? Yeah, you we could. Board? I, I mean, there's so many. So things. much you can do. But listen, we've got them in gold as well. Um, Vivian, my darling, I can see you coming through there wanting to check them out your basket. Just wait a moment, OK, because we've got the bundle on its way. So all of those fabulous sentiments yep. and all of these fantastic So all of those patterns. printed in silver foil, and now you've got the same again in beautiful, strong colours in gold. That now, the nice. black and gold on this Ooh, is let's have a, look. a dream. It is, isn't it? Look at it's this. It's so elegant. Oh, it's fancy. Yeah, fancy. very fancy. Very fancy. Um, absolutely amazing. So oil foiled foil. Imagine, can I just ask you a question as well? Thank you so much, Jimmy. If you're wanting to do ribbons like this, if you're wanting to foil them yourself, if you're wanting to print them all out, I mean, that is going to take you a long, long time to yes, one. Yes, definitely. But also, you've got them in all these different colourways. You've got them in the silver, you've got yeah. them in the gold. It's just brilliant, and you're going to use them for so many things, aren't you? Belts yeah. around a journal. Yes. I mean, there's, there's just no end. I mean, I made a very impromptu bow. Oh, with nice. We've yeah. got it on the card over there. Perfect. It's very simple, very naive in its making. Yeah. 
but it works. But it works, you know, and so effective. Yeah. And Vivian, darling, I can see you've checked out on the gold, my darling, but what we're going to do is bring you the bundle. Um, it's not too late to change your mind, of course, if you'd like to mm. come in for the bundle, and this is where you're going to get everything. Um, we're going to bring that in for you now. So this is all of your silver. This is all of your gold. Obviously, add them both together. Should be 23 98 but... As always with Hunky Dory um, and with Hobby Makeup, we're going to give you that savings for going for the bundle. Because with the bundle, you always get the best value. So that's what we're doing. But there, right there are now. times when you're going to want to. It's like it's a pet hate of mine that if you're doing something in gold, to put a sentiment on that silver. Okay. It's, it, to me, it's wrong. <laughs> I mean, it isn't. You can do what what you want, but it's not my. Unless, unless you're going for it as a deliberate mismatch, but you'd add yes. more of it then, wouldn't yeah, you? You'd yeah. have to really So to have the it. same in the gold and the silver, yeah. you've got everything covered. It's fab. And look what you can do. I mean, you know, think outside the box with this. You can, of yeah. course, use them as borders, but you can actually use them for your entire card. Yeah. Look at this one. Love that. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really yeah. clever. Do you know what? Now, this one you, you're looking at now, what, what is great about these mm. is... Not only are they joined at the edges, they're actually joined with pips, you know, like our yeah. decoupage, yeah. all the way through. So you can die cut a circle oh, great. and it stays together. So it stays together. You see, that's brilliant, isn't it? Um, look at all these clever ways that you can use them in your card making. I just think this is yeah. fantastic. Look at this as well. I love that one. It's I love gorgeous, the, isn't it? Just the, the colours that are used on that. Yeah, beautiful. And then, of course, oh, look, there's some weaving. Weaving. We were talking about yep. weaving. There we go. Look at that. Now you, you imagine that and the top of a gift box. Oh, nice. You wouldn't say that great? great. It would be fantastic, yeah. wouldn't it? Um, almost wall art as well, you know. Yeah. Got, and look, you can do, oh, this is jazzy. I love yep. this. Check this out. That's fantastic. It looks quite Christmassy, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of it. Throughout the year... I love the, the fact that it looks a bit like a flag. Yes, as well. yeah, so it do does. On, it, on its side, it would be a bit more like a, a flag. That's an idea. So you could do that with all the different colours. You know, you, you could, could do the George Cross. You We've could do got the red, white sunset. and blue. We have indeed. Yep. Fantastic. Look at that. Um, I mean, it's nine ninety nine each. That's it. Um, nine ninety nine instead of eleven ninety nine, you pay nine ninety nine for the silver, nine ninety nine for gold. When you go for the bundle, and what a lot of people are doing is multi buying on this as well, because mm. of course, you know you're going to use these, and once you've got these techniques and you're kind of um, creating these yeah. beautiful cards with them, this is another one that both Nigel and I loved. Yeah, a simple form really nice. of weaving, and okay. it is just stunning. Isn't that lovely? Check that out. Really beautiful. I mean, actually, again, you know, introduce the kids to this, show them how to weave them together, get them to create little pictures they can make almost little houses out of the different... Now, while we're looking at that so, card, you can see uh -huh. that lovely, um, rather large sentiment of happy birthday. Yeah. If we have got the larger sentiment pad... <gasps> We do. But the colours are the mm. same. Oh, perfect. In this, so work you, everything matches. So Hunky Dory have thought about it and thought, yeah. well, if we're going to do this, let's do it in the same colours. Let's do it so you can and use everything. everything coordinates. That's it. You know, Hunky Dory it is on the show. Everything. Yeah, it is indeed. We've got the um, large sentiment pack <clears throat> and we've also got um, your essential book of sentiments on their way. Okay, so we've got all of that coming up on the show for you and some of your essential tools as well from Hunky Dory. Um, but my goodness me, come on in um, and get these while you can. Do you know what? Would you like to see what we can do with it straight away? Do you want to okay. go on over, Paul, right. my darling? and prepare your first demo and i'll just let you know how you can get involved if you haven't done this before um with us at hobby maker you've got well hello first of all and welcome um it is a lovely to have you here uh, 0800 001 4433 that's a completely free phone number okay so you can call that any time of the day our fabulous call center who are just upstairs will answer your call um and you add this into your order by speaking with them or of course by going to hobby maker .co.uk so you can shop on the website as well however you choose to shop be it the app be it the web buy it, be it the um, call center it's only 3.95 for the entire day's post your packaging isn't that brilliant um but this is why we always say to you do not leave it in your basket okay because if you leave things in your basket it's not reserved for you somebody else will be able to get in there first okay so do make sure you're checking out now we just mentioned those sentiment books Let's bring you the bigger book first of all. 
And these are so handy. Look, when you're making a card, when you're making something for somebody, the sentiment is so important, isn't it? And sometimes we can't think of the words. Sometimes we just don't know what those right words are. Um, and what you've got here is just sensational. It's your essential book of bigger sentiments inside all of your gorgeous, adorable, scorable um, colours as well. Um, and you've got sort of very simple sentiments in here. You've got phrases, you've got poems, you've got really just some, I mean, look, there's christening for you as well. They're all die cut for you already. So you can just pop them out, they're ready to go. Each sentiment you've got in every single colourway as well. Um, then you've got your sympathy. I mean, this is, I think this is one of the hardest actually, isn't it, to find the right words for when yeah. you're making a sympathy yeah. card. Um, but you've got lots of choices in here, which are just really fabulous. Different colourways as well, different shapes, ribbons, flowers, plaques, hearts, um, your classic sort of rectangles and circles and ovals. It's all in here. So these are really, really handy. Um, and you know what? If you're able to today, I'd go for I'd go I'd go go for a couple really because you will use these especially if you've got a craft group if you've got a number of you who get together and like to sort of craft together um it's just lovely to have these there so everybody can use them um to a precious daughter on your birthday on your retirement on your anniversary wishing you the very best of luck you did it well done you know there's something for everybody new baby as well really gorgeous and some very uplifting sentiments in there as well um, grandma to a super son have a fabulous day you've got a sentiment for everybody and you've got a sentiment for every occasion as well so it's absolutely brilliant um, do make sure you're checking out on this one um, we do have your smaller sentiments book as well but first of all let's take a look at your okay like, Pauline. so I've got the white with the silver um, and what I want to show you is a, a little trick Ooh, um, nice because trick. as I say I've cut the end off here and what I want to show you is what you can do so we use this end to show you. Got one prepared. Mm -hmm. You can cut off the edge, okay? But because you've still got the top and bottom, ah. you can take that off and they are still joined together. That's okay. Nice. Which then leads you to have a border ah, or a strip. Perfect or whatever you want. So I've got a DL card here. Mm -hmm. So we could have it top to bottom. We could have a, a tenfold card and we could have it across there. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. Right. So what I've got here, uh, that measures about an inch, I believe. Yep, one inch. So then I've cut one and a half inch strip of silver card. I'm gonna just remove the one off the end and then if I put, I want to hold it together, but with the glue or the um, tape runners, it will work. So what I'm going to do is make sure that the glue goes across everyone. Okay. Just so that we know it stays together a little bit down the center. And then take my strip. Now this is shorter. So I'll have a border at each end. Okay. You could put it on pads if you want, as long as you make sure it's all nicely stuck. But that, you know, fancy trying to put that in separate pieces. Oh, yeah. All together. So now I'm going to put it on pads. And I have got a strip of pads, uh, wider ones. And I'm going to pop let's just pop it down the middle a little bit on the end there okay we had them all in the earlier show we had quite a few they're all still bundles. on the web actually aren't they so you can still go shop for those if you need some more pads yeah so this should be the same length but we've got that little border don't worry if you get a bit of glue we now have once it's dry we have our Eraser. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's genius, that eraser. Oh, Brilliant. fantastic. So good. So we're going to put this, so I'm using my mat to just get that nicely squared up. And then I'm going to pop that on there. And it may be seven o'clock, but I think I've just got something straight. First time in the day. Woo! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. And then what I've done, 
I've got some little pieces that I cut again, mm -hmm. see here, and then I cut a little bit more of the Miri, and I've got three of them, okay, working odd numbers, it always, always works better, and we're just going to put them like a random, you don't want anything too contrived, so a little bit random like that. Mm -hmm. Wet glue in case you can't get it straight. You've got wiggle room. Nice. When you cut them like that, you could almost do like a little brick wall with them, couldn't you? You could, yeah. I've put these on pads as well. Oh, nice. Um, so that they stick up a little bit. Mm. We'll pop that one there. And I'm just going to do them random. Okay, like that. And then I have here um, the sentiment strip with birthday wishes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut right from the dot there. Let's get a nice full one. And then birthday wishes there. Okay, so it sort of adds, is the right fit. Now that is a bit wide. So, and that is, that's not a straight cut at all. See, told you I can't cut a straight line. It's hard than you think to cut a straight line. So, what, so what I need to do, I'm going to stick it, put this on a pad. Let's get that on there. Okay. And white and silver always look quite stunning, mm. as does black and gold. Oh, but absolutely. Black and silver is good as well. So now I'm going to stick that on here with a border. Okay. And then we'll cut that. And we'll cut that. The thing is, if you can't cut straight, do it as if you meant to do it randomly. Yeah. And then it looks obvious. so much better. That looks dreadful. I really can't see straight today. Don't you worry, my darling. They're looking good to me. It's about as straight as a donkey's hind leg. <laughs> and if I go any more... That's like when you're trying to cut hair, that is. And you yeah. think, just a little bit more off that side. Yeah. And you end up... I tried to once, Ellie. Ellie said, do you cut hair, Rosie? I said, no, I really don't. But I gave myself a couple of hair cuts when, uh, hair cuts when I was a kid. <laughs> and they went very badly. <laughs> I don't have to worry my, my, my daughter's a hairstylist. Oh, there we go. Well, you're all right then, aren't well, you? Well, I, I am, but I, she's so that busy. Actually, I could never get mine done. Oh. And then over this side, we're just going to put the birthday wishes. You'll have to excuse my, ooh, my cutting today. I, I am... So, so not in the straight and narrow but don't you worry. today. Well, do you know what? Maybe it's just had a couple of um, couple of glasses of fizz today. Let me say it. Right. Oh, there's that score again. Love that. And then that one over there, like so. And it's just a bit more contemporary. Yeah, I love that. That's great, isn't it? Just something a little bit different. Yeah, definitely. Um, just something a little bit different for you and just a really fabulous way to use these gorgeous borders once again. So you know, this is the great thing with them. Don't just think of them as ribbons and borders. Don't just think of them as, um, as the sort of edges of things. You can yep. construct an entire card. Um, you can construct an entire card with these, which is just Definitely. really, really good. If you just give that a little nudge to the... Um, there we go, that's it. We just oh, that way. That yeah, perfect. Look at that. Oh, there we go. hang on. Oh, you can oh, see that. There we go. Oil. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so just as a little recap of this bundle that's on your screen right now, this is Hunky Dory's Essential Ribbon Borders Collection. Um, you're going to get 406 borders in total here. 406 borders for 19.99. You've got loads of sentiments. You've got all the patterns here as well. Um, there really is something for everybody and it just is brilliant. Lots and lots of inspiration for you as well, of course, online and from today's show. If you've missed any of Pauline's demos um, then you know what you can re-watch all of them later on I'll just show you a couple of the cards as well um, that you can work with so they should be 11.99 on their own each 
Um, but with the bundle today, you're getting them for £10 each, £9.99 each, which is superb. But think about your cards. What are you going to be selling these for? at your craft shows you know and that's the beautiful thing about it is actually um you think about what you can create you think about all the different projects the different styles the different way of working um it's brilliant isn't it and actually that's what we think about is what you're going to be crafting with and creating with this the value for your 1999 because it just goes on and on and on and on um which is superb are you hd59 okay that is your code for your essential ribbons collection remember um you're getting all of those patterns you're getting all of those sentiments in all of these delightful colours um, of adorable, scorable as well. So it's like a full rainbow. Here, she's, here she goes. <laughs> there we go. I'm dropping them all over the place, Pauline. We're both at it. Here we are. <laughs> They're taking... <laughs> They're taking the mickey out of me for not being able to fan out the... Uh, <sighs> collection very well there we go so you can see most of the colors i'm not there. good at it either. you see most of the colors here <laughs> and 0800 001 double four double three um is your code so do make sure you're checking out there all of your colors there you go there we go. Jimmy and Becky did it for us. You can see it all fanned out there. Um, absolutely perfect. Now, we've also got your book of sentiments, 2024. So this is the latest edition, 2024. Absolutely brilliant. And I'll just um, take you through. I mean, this is really, really uh, fabulous once again. Um, 11 99 here today for you. And so much in here once again all of these fabulous sentiments oh there we go and um, all of those different colorways as well all foiled for you all die cut for you um i mean it's a big big book this as well seven by five um 40 pages in total 30 different colorways let's just take a little look at that you've got your heart shapes you've got your little banners you've got little flowers and ovals and um, some of these as well have also got the holes punched in so you can use them as little tags on bottles and bags and things like that as well they really are superb um, and there's a sentiment for everybody hello little one awesome parents many happy um returns home sweet home you know if they've literally hunky dory have thought of everything so whoever you're making a card for and whenever you're making a card for whatever the occasion whether it's new home whether it's christening whether it's um baptism whether it's holy communion whether it's wedding whether it's birthday whether it's sympathy whatever it is um you have this wonderful collection 11.99 that is it again if you want to get a couple um i would go for a couple of them okay um just really fabulous now sometimes you want a little bit more than a few words yeah. you want a full verse and these i mean gosh we can't keep these in stock pauline can we no the well verses? i mean that to go inside the card but on this card here mm -hmm. when i made the bow i've used it as a feature on the oh perfect on the front of the card so that just shows you that you know by a bit of matting and layering you That's can right. put one on the you know out right. on the outer of the card because they are all foiled once again and you've got them foiled in gold and in silver as well so with every single one you've got 24 different verses and you've got 24 different verses in gold and in silver as well um so they're absolutely brilliant for 9.99 you were given this wonderful life because you are strong enough to live it how lovely is that um day by day we will let go of this loss but we will never let go of our love you know there are so many beautiful mm. sentiments in here um roses are red violets are blue flowers are nice but chocolate is too <laughs> um you know there's some cheeky ones there's some really sentimental ones yeah. there's some really loving ones um it's just really wonderful when i think of someone special when i think of someone kind it's you that comes to mind. I mean, oh. that's so gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? I like oh, that. right back at you. It's really, really beautiful. Mm. Um, you know, friendship isn't just a million little things. It's, it, there's so much in here that you're going to use in your crafting. Um, not just because actually these work so well inside the card, outside the card, but also yeah. um, plaques to the wall, things like that. If you're making home decor. Yeah. I mean, some yeah. of them come across like affirmations. And yes. You put absolutely. them in a little frame and have them somewhere where you're going to, every time you pass, yeah you think about it well here's one for that absolutely success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key, the key to, to success to you know and how true is that yeah. it's absolutely spot on it takes just one small step to begin the journey of a lifetime you know all these but little even reminders those put in your journal yeah in your journaling as well that's such yep. a good idea um until you spread your wings 
you know you have no idea how far you'll fly you know they're gorgeous you know yeah. if you're making these for yeah. your um your son your daughter they're about to embark on an sometimes adventure sometimes people need to hear oh yeah something like that and definitely for you to send something whether it be a card or yeah. just to say it to them. Exactly. I mean, those little random acts of kindness. And yes. All those cards oh, that you want to send that. people, yeah. which aren't for a, a particular thing, you're just thinking of them. You're just giving them a little bit of a nudge in the right direction. Maybe they're just going through a massive change in life or different things yeah. that just happen to everybody and you're just wanting to give them a little bit of support mm. and a little bit of love um you know it's beautiful so you've got those perfect verses they're there for you please do make sure you're checking out 9.99 um, for 48 foiled verses it's brilliant um absolutely superb now um we have something you've not seen yet today as well um, we've got your perfect verses um, blue pad as well. Um, so this is pad one, isn't it? The blue. Um, yeah, I blue think. It, yeah, is it not there? I don't think we had it, it earlier, darling. Yeah, I think it might have gone back in. It might have got put away. I think so. But here it is. Um, Forty-eight sheets once again. Okay, this is A5 paper pad. Eight sheets. Um, with six designs as well. So, I mean, again, absolutely jam-packed. 9 99 for you. Very, very, very popular once again. Eight sheets in each of your six designs there, um, which is just superb. So, if you're wanting to come through for this one, this is JKHD36. You've got the free number to be dialing through on, 0800 001 4433. And that's going to take you straight to our call centre and Hobby Maker. And they're just upstairs. They're absolutely brilliant. They'll hold your hand and take you through the whole process um, and of course if you want to uh, jump on the web or jump on the app you can check out that way as well um, but you know what we will try and hunt down that um, pa that beautiful versus pad but if we, we bring have back every bus. we do but if we bring back in these gorgeous uh, foiled ribbons for you um, I mean, there's so over 400 different foiled and die cut ribbons for you with sentiments, with patterns. There's just so much you're going to be using and tons of inspiration too. Um, and today is not 23.98. Are you HD 59 today? Because you're coming for the big bundle, you are going to get that price drop as well. So not 23.98 today. <coughs> oh, there she goes again. <coughs> Excuse me. You're sounding worse than I am. <laughs> no, it is. Well, do you know what? Rosie, I, was... I won't be outdone with illness. <laughs> I, I actually feel fine. I was ill last weekend, so I'm actually over yeah. it now, but I've just got that tickle. Um, but I will just say as well, um, it's not 23 99 so you're going to be getting the better deal today as well. It's just going to be 19 99 for you. But all of these beautiful colours, for all of these foiled ribbons, um, come on in and check them out while you can. Um, now, our most popular item of the day, I will just hasten to add, um, is our garden friends. Thank you so much, my darling. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. This is our, oh no, don't, oh, we're not going to talk about that yet, are we, Ellie? Oh. We'll start crying. Can't be doing that no. yet. Jimmy's last day with I'm us I'm heartbroken. We're all heartbroken. He's, he's in tomorrow, actually, Pauline. He's, he's, he's leaving, but he's not. So we will, we'll, we'll be seeing more of Jimmy. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, but this is a very, very popular item from earlier on. Um, really, really fabulous. Your garden friends. I'll just show you some of the examples, some of the things that you can make with this beautiful collection. This is one of Hunky Dory's most popular, uh, best-selling. I mean, look at how many people are in for this, Paulie. It's a, it do you know what? I'm never surprised. No. Because every time we do, this is the, the next one in this concept that, that Hunky Dory do. Mm. And everyone has been so popular. Yeah. And I think it's the fact that you can do them as per instruction. Look at that. But you can really, you know, make them... You something can, different, I am going to sneeze. You can, you can make them something different. You can make your rocker cards, you can make your easel cards. Pauline made a fantastic yeah, easel card. Oh, strawberries, strawberries. Um, Pauline made a fabulous easel card earlier on with this collection as well. And if you'd like to see that in action, um, of course, you can re-watch the show. So that was from our um, five o'clock hour. There we go. From our five o'clock show, you'll be able to re-watch that um, a little bit later on this evening as well, if you want to. Um, now, let's take you through the collection. 
but you're going to get your instructions, of course, um, as well. You're going to get all of your envelopes as well for the collection to make 12 cards, okay? Um, envelopes or envelopes? That's a very good question, Ellie. What do you reckon? Are you an envelope? Are you an envelope? Envelope. Envelope? I can't remember what I say now. What did I say? Envelope or an envelope? I think I'm an envelope. I mean, obviously, I'm not an envelope, but... <laughs> Just you look nothing like an envelope. <laughs> um, here we go. So you've got all of your gorgeous <laughs> colours in there as well. Oh, things do take a turn here sometimes at Harvey Maker, don't they? Um, <laughs> um, and you're going to get your decoupage sets here as well. So you've got your beautiful bumblebees. You've got these gorgeous, red, admirable. Yeah, I love the bees as well. Don't worry, by the way, I popped one of these. Here's after. one I um, did mixed up. Oh, this is your easel one. Yes, we yep. love this. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And if you'd like to see how to make it, you can re-watch this show from 5 p.m. today. If you go to our Hobby Maker website, um, you'll be able to see it all in action. Um, so you get your bumblebees and your red admiral butterflies. You get your beautiful bunnies. There's a fabulous demo from Pauline on that as well. And your red little squirrel nutkin, very Beatrix Potter. Um, you've got a beautiful dragonfly as well. I mean, this is how easy these are to use. This is what's wonderful. In our last hour with Pauline at five o'clock, she got three demos of these in. Very quick, very easy to do. Everything's die cut. You're not having to worry about using any sort of equipment, any tools. It's all there, good to go. Um, and of course, you've got your card blanks in there as well. So it just keeps on giving. There's just so much in here. So you've got two of your bumblebee once again. You've got um, your gorgeous squirrel, all matching with all of your decoupage elements as well. Um, and the colours match, you know, just fantastic. It really, really is. Very well thought out. And actually, um, we saw how Pauline combined this collection with your borders and ribbons as well, because all those colours will work together. So it's just brilliant. Tons and tons and tons of you still coming through. If you're a complete beginner, this is great for you because you don't need any other equipment. You just need some foam pads. They're all on our website. Um, if you're a seasoned crafter who's been crafting for years, you always want kits like this at home, don't you? Because, of course, they're just quick and easy. So when you just need to make a very quick card... You're good to go. If you're wanting to craft on the train, if you're wanting to take it on holiday with you, you can travel with them. You're not having to take all your sort of crafty stash and all of your equipment because you've got it all here in one handy pack to use. So this is why they're so popular. And why so many of you are multi-buying today. Get the kids involved. Get the grandkids involved. Get everybody crafting with this. Um, you do get your instructions as well. But as Pauline said, you've got lots of ways that you can take this further and make this last. So they make 12 cards, but actually, um, if you're savvy with it, you'll be able to make far more than that as well. Um, so we had nearly a 1,000 in stock of this collection here today. 15% um, of that stock has already gone, okay? And that's not including everyone with it in their basket. So... It's a very, very big stock that we've come to air with today, okay? We weren't going to be bringing it back, but we've had so many people messaging, so many people asking to see it. And, Pauline, what they would love to see as well is another demo, my darling. Okay, so, okay. what are you going to show us, my love? Well, I thought the butterfly was so beautiful and colourful. Uh -huh. I thought we'd have a go. Oh, lovely. So, we're going to do it as per instructions, so that if you've not had this collection before and this type of concept... Um, we can show you from scratch Perfect. how to do it. Now, in the past, I've shown you that I've put, when I've popped them out, put pads on them, and I've put them on the blank sheets, of, in case you didn't see it earlier. These are the blank leftovers from your foam pads. And what I do is I take the backing off and I stick them on there and I can have them already prepared. Perfect. And then when I want them, I just take them off. If not, you can leave them in the sheet uh -huh. and put the pads on and then just take them out Brilliant. when you want them. So what we're going to do is first take out the centre circle, put that to one side, and then you also get what Rose has been calling the insert. It <laughs> is an insert. But I love that, Pauline. That was so diplomatic. What Rosie calls the insert, but that's not right. <laughs> there is it usually is. On this card, you've got this space up here to of write course. on the back. Yeah. So this is going to be your, the inside for your base layer to go on. Perfect. So we're going to pop some um, glue or tape runner, um, 
whatever the weapon of your choice is. I'm going to pop that in the centre. You've just got a little, little border around it. You can see our construction glue is just brilliant on so its good, paper. Isn't it? And it doesn't bubble, there's no Not at all. Bubbly bit. And then the little tool, the burnisher yes. that we were... That's been very popular today. We were promoting earlier. I mean, look, that's, you know, perfect on there. Such a powerful little tool. Yeah. Um, and, you can know, I have a look at it? Is that right? Yeah, of course you can. Have a little thing. It, I love the way it tapers it down <gasps> thin at the bottom. Do you know what I would be using this for? When you're doing, you know when you're making breadcrumbs? You know when you're doing pastry? Yeah. I don't know if we're technically allowed to use this. Um, I don't food, know whether but... it's food safe. If, do you know what? But even if it's, I probably, I mean, you just do it. I would, you I would. You could sort of but, yeah, sterilise it, it first, couldn't you? You could. And I just, you know when you need to keep your butter cold? Yeah. And you're needing to just get your breadcrumbs. I would do that. That's great. Yeah. And also scraping bits off if you've got bits of paint on your surface oh, that you need to yeah. scrape off. Yeah. Oh, this is lots genius. And lots of uses. Very satisfying that. It's on your uh, graphics right now. <laughs> now, now you've stuck that in. You can decide whether you want that flat or raised. Uh, because we're raising everything else, I'm going to go flat. Okay. Because sometimes, if you raise everything too much, like if you used our four mil chunky monkey pads. Oh yeah. You wouldn't perhaps fit it all in the envelope. Ah, uh, okay. But that's where, that's where the boxes, the come, boxes in. come in. Not sure how many of those we've got left, actually. No, they were selling, like, marvellously. Right, so let's pop that nicely in the centre, and then you can see it goes perfect. And with the glue, you can always just manoeuvre it a little bit, um, but it, it, it works fine. Wow. Right, okay. So now... We go always go with our biggest image first. And the biggest image is this one. Um, and with this one, you haven't got the edge mm. because there is nothing in the edge to match up. Ah, so okay. what we're going to do is we've got this flower here, yeah. and this one here, and the leaf. So you'll find reference points to match everything up. Then we go for the next one. Always as well, when you when you do this decoupage on any of them, check there's not a landlocked area okay. that's got to pop out. There isn't on these. But by doing turning it over, you will see the line where the cuts are. From the front, you might not see it. Now, I'm just checking with that one to see which one is bigger or if they are the same. And with this one... This one at the front, you see, it's got that lilac flower. Ah, this one hasn't. Yeah. So sometimes you can't just see it straight off. Yeah. But if you layer one on top of the other, you but that's what you were saying it. earlier as well with hunky dory. It's great that because you can stick one, miss one, stick one, miss one, and then use those other layers for yeah, something else. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Especially with no border around. Yeah. You can you can do that with especially with this one. Absolutely. But we're going for the whole hog. We're going for everything today. Right, so I'm now layering that one. And then we know that this one is next because we've just checked it out. And we're going to go that flower there, that one there, on there, and the next one. Now, I mentioned earlier that if there are tiny, tiny elements, of which there are a couple here, mm -hmm. If you can't manage them, it's not going to take away anything from the finished no. result. So don't worry. And you know, think, oh, I, you know, can't it's ruined it. because I can't put those on. It isn't at it all. Matter. Right. So then we've got a wing for this side, missing the body out, mm. and then bringing the wings up. We've got one for this side. Okay. And then we've got the top wings here because it's all about what's at the forefront. So we've got that one there. And it's so easy to find where everything goes. Well, you've just made it so easy for us. You know, decoupage, you were explaining earlier. If you had to fussy cut all of this yourself or if you had to die cut all the individual yeah. bits or what work we used to out have to yeah do. you have to sort of figure out you, had, you had no option no that's it but i mean that's why for a lot of people you probably just wouldn't bother oh, doing it, could it you know? i mean it can take days yeah to, to you know when you've got um a, a big 
want yeah. to do. Especially but, if you're making uh, multiples, you know, yeah. you just want to... I mean, them. I like a bit of fussy cutting, but even I sometimes, you know, you think, God, cutting's the way to go. Because it's, it's not just the fussy cutting, it's, it's, it's the figuring out... It's the Which intricacy. bits to leave out the intricacies? Yeah. Because what now, this is what we done. do with our little books. Yeah. So you've got six layers in there. So you look and you think, right, which bit am I going to cut away? Yeah. And then what I do is I have to lay them out to see what's next off the next layer and, yeah. and so on. That's it. Right. So then I should have, and I haven't, a sentiment. See, I mean, I'm so totally not in control today i had a sentiment okay. i now don't know where it is but there is your not every card not every card, card needs a sentiment That's i know but but hunky dory goes to the effort of oh hang on oh it's, she's it's got hanging it. it's look it's got its pad on it's hanging, hanging by, by a, a thread <laughs> right okay so you've got four corners to pick you can put it inside if you want but I'm going to put it down there, and now we are finished. Ah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. And you can do that. You can make that with this collection. It's been hugely popular. And can I just welcome in, by the way, I mean, Pauline, so many brand new crafters have chosen oh, that's to fabulous. join Hobby Maker today because of this collection. Yeah. Um, you're in here with it. Welcome if, to Hobby if Maker. You've, if it's you've not used Hunky Dory concepts before, yeah. this is one of the easiest uh, oh. There's minimal instructions. The instructions are words and pictures. And if yeah. you, if, I mean, you've seen how quick you can make one That's of those. So good. It's so good. It, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Whether you're a brand new crafter wanting to just give everything a go, you don't need any equipment for this. You don't even need scissors for this. Literally everything is die cut for you and it'll just pop out ready to go. Um, I'll take you, I'll show you that actually now because I've popped a couple of them out already. Um, but you get all envelopes, okay? So you're going to get your six by six inch envelopes to work with your collection. You're also going to get can your... We, can we just say we, we've got more than one Oh, we have, there. yes, I've got one more. <laughs> yeah, you're you not get 12 get that, envelopes. Then. So you yeah. get 12 envelopes. Um, you're also going to get, of course, your um, 12 not insert inserts <laughs> <laughs> um, of those, all those different colours as well to match, which is wonderful. You you, also... you're, you'll know because the... Not only does the colour, the pattern matches as well. Yeah, it all matches up beautifully, doesn't it? Um, you're going to get your instruction sheet as well, which has obviously got your inspiration. And this is if you want to follow it by the letter. So the first time you give this a go, you probably want to do this and just see for yourself, see exactly as it's meant to be, like Pauline's just shown you there. Um, but then when you get a bit more confident, then you can start to snip into them and then you can start to sort of create different cards and rocker cards and you can create like this one, for example. Um, or you could create it's terrific your what you easel cards like you, you showed us. You just have to put a little bit of thought yeah, into it. That's um, it. Lovely. Use dies, use more cardstock, and it, it works a treat. It's brilliant. There's so much you can do with it. Um, you're going to get all of your card blanks as well, of course. Um, this part will be on the back, so you can still write on the back. You can write your own verses on there, or you can use some of the perfect verses or essential book of sentiments today too. Um, you will get sentiments with the pack as well, of course. Um, but, you know, it's just lovely. There's something for everyone. And I think... At the moment, I don't know about you, but I'm just so glad spring is finally here. It was a little bit warmer today. We had a bit of sunshine last week. You know, bit by bit, we just feel spring is coming, yeah. um, which is so needed. Oh, my goodness, at the moment. It feels like winter's just lasted forever, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> you remember how big the stock was? 20% of it has now officially gone. And again, that's not including everyone who has no, it. It doesn't baskets. surprise me. Yeah, it's just really, truly lovely. Here's all your decoupageable sheets as well. Um, and just to show you, so if you, I just mentioned before, you don't need any equipment for this. You don't need a die cutting tool. Um, you can see there's your little robin, okay? Um, not your robin, sorry, your blue tit. Um, these will just pop out really, really easily, okay? So you can take these with you. You can take them with you to travel on the train. You can be crafting on the train. You can be crafting in the car, obviously not, small, not while it's driving. Um, you can be crafting in the caravan. You can be crafting on the airplane i mean you literally all you need is this kit and some foam pads they are all on the website for you so please do make sure you're checking out your basket and if you're on the fence and thinking do i don't i of course you do it's 14.99 and you're going to be making some beautiful cards and getting the whole family involved to boot. Um, do, you want to show, do you want to see how to shop with us here at Hobby Maker? See how to get involved? Here's how you do it. And we'll be back on the other side with some more. See you then. Registering for a Hobby Maker account on our website wouldn't be easier. 
head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice, and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobby Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobby Maker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hello, hello, welcome to Hobby Maker. If you just tuned in and welcome back to everybody who's been with us um, for the day. We're just going to finish up for you here today on this fabulous collection from Hunky Dory. This was shall brand I, new. I yeah, come over. Come on over. We're missing you chat, over here, Paul. Chat about these lovely, these lovely borders. Come on over, Look at darling. These. Um, right, we're going to show you all the silvers. Okay, and I'm going to say don't buy it because um, what we're doing in the bundle. Um, see that 11.99 in the bundle that's going to drop to 9.99 basically so here's all your patterns in the silver okay um, and then here's all your sentiments with the silver as well so they're all here all those different colors you're getting 208 in total 208 ribbons over 16 sheets which is absolutely brilliant 350 gsm it's all on your adorable scoreable my favorite on there is the silver on silver oh yeah it's nice it's, isn't it it's really it really is classy. it's really lovely i love this color as well the kind of pistachio color yes that is nice that's one of my absolute faves yeah. Um, and I mean, just classic actually. What's lovely, the silver and the white is very wedding as well, isn't it? Oh, Beautiful, yeah. Very classic. Yeah. So you've got all those gorgeous colours and adorable scorable. So bendy ink technology as well. So if you are wanting to use these ribbons, you know, like when you go around a journal or something like that, if you wanted yeah. to use it, like um, yeah. put it around a candle or something like that. You don't, it's not going to crack, the colour's not going to crack and no. sort of peel away, which is really, really clever. So that's your bendy ink technology. Um, so this is your silver. We can see rosin, we can see brand new crafters coming in. Don't buy it because you've got all of that in your gold as well. Um, yes, exactly, Adam. Did you yeah. like that? His, in gold. He's in doing gold. <laughs> What's that again? That's Austin Powers, isn't it? Mm. Um, there we go. So all of your mm. beautiful colours once again, all of those stunning patterns. I love the black and gold oh, in yeah, this one. Your favorite, I, I'm quite it? keen on the orange as well. Yeah, but, I like a bit um, of orange. Yeah, and pink and orange together. Mm. Yes. Just lovely, isn't it? And actually, what's great with that is you can go very classic, but you can also go a bit retro, a bit funky. You can go funky, and go contemporary. Yep. You know, you've got something for yep. everybody. So this isn't the gold. something else that these are really good for, whether it be the sentiments or all that, is if you make little boxes, oh, you put a great. trim around nice the idea. the edge of the top. I love that idea. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Um, superb. So don't buy it. That's in the gold. Don't buy it. <clears throat> no, because of course you want all of it. Um, well, you, know, you never know when you're making something. It's like, um, do I need gold or do I need silver trim? Yeah. 
here you've got both. Well, and also, you know, you've got your preference. Do you prefer silver or gold? But who are you making it for? And who are you crafting for when you're I, at your craft I show? I always say that. Yeah. Sometimes it's not for yourself. Yeah. You've got to think of the people that you're going to sell it to. Exactly. It's like oh, when we're buying presents, it isn't it? Yeah. When we're buying a gift, how often do you think, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. But think of the person yeah. that you're buying it for. Um, or you're making it for, of course. So all your gold... And all of your silver now there for you for just nineteen pounds and ninety eight pence. That's four hundred and sixteen ribbons in total that you've got there. What does that work out at per ribbon? Nineteen ninety eight divided by four hundred and sixteen. Is there such a number? I don't know. It's pennies, isn't it? Pennies. Four pence. Four pence. Four p per ribbon. Yeah. I mean that's incredible. I'm not being funny, but if you go to that big craft shop on the not on the high street, it's usually mm -hmm. in a big retail say, retail park. park. You'd probably be lucky to get maybe four A4 sheets for £10. Yeah. That's the reality and that is the difference in value that you're able to get here at Hobby Maker with, with Hunky Dory as well. I mean, it really is fabulous. 32 sheets of 350 GSM, Bendy Ink technology, adorable, scorable cardstock. It's fantastic and it's all foiled. And it's not like before when we did the stickables and that you peel the back and it's just... On paper. paper. This is, no, this is this 350. Is cardstock. Absolutely. It's superb. Do you want to see some of the things you can make with it as well? Oh, yeah. What's your favourite in here, Paul? Um, I think this one is, is up there with the top. Yeah, it is lovely, um, isn't it? Look at that. I love the simplicity of that one with a bit of paper weaving. There you go. Look at that. And um, another favourite is is this one yeah i love this one yeah. as well this is one of my faves look at that i love the That's colors gorgeous. used on that one i love this one as well you know that yes. yeah i think is fabulous too so take a little look at this one so there's so much you can do with it don't just think of it as ribbons yeah. think of it as your card nearly half the stock of the quantity you brought today pauline has now sold out and that was a wow. big quantity um so it's well worth it i think Come people on in and know how it. useful they're going to be yeah. and i think but there's some things that are very uh pretty and we like them yeah. and there's other craft items that are useful yes and You've got to take advantage of that. You have to, definitely. Take advantage of the useful and pretty ones because that's the yeah. thing where they're both. It's a bit of a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, the time has just zipped by today. I don't know where it's it gone. Has. Um, but well done to every single one of you for taking part. Do you want to see what's coming up tomorrow? Um, we've got a jam-packed weekend, and this is the first uh, day of your weekend. It is huge. 1 p.m., brand new from Crafters Companion. Their brand new layout collection will be launching here on Hobby Maker tomorrow. You've got tips, tricks, and tangly inspiration with Santangle. Um, that's at 2 o'clock. At 3, you've got brand new and exclusive stamps and stencils from Visible Image with Mark. Four o'clock, uh, Crafty Deals with Crafters Companion. Five o'clock, Santangle with Mac with wonderful Sandra Rushton. Crafters Companion Adhesive Rub On Collection. Oh, that sounds good. Um, and 7 p.m. as well, you've got the brand new and exclusive stamps and stencils from Visible Image with Mark. So it's a massive, massive day. Um, 3rd of May already. How did that happen? I know, I know. Where did that How come did from? How did that happen? When are you next back with us, my darling? Most important. Well, yeah, very important. I'm back on the 11th with Pauline Wheeler Designs. Yes, a New big launch. day. And then I'm back on the 12th with Hunky Dory the oh, next day. Yeah, amazing. That is so exciting. We're really looking forward to that. 11th is next Saturday. 4pm. <gasps> I'm in with you. Oh, I'm missing the 4pm. I'll be there New, watching. New stamps. Oh, very exciting. New, and stamp and stitch kits again stamp and oh it's going to be wonderful seriously exciting don't forget to share your mates with us um here's a little bit of information about our wonderful hobby maker competition if you email any of your makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk you can be in with a chance of winning a hundred pound which will be credited to your hobby maker account really easy to join us we love seeing what you create and do you know what on our Hobby Maker Facebook, on our Instagram as well. Facebook in particular, um, just such a lovely community of people. So if you want inspiration, you want to share with other people, um, you know where to find us. Pauline, it's been amazing to have you oh, here, my darling. Um, thank you so much as well. You're an absolute trooper. Um, and so are you. Listen, where's Jimmy? He's not here. He's disappeared already. Oh, no. um, Becky, thank you. My darling Ellie, Adam, thank you. And most of all, thank you to you. You're amazing. We'll see you tomorrow on Hobby Maker. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, 
along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker.